Hello, 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 everyone! <laughs> How are you all doing? Welcome to the stream! Hello, hello! <laughs> Yes, how was, uh, how was, I can't speak, help. <laughs> how was all of your day so far, my god. <laughs> Why is English so hard sometimes? <laughs> Hola. Hey Mark, how are you doing? I hope you're feeling better with your booster shot and all. Bleh, bleh. <laughs> I guess the beat's not so good, oh no. <laughs> oh damn. Oh well. I hope it gets better then. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you get to see me suffer for whatever this game is in store for us, so... <laughs> I hope that makes it at least a bit better. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Genox, hello. <laughs> of course. Why did you... There was a giant mistake letting you find this emoji, by the way. <laughs> yes. My god, why? <laughs> god damn it. Okay, um, let's see. Dalton. 
Where is it? There. No, that <laughs> I don't even want to know what the other one, other paths even do. Like, this is going to be an absolute fever dream, I feel like. But, oh well. You guys sign up for this. <laughs> yes. God, no. Not you too, Grayson. Why? <laughs> God, okay. Just one second. Um, where are my disclaimers? Ah, oh, no, that's not one. That's also the other one. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I just have to edit, edit this one. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, Fred, I'm watching a bit in the background since it's my, uh, I'm, my sister's helping her. Hey, Robin, welcome, welcome. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I appreciate you still tuning in. <laughs> I just saw your sister like, doesn't look at, like, look at what you're looking at. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Why tentacles? No, please. <laughs> okay, load game. Um, wait, where have we through the? Did we wait new new game or load game? Um, what kind of dating dating game is this? Oh boy, oh, oh boy! <laughs> Don't get me started. Mark bought me this game and it's basically it's like Day Shift at Freddy's a bit like it's from the same maker Split the phone no no don't do that please and yeah this is even more weird than Day Shift at Freddy's somehow uh, we are an alien lizard something phone head thing or it can also be typewriter. Is this a scary game? Depending on what you consider scary, yes or no. I don't think it has jump scares or anything. I mean, it could re very well could have, my god. But it's going to be psychological torture, I feel like. <laughs> uh, yeah, we still, uh, we still need to finish the last ending, I think. Wait, when was that? When the f wait? I don't even. Remember. When were we at the zoo? Is it still the theater? I don't even remember that. <laughs> Oliver, I uh, the only thing that's scary is the phone guy leaves right now. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it, Janox. Okay, say, uh, are you doing okay? You kind of flipped your lid back there. Yeah, well, duh. You were chit-chatting with my former captor. Oh, that was just... Ah, okay. Ah, oh, okay, I remember. I remember. Everything's fine, okay. Remember you were talking about your birthplace for the movie? Yes. Yes, okay, I remember. Is this phone guy? No, it's not phone guy. They're all phone guys. I don't even know. Don't ask me, fill it. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cursed already. But hey, he said he wants to be in the movie, isn't that? If you put him in it, I walk. Unless you like put devil horns on him and dub his footage to make him say dumb shit. You know, that does give me a groovy segue into the golden question. The golden question? Well, yeah. We gotta consider villainy. <laughs> I'm flattered, but I doubt I have it in me to be a super villain. Okay. Are you saying we have to consider a life of crime? 
right, I'm solved. We just need a gun, a getaway right? I suggest a large stray dog. <laughs> what? Nary an old woman shall be shared from the combined muggy wrath. <laughs> How did we get to... No, no, no granny mugging. We're discussing cinema. What I meant to ask, is our movie gonna have some kind of manical villain? That doesn't... Don't, don't most stories have villains? Yeah, I mean... Uh, most successful stories tend to have some kind of hurdle for the protagonist to overcome, you know? There's very seldom character development to the to be had in merely loafing around, vegetating in trash after all. <laughs> Don't you wanna chime in the trash, you know, holding hands? <laughs> what? <laughs> What the fuck? It's me, that's my life. Just let's just film me doing that. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Okay. Maybe that can't be an entire scene, but I could squeeze it in somehow to excuse us shooting it, maybe. Ha! <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> But does that truly sound like the making of a compelling story to you? Hmm, maybe I'm gonna overcome something first. So my debauchery feels deserved? Or even earned? If you don't hold hands with me in the trash, we ain't true lovers. <laughs> God. <laughs> I hate this already. Well, back to the villain train. It is a fact that almost every story has a grand antagonist of some kind. All action comedians have... All action comedians have big guys, after all. Bad guys, not big guys, what? That must be it then. After all, action comedy is the... <laughs> what is the artist genre? I'm telling you, all great stories have an antagonist. Right, the most real-world love stories feature mother in laws <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> yeah, now you're getting it! What you need is a nemesis. Who could that be? Well, wouldn't F Fioror seem like the obvious candidate? Nah, I don't want him in my story at all. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder how the form how our phones make love while they die with each other. I'm sorry. Puppet goddammit wounds. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the stream though. My god, that was terrible. Anyway. <laughs> how was your day by the way, Puppet? My god. I don't know man. Ground yourself. Think about it, Hammy. That dude... How Hammy that do this? He'd bring a lot of gnarly energy to that role. And give him the satisfaction? Hard pass. Well, alright. You pitch a villain then. How do you see a... Uh, who do you see as the villain of your story? Um... <laughs> little Billy! <laughs> Take it, Jerry! Oh. <laughs> well, what about you? Okay, take it, Jerry, or little Billy? <laughs> oh, not much. T uh, tomorrow or today, I may. Uh, what? May I add, it's going to be busy because Genshin. Oh, okay. Wait, is something happening in Genshin? Like new update or something? <laughs> little Billy. <laughs> okay, look. I'd love to take the. Uh, Brad down a peg, but this is your story, not mine. Oh, uh, come on, don't you remember what I told you uh, on the subway? That ha <laughs> yard high shit lord got me arrested for child labor law violations. <laughs> Yet, not waiting already uh, to, <laughs> to kicking ass again. Oh no. Yeah, I'm glad I don't play Genshin anymore. That game consumed me when I play it. <laughs> 
<laughs> like it literally didn't do anything else but play Genjin. And I had to stop that. <laughs> My god. I can never return to Genjin. I do not want to see that game ever again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a run runchy scallywag. I know, right? How very rude of him. Oh my god, now I have to be British again. Salutations! Might you need some assistance? No! You've got it all on the control field. Hurl thyself. Hurl thyself from our proximity, fangs. Radio. Bully to death, then. Oh my god, I hate this guy. <laughs> I say we just have a uh, pass around the spandex and call it a day. Okay, that's a deal breaker. Why? What's wrong with spandex? You do not want to see how the first in in incarnation of this movie turned out. Hey, Metis, hello. How are you doing? I hope you had a good day so far. Oh my god. <laughs> this is your second attempt at this. That sounds like something you should have mentioned sooner. I was hoping that if I pretended it never happened, eventually I'd f just forget. I can still hear the stretching of spanics against my grooving in the, my nightmares. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, sorry to hear that. In mine, it just <laughs> it's just a familiar scream. Been editing Sunday stream, just exporting it now. Oh, cool! I just, I was just lazy the whole day, pretty much, and I almost, almost missed stream because I took a nap. <laughs> Far less emotional, complicated. Ah, hell, maybe this is pointless. I mean, can we really reduce the struggle depicted in a complex narrative down to a single antagonist? What if the true villain was society? <laughs> it's about sending a message. You just don't get it, Batman. <laughs> it's not about the money. <laughs> and our phone could you certainly have a type. Oh, shut up, Metis. It's late and I'm old. I gotta go, Freddo. Take care, much love. Okay, puppet. Thanks for stopping by. Still, I hope you have a great sleep. <laughs> and I hope I see you next time, my god. Yes. <laughs> Society. <laughs> I'm not sure what a film would what sort of film we're trying to market to the general public should be about how unpleasant the target audience is. Nah nah, hear me out. <laughs> By the way, Freddy, do you have Monster Prom? Not that I know. It's like a game, right? Is it a horror game or something? <laughs> maybe it's people perf wait, wait, maybe it's people's perception of me. I can't see it because I'm me, of course. And you can see it because it's a view don't uh, view you don't happen to share. Huh, maybe you're right. You think- oh, that was too fast. Fuck it. I'll just start a movie with a paragraph of Comic Sans text and a solid color background. <laughs> gonna have a birthday, a birthday stream next week and that's gonna be one of the games we play. Oh, okay. Uh, I definitely look into it. If I have the money, i would definitely buy it. Like, I I'd like to join. Sure. It's a visual novel where players uh, complete, compete to get a date. Oh god. <laughs> that sounds interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm, al I'm already quite a visual novel connoisseur here, I guess. And you play as monsters. It's more funny than horror. J uh, just monster theme, not scary. Oh, okay. That's good to know. <laughs> And he plays monsters. Okay, that actually sounds cool. I'll look into it, Metis. Definitely. <laughs> With an exposition out of the way, uh, we can just focus on the actiony stuff. Oh, see, 
That's the there's the issue. The fine action, because technically decomposing is an action. <laughs> that's a uh, general movement and activity. Yeah, nah, that's not me. Oh come on! Surely there's some way we can use this to grow the story. Oh, uh -huh. yep. Yeah, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> hey Yushi, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but well, we can play Fasmo and De uh, Death by Daylight too. Depends uh, if we can fit it, fit them in. Though I also want to mix some fighting games just for messing around. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. I don't have Dead by Daylight, but yeah, I have Fasmo, so we can we can play that. Fredo is trying to find love with another phone. God damn it! <laughs> shut up! Shut up, Ayushi! Shut up! <laughs> what we need is the footage of your daring escape. <laughs> it's the ideal action narrative point. The missing link. How, how about we ask Phil for this uh, CCTV footage? Firstly, let's never speak to him again. That's my suggestion. <laughs> With that reaction that you just confirmed it, just a minute, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I will not admit to anything. <laughs> I am not in the wrong here, I'm just playing a game that, I, that, that Mark bought for me, okay? It's not my fault for playing it. Right, and secondly, I might have coded the lens of the nearest camera to to my enclosure with s silly putty. What? Why did you... To cover my track, of course. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Why am I even talking to you guys? My god. <laughs> Alright, duh. A game that just happens to have another phone coon. Ask Mark, not me. Look, look in the top left corner. <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> we're only, we're your chat, so engagement. This is engagement, this is bullying. <laughs> God damn it. Didn't Fio notice that you were missing though? Nah, I just left in a ballop sack on, of potatoes on my bed. Wow, this place really is. Uh, a sneaky limo or a particularly crafty dingle could have gotten out of here. No problem. Where do you think I got the idea? Huh? Okay, so, crazy suggestion here. What if you entered one of the nearby enclosures and I just filmed you climbing out? Oh, willy nilly. <laughs> It is bullying if you're the one interacting with all these people. Uh, this only small guys. <laughs> yes, it is bullying. <laughs> My God. <laughs> we could totally just slap the camera overlay onto it. Pass it off as actual daring escape. Wouldn't that be fake, though? You realize that almost every movie. It's just people lying on camera, right? Would, audi would the audience believe our forgery, though? Would, au would audiences believe anything we've filmed so far? Right, so let's do this. <laughs> wow, where's parts of some fucking dating sim? What more could prevent? <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> right, excellent. So, to our left, the noble alpaca enclosure. Sounds good to you? Are <laughs> alpacas friendly? Pretty sure alpacas are... Uh, don't they spit? True hurts. <laughs> Shut up, Ayushi. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. You spit. Right. But it's cute when I do it. <laughs> Alright, so... What's in front of us then? Judging from the cardboard cutout, emu. Alright, that's not ideal. I've been closer to an emu than I have been to an alpaca, admittedly. No alpacas, a woman claiming to be wa uh, once sped all over my bar. <laughs> Wait, what? 
<laughs> They're kind of like feathered dinos. Swans are also feathered dinos, in fairness. Right. But imagine a man-sized swan. With a gun for a head. Right? I've heard enough. <laughs> what the fuck? VA11 Hall A. But you missed that part. Yeah, sorry, I, I couldn't stay up that long, sadly. We were fools for thinking to weaponize them. If another emo war kicks off, we'll be annihilated. <laughs> Fred while was looking for the vault for Simulacra, I got to three hours. I just, uh, it is normal. I got 19 ads during two hours of watching. Wait, what? Why are you getting ads? I don't get that. I disabled all the ads. I, I, I literally disabled all the ads, man. The, like the ads that you're getting, that's like the, uh, the ads that Twitch forces you to watch. Like literally, I haven't put any extra ads on. Like, no joke, I've disabled everything. I can show you guys in my Twitch, like, uh, Twitch settings that I, have, that I have it disabled. You can see it when I start uploading. Okay, yes, I will. <laughs> my god. But yeah, I'm, I'm super sorry, Ayushi, but this is... I don't know why. Like, I guess these are just, um... Yeah, these are just, the uh, um... The forced ads from Twitch. And I don't know why, I've disabled them. Oh, route diversing. Oh, okay. I got a safe. Okay, emu all parkars. Uh, God damn it. Uh, the instance of ads are a bitch, yeah. Well, where, where are they long ads though? Like, unskippable? Probably, right? <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see. Emus or Pakas? <laughs> I mean, apparently emus have guns for heads here. I don't know why. Like, I'm all for them in supporting content creators, but they push them so much now, yeah. And even if the content creator, like, themselves disables them, like, bruh. Each of them were like 30 seconds long. Yeah, I'm super sorry about that. I already disabled everything I could. That's Twitch. That's Twitch for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's start with the emos. Alright, it's time to take the plunge. Alrighty. Alright, I've made contact with the soil. I seem to be in an uncharted land, a new frontier. <laughs> Note, door is now emo proof as of the f f as date. Never again. <laughs> you in the emo enclosure? Yes. You getting this? Yeah. You look generally lost. <laughs> Outstanding, yes. Emo habit, only enter if cool with emos. <laughs> Oh, Fredo, guess what I have? Fast more redeem, right? <laughs> like, 100% it's a fast more redeem. Like, come on, man. If you say it like this. Outstanding, yes. What now? Well... Bonk. <laughs> Ow. Why? <laughs> God damn it, Metis. <laughs> Well, if this is your daring escape, I guess the next step for you is to take it so, you know, escape? I told no lies. <laughs> That's true. Right. Uh, how do I do that? Well, oh, right. The ground dips, don't it? Oh, yeah, of course it's deeper on the inside. If I could climb out from an inside, an emo could jump, jump it, no problem. This is certainly a mild predicament. <laughs> what? I could always just open the zookeeper door and let you out. That wouldn't look very cinematic. Does any of this? Good point. Alright, point made. Now let me out. What the fuck? Oliver! Oliver, I 
you getting this? That's a fucking... Why does the he wears a fucking gun for it? If the... This... Is the emo that's no longer right before you, then yes, I am very much getting this. <laughs> why did it, why, why does it have a PPH as a foreign ad? Like, what the fuck? Oliver, I, am I in danger? <laughs> Do you think it's aggressive? I think it's an emo. Oliver, this is no joke. Need I remind you of the Great Emu War? Emus have won 100% of all the wars they fought to move mankind. <laughs> One war, and they kicked our ass! <laughs> this one has a gun. <laughs> it seems docile enough. War! War seldom changes, freeze man. <laughs> Alright, I'll get the gate open in a moment. Oh god, it's just standing there, menacingly. Oh god. I somehow doubt that emus are capable of malicious fate. Oliver, I think it's attempting to trap me here. You could step around. Uh, Oliver, I think the emu is working with the fear. Is working with fear or. Dude, just step around. Oliver, I must duel for my freedom. Hold on, hold on. Right, camera and focus. What? Ow. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you punched an emu. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and I do it again in a heartbeat. I slew it for my freedom, Oliver. A worthy sacrifice. <laughs> and fucking do it again. <laughs> God, I love you. Why? <laughs> I mean, yeah, groovy. This is good stuff. Dude, this footage is top notch. This is totally the last piece of the footage we needed. Our race in the hole. You really think so? So can I go home now? <laughs> I mean. It might be kind of hard to portray the footage as a heroic moment since the raw footage is just heartbreaking footage of you assaulting a massive but does I caught both of legs. Oh no. But I'm sure with a few jump cuts, some borrowed shots from Stanley Donaldson attack of the emus, I can string something compelling together. <laughs> God damn it. So, that's it. Yeah, I think we're done here. To be frank, I'm a bit worried that Theodore Russell might press charges against us, considering you just assaulted one of his specimen. Oh please, he loves punching animals. I'm sure he punches emus constantly. <laughs> Fucking invite him to the premiere. He adores this trash. Right. <laughs> Invite him to like get him to see his emu getting punched. Wow. <laughs> right. Okay, I guess that's one guaranteed Patreon for the opening night. Man, am I pumped to get this movie finished? Absolutely hacking lutely pumped. Gotta get back to the cinema. Get to editing for the tomorrow night. I am um, not gonna be getting any sleep tonight. Welcome to uh, the life of any VTuber. <laughs> but hey, I'm sure if I go long enough without sleep, I'll be too uh, out of it to feel the impending sting of failure, right? <coughs> hey, before you go, I want to ask you something. Oh, shoot. What's on the cards, my groovy dude? So the similar, like, De it's like definitely haunted, right? Allegedly definitely haunted, yes. Why? Has anyone ever um, died in the building during this operation? Oh, now that you mentioned wait. Let me turn on the volume a bit. Okay. 
Now that you mention it. Yeah. There's been an incident or two. Nothing out of the ordinary though. Aha. Uh -huh. Big Bertha might have flattened the last projectionist who performed maintenance on her. Flattened? Rolled right over him, yeah. Turn him into a red pancake. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, that's. Wait, did you say just. Did you say incidents or two? Like, pure. Yeah. Big Bertha also kind of tore another maintenance guy's arm off. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> then flattened him when that didn't kill him. But in doubt, flatten the repair guy, as they say. Who says that? Who says that, Oliver? There was also the time Big Bertha rolled through a wall of. Wait, what? Flatten someone in the audience. <laughs> Roll right over him. Oliver, I am horrified. That doesn't sound right. Hey now, Big Bertha is our pride and joy. Mr. Dickens did right, splurging on a beautiful second-hand acquaintance projector. Antique projector. Second-hand? Who sold him the machine? A friendly witch doctor who was hosting a yard sale. Dude, the cinema is 100% haunted. In your opinion, it's definitely haunted. Let's just agree to disagree. No, let's not. <laughs> it's haunted. I'm a ghost, I should know. It's haunted. <laughs> right then, I'll be off. Oh. Parting is such, uh, is such sweet sorrow. But hey, I'll see you at the premiere tomorrow. Right? Only if you'll be there. Oh my god. If I'm not present, then I've presu presumably died of a tragic but sudden caffeine overdose. And if such an event occurs, please mail my ashes to Obama. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> if such an event occurs, please email my ashes to Obama <laughs> in accordance with my last will and testament. Why the fuck does this guy want his ashes to be mailed to Obama? <laughs> Why him? <laughs> I don't want to lose some bets. <laughs> Alrighty then, see you tomorrow, Ash Boy. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Boy, what a day. You punched the goddamn emu. I did it for all of us, damn it. For cinema itself. I mean... Did you though? Did you really? And what's that supposed to mean, bud? I mean, you are really certain this movie is gonna achieve anything other than being a resounding flop. <laughs> it's about Oliver his faith from it, so you know, I did too. Oliver also has a complete faith in this, <laughs> this squalid cinema he works at, in fairness. Faith is good though, religion has been historically kinda popular. He's relying on a miracle though. It's blind faith. I get that the air in the place is practically <laughs> opaque. What? How is that spelled? Opaque, I think. I don't know. But it doesn't seem to <laughs> see. But that seemed to see any further than his own dial pad. But he's not doing it for himself. He's doing it for Mr. Dickens. Do you think that Mr. Dickens really believes in Oliver? I'm sure he does, I mean... He's giving Oliver so much, right? Right. So, I'm completely in character for him to indulge Oliver and gives him a last ditch attempt to save the cinema, knowing he'll lose nothing if the movie flops. I'm sure Mr. Dickens just doesn't have the heart to tell Oliver that it's all pointless. 
Alright, you disembodied destroyer of dreams. What's your point then, eh? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Maybe try to temper Oliver's expectations at the premiere tomorrow. You can let him down gently, uh, so he has time to come to terms with his ine inevitable failure. Sounds like a bummer. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Is that the right thing to do? <laughs> Part of loving someone is being honest. <laughs> Even when, you know, they won't want to hear it. You really should have should have a discussion with him about the finished movie. Remind him of his uh, other prospects. That everything will be okay when... If the movie flops. On account of being weird and low budget. Ah. What's the use? Go to sleep, you lamox. You can think some more about this tomorrow. I agree with the statement fully. Mine is the thinking. Bit later. <laughs> Good night, my internal maiden. <laughs> Wait, I am not a girl. <laughs> Smile secretly. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. I'm honestly surprised. Seen the premiere actually drawing attendances. Like, actually live people. Instead of what exactly? Homunculi? Emus? I meant instead of nobody turning up. I expected an honest to phone god town wide, no show. But the last town wide spec spectation. Ooh. I guess my advertising campaign worked wonders then. I doubt your writing come to Oliver Man premiere. <laughs> on condom wrappers and slipping him in random strangers' pockets. Got very many of those people here. <laughs> you never know. It could have. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but you're kind of really illiterate. Most of the item probably can read hieroglyphics. <laughs> if those pyramid dudes could read them, I'm sure the modern man can. Uh huh. You should go inside. Speak to Oliver. Yes. Go, I shall. Yes. H hey, uh, hey, Freda. I'm super stoked that you actually came. Very groovy. I always do. <laughs> but what's that? There was some kind of. <laughs> if you. <laughs> <laughs> Euphobia was, right? It was, yes. You doing okay, man? You seem generally disheveled. Oh, you know, I'm running on roughly <laughs> zero hours of sleep. Moby. <laughs> Heck yeah, Moby. I spent all night working on this baby. Well, that's a surefire indicator of quality. Correct. If I almost exceeded my soul from the tortured meat sack containing it, then it must be hard, right? I understood most of those words, but n not in that order. This movie. It's my opus. Our opus. You see, at first I thought... Hey, this looks kinda cute. Could make this PG-7 and a few dancing CG records. <laughs> oh, small dancing CG creatures. Objectively a fine choice, go on. <laughs> but then I thought... What I need is to think outside of the box. So, me funketh. What about a story that starts off funny and silly and then becomes soul-crushingly tragic? What the fuck? Um, but then I thought... What if the movie has no genre? Just a string of raw footage, arranged out of order and with ill-fitting music placed over the whole thing. Um... What did you do? You fell asleep and or no <laughs> and or on your keyboard, didn't you? 
that is an interesting theory. Oh, Oliver. It's cool though, just... Whatever you do, don't tell. Tally ho! Oh, Oli, my boy! Tonight's your big... N <laughs> oh my god, I can't speak this accent. Tonight's your big night. Are you ready for the grand premiere, lad? I sure am, sir. Marvelous, simply wondrous. I'm right chuffed to see what you've made. Uh, yeah, I'm sure people will find it just dandy, sir. Not to worry, lad. The movies need only make enough uh, in sales to revitalize the family enterprise. So, no pressure. Right, yes, groovy. Anyway, I must go take my seat, as I don't wish to miss the euphoric magic of the silver screen. Chariot, one and all. God, he's so British. <laughs> well, he seemed chipper. Yeah, it's almost like he ex expects my film to save his failing business. <laughs> Uh, well, I wanted to talk to you about that. Oh? Hold on. There's a few people behind you in line. We c uh, can we talk about whenever that is I'm stocking the reel, okay? I guess it can wait. Let me just step aside. Oh no! Greetings, my respecter Friesman and green friends. I'm here to attend the dazzling seminar premiere as a guest of honor. Stellar, man. Glad to hear it. Oh, I'm sure that most of you certainly are. Having a guest as distinguished as the one and only Theodore Roosevelt. Can I murder this guest with my bare hands, son? No, not this one, Fredo. <laughs> Alright, there will be $6.99 for a ticket, sir. Gads, you truly expect me to pay for a ticket at my own red carpet event. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but there's more of them. There is so much you don't even know, man. There is so many more. But Fyodor, you aren't actually in the movie. Correct. But a specimen from my vast array of emu most certainly is, yes? I'm here on his behalf, while he recovers from his life-threatening injuries. That emu is fine, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort, I'm afraid. Listen, Mr. Russellwelt, uh, this isn't personal. Everyone's gotta pay for a ticket. This very event is fundraiser to raise money to keep the cinema open. All right, I'll tell you what, my lad. How about in exchange for a free ticket into the screening, I'll give you a free and unrestricted access to the zoo. But isn't entry to the zoo already free? Well, how about that? It looks like you've all have already gone through with my end of the bargain. I suppose that means you all have a legal and unwavering obligation to... <laughs> no, wait, no, what? Alright, alright, you crusty fuck, just go in. So this guy's either a con artist or a Karen. This guy's just weird. There's, there is a Karen, but she's a typewriter. Bully me then. See you in Hollywood, my boy. Hi society, here I come. God. I despise that man. You know what? I should really listen to you more. Hell yeah, let me kill him. <laughs> if you think my take on people are niffy, you should see my takes on the jerkies and... Oh no! Sap bozos. Billy here now. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Scram. Get on out of here. Tonight's a big night, and I have enough to do with having to fixate on my hawkish gaze on you all night. Yeah, plus this movie's rated 
18s and up, dude. I shed my pants halfway during filming and refused to put them back on. Oliver, you did remember to add a blur <laughs> in post, right? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess the movie's just a bit more memorable, huh? So yeah, no minors allowed. Scram. Hey, I'm no minor. Look, I've got my ID on me. ID, little bullion. Sex <laughs> any time of your mom. <laughs> Age 80 plus. Job full time mad bursters. Mayor Ming is approved. Don't check, lad. It's good. <laughs> approved. <laughs> I think this identification might be fake. But it can't pinpoint any obvious discrepancies. <laughs> Let him in. No, it's not a fake. It's real. Look, you little brat. Does that mean you have <laughs> you have to have been manufactured 18 years ago? Or you all required to have 18 digits on your face? I have no clue, man. It's a no either way. Like I said, I can't have you thrashing my firm once opportunity to save this place with your loud shenanigans. Loud shenanigans? Hey, Bozo. For your information, I'm actually planning to be one of the best behavior tonight. You told me earlier that we were gonna smuggle s <laughs> your megaphone into the theater. Two repeatedly brawl Krungers during the climax. He's anytime with, <laughs> with your mom's actual respect him. His problems are anytime with your mom. <laughs> Also, Oliver is a kid. It's a kitty phone. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm going to cry. What's going on? To repeatedly below <laughs> Krang is doing the climax. You gangrenous snitch. You're like nine. What the actual fuck? Where are you learning words like Krangus and gangrenous? Pal, you think I didn't come up with Krangus myself? I've got like eight kids on the playground who, who can back me up. Scram! Go! Get out! Ah! Fine, whatever, bozos. And we're gonna totally bomb anyways, bro. No assistance from me required. <laughs> Any time worth a real identification. I <laughs> stop. Oh, Billy the kitty phone. My bad. <laughs> yes, Billy is the kitty phone. My god. God. I hate that little. <laughs> Krungus, Krungus, Krungus. I'm dialing the cops right now. <laughs> is this how they come off to Jerry? Krungus, 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 I need to send him another fruit basket or something. Another? The first one didn't seem to sway him. Huh. The fine fruit. Apple core, banana peel, used eggplant. Oh, what the fuck? Well, loudspeaker here, <laughs> right in the ear. Bully is a little shit, yes. Define a used eggplant. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate that. <laughs> hey, look, another customer. Oh, it's Randy. Hey, it's me. I'm here now. Oh, hey, sup, Randy. What brings you here? This is the guy with the body pillow, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you know. It's just rummaging around in the dumpster out back when I overheard someone mentioning a premiere. Well, heck, it's groovy you have you here. I could, but we <laughs> I could, but we have to age restrict the stream. The stream is already age restricted, what do you mean? <laughs> All of my, uh, all of my, uh, all of my streams are listed as adult content. 
just to be safe. <laughs> Don't want Twitch to fuck me over on something. I'll rather stay on the safe side. What's the movie about? It's a great question. <laughs> Awkward silence. Right, yes. I'm in it! I'm in it! Ah, what the... Wait. Something about you feels... familiar. Do you spend much time at the park, perhaps? Oh! So, you're the naked green figure I keep seeing scourging around in my... Free happy vision. Also, Randy's been through some shit. Yes. <laughs> thank Mark for this. You want us to thank Mark for? <laughs> or are you thanking Mark for this? No. Thank Mark that we have to play this. Like it's it's Mark's fault, not mine. <laughs> oh yeah, that might be me. All right. It's Mark's fault. It's totally Mark's fault. The fate of a Nokia. <laughs> 30 feet 10, I suppose. I blame Freddo. That is, that is not a valid option. He bought me the game and he asked me to play it. So I'm playing it, okay? <laughs> my fears of losing my own mind have now been replaced by the tangling fear of encountering you. Ah. <laughs> hey, that progress. Good job, man. I still blame you. Shut up, Ayushi. <laughs> yeah... Alright, so that will be $6.99, Randy. Uh, you can offer me a discount on account of me being vaguely familiar, <laughs> could you? I suppose I could drop it to 5 since I... How about 25 cents? Randy, I'm hoping Billy comes back and screams crunches in your crunches in your ear, causing your damage. Why would you why would you say that? What the fuck did Oliver do to him? I don't know. Wait, no, Oliver didn't Oliver just knows him. Like he's afraid of me for some reason. I don't know why. Too many times trying to see if he would play would, would blend? The fuck? If you have no memory of your name. Then why did you even bother, sh uh, bother showing up? I just wanted to get in out of the cold. Good call. This is the this place is warm and as moist as can be. <laughs> yeah, about that. Why is it so humid in here? I'm sure it's from the mold on the wall. <laughs> I'm sure it's from the mold on the walls breathing. <laughs> and it's moist, what? What the fuck do you mean? It's the mold breathing, man. Huh. Well, uh, it is warm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> totally. <laughs> good excuse. What do you mean, good excuse? Look. You're the last dude in line, Randy. Just go sit in the bag and don't make any noise, alright? Hot dog, Oliver. You're the best. Can you be my father? <laughs> Randy. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> huh. I keep forgetting to ask him about the, b uh, the bandages on his head, uh, hands. Heard from little bully, plague be upon him, that he hit his head on the rock. But I'm sure there's gotta be more to the story than that, right? Like what? What is this dystopian universe? This is weird. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. Also, the the bandage on his face, the headset, fuck face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if it's anything like him, I don't want to hear it. Oh, come on. Randy's lovely. Once you get to know him. I'm sure he makes someone very happy. Yeah, an organ snatcher, maybe. <laughs> or a mean scripted co- uh, what? Conora looking to take his fr frustration out on a body. Is Renny dead in this scenario? <laughs> Inconsequentially? <laughs> Perhaps, yeah. Renny's still more and bodies aside, we've got uh, a screening to initiate. Lamau. <laughs> Initiate isn't very call to action verb, is it? Like start, do, 
Meg. Squirt. Does have punch? Why squirt? What the fuck? Initially, initiating is like pressing the on button on <laughs> omnipotent making machine. They doing this on purpose. I know and I hate it. Let's just do the screening. Yes, let's. God, I hate this. All right, let's go. Let's get <laughs> Olive Man. What is this place? Oh, this is my vile scranctum, my lair, specifically. Oh, projector room one. Is that? <laughs> oh no, it sure as heck is. That's the projector who killed like three people. Say hello to Big Burver, my pride and joy. That thing is alive? Oliver, she just moved. Yeah, she probably just had some air stuck in her. Aha! <laughs> uh, Oliver, she moved again. Yeah, uh, ditto. Oliver, I think your movie projector is satient. And angry. Oh, don't be ridiculous. She's just... She's got a lot of soul. I'm pretty sure she devours souls. Well, if she's eating souls, then how are said souls haunting the place then, huh? <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> it's wearing <laughs> solely to the anime hat. <laughs> ha! Checkmate. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe we're slightly fucking haunted. Laugh it up. Oliver, she shouldn't be in here. She's a wild animal, man. You're not insisting I turn her over to the zoo, are you? No, let her roam free. <laughs> you need to let her roll around in the open plains. Where she can feel the open air in her pipes and boats. Roll over as many small critters as she wants. What? <laughs> it's not right having her cooped up in here. But she's our only movie projector. Dude, you can buy a used projector at a garbage sale for like $15. Don't you want her to be happy? You're right, you're right. I'll bring this up to Dickens after the premiere. If we have time to talk about anything other than that, our movie's vast success and the sudden salvation of cinema itself. Yeah, right. Freddo. Can I ask you a hard question? One that I'd like you to answer completely honestly. Isn't that essentially buying a dead animal by this universe? Universe's logic? I don't know. Uh huh. This movie. The one we should have loaded into Burva minutes ago? Yeah, right, that one. Do you think. You think it'll turn things around for me? For us? Uh. Uh huh, see. I knew this come up. I'm right, as always. Shut! I have question to answer. Provided she doesn't doesn't eat it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't wanna know. <laughs> did you did you just tell me to shut up after I had finished speaking just so you could answer my question, which is I already did finished asking? Not gonna lie, I was talking to the narrator. <laughs> you realize the movie's done, don't you? Pal, I'm not recording you right now. The movie's already to air. Like right now. Speaking of, I gotta ask. Do you think this movie turned things around? Look man, I haven't even seen the movie. For all I know, this is just 90 minutes of me gargling paint thinner. What? 
Okay, not all 90 minutes are comprised solely of... Ah, shit. That's already a sign of a turnabout development process. There should realistically be, like, no paint for inner gardening in the f to fill extra time up. You know, I think you expected too much from yourself. Okay, fine. I rushed the editing. I get it. Gargling? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I mean all of this. You're in your 20s, man. That's pretty young. In human years. Isn't it? So, what do you think developing a film was too much? I don't get how you expe expected to repair Mr. Dickens' dying business on your own. <laughs> on your first try, at the last moment possible. Hey, how? Hey, now. For all we know, this, the public could love this movie, and they could despise it. Correct? Isn't it crazy that you were lying? on this one shot to define your future? Phone God, you're right. I've set myself both of us up for failure. Hey now, I don't give a flying fuck if this flops. I didn't mean you and me. I meant me and Mr. Dickens. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but look, you and Mr. Dickens will live. I've always got a room in my tent if you need somewhere to crash. That's sweet, real sweet, but this is all going to happen anyway, man. I just want you to be okay if when it does. Okay. I've... We've done our best. Time to load up Burver and get to it then. Speaking of, again, you've got to release it into the wild soon. I know, I know. Like, tomorrow soon. I know, I know! Take a breath, man. Relax. People could really love this. Yeah, I suppose they could. Alright, well, I've <laughs> it's been real. But here goes nothing. Oh god, what is this going to be? Do we even get to see the movie? Or is it just... Burr for brr. <laughs> oh no, she didn't. Hello, Dalton. Rachel from Dalton News Network here. This is just last night's premiere of The Passion of Fro Frogeting has been reported to be a resounding failure. Fuck. Despite... Curious advertising efforts in the end, the event only had the modest turnout of 24 unsatisfied patrons. For the four reviewers that happened to attend showing free and no comatose, the remaining reviewers, who's still conscious, doesn't really want to talk about what they saw. Poor guy. We invited a few citizens to attend the premiere and they said they had this to say. Honestly, I just wanted to get out of the cold. I think I'm a family would have been more pal palatable in all honesty. The lack of footage of myself was criminal. Criminal, I say. Say, is this life? Come on down to Dalton City Zoo, friends. We have tapirs. T tapirs, bully. Okay, enough of him. <laughs> wow, so it was effectively worth than Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> honestly. That movie converted me from an unsure agnostic to a firm atheist. No merciful god could have let that scene where the green one Garrel Painfriner exists, no matter how disinterested he is in our plight. Well, there you have it. I know they say that old publicity is good publicity, but the people to those people, we are dialed on News Network. We would like to recommend giving The Passion of Frogging a watch and seeing how you feel. Then. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Good morning, Fredo. I hope you're. What in Phone God's name are you staring at? A pot. 
What? Put a frog in a pot. Watching him turn to climb out. Just a pro tip here. The last 17 times you tried this, the frog died. Yeah, but this time there's no lid. No lid on fire. <laughs> no lid on fire under the pot. I mean, in all honesty, I'm surprised they weren't <laughs> you weren't comatose yourself. So the odds are fairer, methinks. Right. <laughs> the poor frog. What's your end game here, anyhow? Want to see the definitive threshold for frog slaughter? Yes, that's. Say, I wonder how Oliver's premiere went. Is it. Isn't that much more engaging topic to think about? Nah, Lil Bull told me a few days ago and apparently bombed. In fairness, Lil Billy really. Is Lil Billy really a reliable source of information? Yeah! He was the one who was inform who informed me about what 9-11 was. <laughs> Fred over sus phone say you so <laughs> welcome to the stream. <laughs> and he said it was an inside job. Conducted by clowns. In fairness, he did show me a newspaper that reported the clown thing. Yeah, but in fairness, you're illiterate. I bet <laughs> I bet you any money that the article wasn't even about what he said it was. What makes you say that? Why, would the article picture have been of a tractor flattening a, a bleached seal? Well, why was there a tractor even on that beach in the first place? Maybe if you knew how to read, you could have found out. <laughs> By the way, user, how are you doing? I hope you had a great day so far. Fun, I go visit Oliver and ask him about this lousy premiere. Brilliant. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> Hello? Oliver? Oh, the cinema's dead. Where is he? Where's the boy? Oh, I don't know. You sure you walked into the right place? 9-11 is 7-11 after it receives plus 2 plus 0. <laughs> I've been mostly lurk because I got sick. Hopefully I will recover until tomorrow. Oh no, Yuzo. Oh fuck. That, that's, oh, that sucks, man. I hope, did you get COVID or do you just feel sick? I hope you didn't get COVID, man. That would suck. I made sure I, do I, downloaded, I downloaded the game and everything. Everything works, by the way. Just letting you know. <laughs> Like, damn, uh, oh, that sucks. But yeah, like, take all the time you need, man. No rush, no rush. <laughs> it's, it's like, way more than enough that you lurk here. <laughs> By the way, you can actually use a lurk command. I made that one. Yeah, from what I've heard, COVID is awful. I, I can confirm it fucking sucks. I had it three times by now. I'm not joking. It fucking sucks. And uh, not it's some virus. Uh, I was throwing up and stuff on it. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon. Oh, that's that's fucking sucks, man. Damn. Okay, let, let's see. W what the fuck happened here? <laughs> Mark my words. The cinema was right here. That must mean... Yikes. I guess I've... I guess it's already gone. Ah, dread, alas, I was too late. You might still be able to get Oliver's mailing address to send your condolences via mailman, mailwoman, or perhaps carrier pigeon. They infected you so to get revenge for, for his carrying us. <laughs> no! God damn it. I don't anymore, but my head and back hurts, so I'm just drinking tea and resting. Yeah, get all the rest you can, man. I hope you feel better by tomorrow. Ah, yes. The three genders. Man, woman, and carrier pitch. <laughs> what? Hey, a friend, huh? I was wondering when you dropped by. What's the haps? Olive, man. You're here. Have you returned here once more to burn a place down in this gone for rage? <gasps> Did you do all this? 
I launched the remaining furniture out of here and took took an axe uh, to light fixtures, if that's what you're talking about. But fortunately, I'm neither a valid scavenger nor a copper wire thief. That's then why'd you wreck the place? Seems rather rude to me. Hey, I'm just following Mr. Dickens' orders. Oliver, my boy. If you're not s stripping copper wires from the walls, then why would Mr. Dickens order such mayhem? Such needless destruction? Such abundant and ceaseless malachery? Well, okay, I might have misspoken. I guess I am salvaging somewhat and it's my job to salvage what's left from our failed cinema business. Um, taking an axe to property not yours is vandalism. <laughs> I mean, he was ordered to by the owner, so it's fine, I guess. I don't understand. What else of value could possibly be left here? Oh God damn it! I'll be right back. God damn it! My food is my food. My food just got ready. I accidentally muted myself. Whoops. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I'm super sorry. If I can... Hello? I can... <laughs> I... God damn it, I can't reach my sound mixer for some reason. <laughs> okay, here it is. Okay. Guys, I'll be I'll be back in like uh, 30 minutes or something. 20 to 30 minutes. I'll I hurry though, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. My god. <laughs>
Hello, hello, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry it took so long. My god. I have to show you guys something. Oh my god. I just looked at my phone when I came back and this is fucking amazing. <laughs> like, wow. Wait, 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 one second. Give me one second. I need to pull up Twitter. Is, you know what guys? Someone just made fan art for me. Hell yeah. And they just sent it to me like while I was eating. <laughs> like bruh, this is amazing. Wait, get, wait, no, that's the wrong screen. This is the right screen. Like look at this. Like bruh, that looks so cool. <laughs> I love this. I really love this. Yes. The dream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is from Fallout Fallout Fellow, by the way, or or if you want to call it that Rhea. Yes. I I love how this turned out. <laughs> exactly the kind of chaotic energy that I'm going for. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I might I'm I'm not gonna lie I might actually like use it uh, like use it as my profile picture on Twitter for a while it's just so fucking cool man <laughs> I love this god it's, it's such a nice feeling when you get fan out from someone I can't even describe it it's just amazing <laughs> yes <laughs> I hope I didn't keep keep you guys waiting for too long, though. I'm sorry, it took way longer than it should have. Like, bruh. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. I heard from Little Bully that the premiere was bombed. Uh, of course he tell you that. He showed me an article from the Happenings paper. Oh. He showed you the newspaper review. Yeah, he said they tore you to shreds. Oh no, poor Oliver. <laughs> Every single critic who attended the premiere. <laughs> and isn't comatose. In fairness, there's only one critic. But, I mean, yeah. The film didn't exactly get glowing reviews, you know. On account of it being so groundbreaking. True art is never appreciated in its own time. I don't know, man. Let me quote the review. <laughs> if I could douse a film in gasoline and light it up, I'd watch the film burn with glee. <laughs> and this time, I'd actually enjoy watching it. Bruh! Hey, that reviewer had 90 whole minutes to burn this place down while the film was playing. He was totally bluffing. Oliver Schiff, newest and only movie, is an abortion of cinema itself. <laughs> and makes me wish I was like Glyce, aborted. See, that's still a strong statement. In the same way assassinating Bitfoot over a parking ticket would be. <laughs> Bigfoot totally can't drive. Bigfoot fucks, I'm sure he can drive. <laughs> Look, I can't refute that Bigfoot fucks, but you also can't refute that negative publicity is still publicity. For your information, almost 5,000 people ended up showing up to the screening after the review. They all wanted to gog at the marvelous train wreck. Wait, you made bank? Yeah. People turned up in droves to see a depraved horror flick. Wait, the movie was filmed. <laughs> the movie was filmed as a horror flick. Well, I initially managed it to be uh, of a transcendent piece of media that encapsulated both the sincere beauty and raw anger of all that falls under the huge thumb of God Phone, Phone God, and our movie wasn't that. People didn't really notice the beauty under the divine thumb. <laughs> but plenty saw the untapped, blistering rage and shed themselves. <laughs> so people turned up expecting a cutting-edge horror flick. 
Yeah, and we delivered. Okay, that makes sense. The premiere was a success then. So wait, why on phones got green earth are you tearing the cinema apart? Well, see, Mr. Dickens and I had a conversation about expectations. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong, he was immensely thankful f uh, that I saved the cinema, but... It turns out he really didn't think he I actually could pull this all off at all. No, oh my god. Just wanted to see what I come up with. Huh? Why? Well, Mr. Dickens informed me of something pretty surprising, actually. Turns out, operating a cinema wasn't his ultimate dream after all. It was for him to go to directing, uh, into directing movies of his own. Ha! You know how it is. Mr. Dickens grew up in a different era. He started a family once he came of age, which was he obviously had to provide for. He didn't have the opportunity to just leave for Hollywood. <laughs> the stakes of failure were too high, he had people depending on him, you know? It just wasn't an option. Yeah, but I don't see what this has to do with our movie. Well, for a while, I wonder why Mr. Dickens was so encouraging when I pitched the old save this eerie cinema with an indie movie idea. It's possible I just figured that he thought my idea was uh, just dandy and that I'd be a surefire success. But now I get it. He had no faith in the movie at all, and was certain that the cinema cinemans what 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 is that word cinemans <laughs> have to shut down no matter what. Why was he so sure you would fail? So he was attempting to set you up for failure. Wow, what a crumpled crap screwing ass face. No. It's not remotely like that, not at all. You see, when I pitched the idea, Mr. Dickens said he saw his younger self in me. The idealistic younger version of himself who would give anything to drop everything and become a movie director. Mr. Dickens wanted more than anything for me to take the risk that he never could. That he, and only he, shouldn't shouldered the burden of my failure, allowing me to try again and maybe succeed. Mr. Dickens said he was so, so proud of me for doing what he never could. And that precisely why I couldn't allow this place to remain open. If it meant that I'd stay the complete extent of my potential. So that was it then? The end of his dream? Or so I thought. One of the bad reviews really tore the cinema itself apart as a venue, said that it was suited uh, suited the horrific train wreck of a movie being shown here. And that and that's when it occurred to me that just maybe I was actually fighting something that we could use. If people are so sure that this place is supposedly haunted, Oliver, this place is so so haunted. Okay, fine. The place is absolutely rippled with specters, spirits, and other assorted ghouls. Happy now? Oh, fuck, I skipped that. Whoops. So I realized. If Mr. Dickens didn't really want to own a cinema. And he wants me to uh, spread my own wings and make my own creation. Then this venue alone is considered pretty horrific, with terror apparently being my unknowing signature. What? The solution's obvious. He's going to make a fucking haunted house or something. It is? Dalton's first horror attraction, I knew it. What's this gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be fucking Freddy Fassbenders or something. Like, come on. Wait, like a scare house? Right, right. You know, I realize. Maybe I was making a mistake, trying to go against the grain to convince people 
that they wanted something that they clearly didn't want. Honestly, this seems to be the best way forward. So that's why you're hacking the place apart. To make the place even more unsi uh, unsightly, yes. Best of all, Mr. Dickens g uh, gets to assist me in creating exhibits and stuff. So, he's getting a second chance in this dream too. What do you think of this poster? Dickens and Sons Scare Shack. <laughs> wow. Excited barking noise. It's cute, hell. It'd be cute <laughs> even if it was just you. Why aren't I in the poster? <laughs> I would be the perfect horror attraction. Come on, man. <laughs> Excited parking noises. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Why aren't I on the poster? I didn't have a still image of you to use. What about all the movie footage? Oh, please. You were clouded in motion blur for the whole thing. Alright. I did go a little ape shit, didn't I? I do owe you something though, you know? <laughs> Fine, cough up then. And what's that? Well, pff, here it is. Thank you. Sincerely. I could have attempted this on my own, granted. But I don't think I could have. We could have ended up here on my own. You believed in me when nobody else did, and stood by my side through thick and thin. Even let me document you so I could take a financial risk of a, for a dying cinema. For all the dream of man you hadn't even met. There's nothing gnarlier than that, slick. Me do good, me make all of men happy. <laughs> <laughs> the red text. The red text is always the best text. Like, why? Me do good? Me make Olive Man happy? Hell yeah, you make Olive Man happy. Man, you know what's the best part is? We're the only horror attraction on Earth with real ghosts. I hope. Phone God. We don't have we don't have to pay them since they're dead. <laughs> Though I think one of the ghosts might be a dead union leader, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh no, you gotta have a ghost strike on your hand, man. <laughs> so I guess this all worked out neatly. I guess so. What's of Big Bertha? Oh. I did what you suggested. I let her go. She's free now to roam from God's green earth as she pleases. <laughs> at least she's no at least no ghost Karen's. Oh that's still to come, don't worry about that. Good. Now she's now she's the great outdoors problem. Actually nah. I misspoke earlier. Come to think of it. The best part is that I... Hey, Bozos. How's it hanging? I heard the movie was totally fucking bombed. The best part is I get to do this. Throw the child. Yes. <laughs> Out you go, you little scort. This attraction is 18s only. <laughs> Ouch. My youth glance. <laughs> Rat. He's maimed now. <laughs> this truly is the best possible ending. We get to beat the shit out of little Timmy. <laughs> Hell yeah, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Oliver's ending. The ending where everything works out just fine for Oliver Swift, the gnarliest man in Dialtown. Hell yeah. That's ending number three we have now, I think. Okay, new game. Yes. 
we're missing, uh, we're still missing, yeah, chapter one and two, data bolts met. Yeah, we need two more full dates, and there's one we haven't met yet, which, which is probably, uh, what was he called again? The, the Nokia, the Nokia phone. The camera is Bigfoot, by the way. <laughs> and the printer is Karen. Here. Help a man emerge from a dumpster for a final time. Encourage an artist to follow her dreams. Randy. Yes, Randy, exactly. I think we're going for Karen this time. That could be funny. And then Randy. Would you like to skip down to an intro? Yes. Enter your name. Fredo. Uh, head selection only affects compatibility with dateable character. This doesn't uh, doesn't directly indicate gender. Uh, I think we need to use a typewriter if we want to go with Karen, actually. So typewriter it is. <laughs> what are you? A boy? A girl? A below average president? Or others? <laughs> I'm a below average president. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> give up. Yeah, we, we saw what happens when we give up. We, we have a fucking existential crisis now, you know. Um, Uptown Downtown. Here, leave the area. Where's the... The local bank, yes, the bank. Really? Why the bank? Silence, it's my love quest. Ticket theory said couples make joint bank accounts together. Silence, it's my love quest. I must lay eggs, find the love. Drink the milk of human kindness and all that jazz. You have like six nipples. Why not just extract your own milk or whatever? <laughs> no, wouldn't work. The milk of human kindness probably isn't meant to be the same color as jet fuel. You know what? Perhaps not. <coughs> but is the consistency of said milk still? Nectar consistency. Right. Thanks. What? <laughs> what? What would you like to do? Ring for a teller. <laughs> the tall... The, yeah, wow. Hello, welcome to Dalton City Bank. My name is Karen Dunn. You're green. Well, I'm sure we could be green together if you catch my trip. Hello. Yeah, I am. What of it? Oh, no offense, but at all, just I'm just wondering. Were you born like that, or? Okay, sorry, that's probably was a rude question to ask you. But were you? Born is a really nice way of putting it. <laughs> Sounds far more elegant than hatched or crawled all of that that gutter over there. By the way, that's a printer, not a typewriter. It's close enough, okay. <laughs> Or, oh lord, contain it before it lays eggs. Ow, why? <laughs> it's close enough, okay? It has the same shape. That's all that matters. <laughs> right, yes. Okay, thank you for clearing that up. Now, were you hoping to make a transaction then, or... I'm fine, I'll see you later then. Are you taken to that by any chance? Test compatibility. Taken by what exactly? No, I meant, are you free tonight? Am I... What is this? What are you asking? Can I help you? Take me to the fun fair, please! No, of course you can't, which is why I walked up to this counter and to you, no less. 
Please take me to the fun fair, my paper churning mistress. <laughs> Firstly, never call me that again, thanks. Secondly, what? I wanted to ask you out on a date. You're asking me out on a date? I don't understand. Well, it is Valentine's Day, Karen. I I knew that. Is it really the 14th already? I say of ticket, Jerry, yes. So, what? You're asking me out for Valentine's Day on some kind of date? I mean... Yeah? Well, I mean... Yeah, I could let you take me out on Valentine's Day, sure. But... Why are you asking me of all people? Well, you're the first person to not stab me for asking. <laughs> you remind me of myself. I mean, you look like you have low standards. <laughs> well, you're the first person to not stab me for asking. At least not literally. Oh boy, that makes me feel wanted. Come on, that's not what I meant. What do you think? You're too good to be a to my last resort? Come on, that's not what I meant. Well, say what you meant. Don't beat around the bush. Surely you can see that I'm... different. You have green skin, half a dozen nipples, and don't even get me started on whatever your head is crafted out of. Alright, alright, I get it, I get it. Thank you, user, for the hydration. <laughs> Thank God. Yes. Whoops. That... Wow. That spewed everywhere. F thank fucking Christ. Ah, uh, why? My arm is wet now. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> too, too much uh, carbon dioxide. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Too much sparkliness in the water. <laughs> Thank you anyway, you so. You do seem to be relatively comfortable around me, though. That's actually not me that's actually not all that common. Pearl, have you seen the kind of customers I get on a daily basis? The last three dudes before you came in were Shiba Inu, a hobo, and a woman who had a dude in the BDSM leather animal costume on a lash accompanying her. Guess which one pissed on the floor? You're weird, but you're not day ruining weird. <laughs> no! Okay, fine. It is normal then. No! <laughs> Most people see me as a monster, or at least think that I smell funny. Well. I'm behind glass, so I can't really smell you. You do like you smell weird, though. Granted, that's probably true. I do have a Puget Musk following my presence at all time. See? The thing is, Delton's a weird place. <laughs> what you looking at, huh? Hell, the world's a weird place. The way I see it, since everyone's weird, maybe no one is. Plenty of harmless goofballs and weirdos who simply wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? So no, I don't see you as a monster. Just a cryptid who's actually kind of talking me into this somehow. <laughs> Beat your chest in an ape like dominant fashion. <laughs> <laughs> A second reason, oh please, like you could do any better than me. Might be a cure for, cure for your boredom. Who said that I'm bored? Sorry, I just presume since, you know... You sit in the same spot, taking a few forms of paper all day, every day. Doesn't sound particularly riveting. Well, I... Look, this is a niche that needs to be filled. My enjoyment is completely irrelevant. 
That doesn't mean you shouldn't get to treat yourself, though. I don't know. It is Valentine's Day, Karen. She gets some printing action. <laughs> okay, fine. You're right. We can hang out later, I guess. Gnarly! Yes! Oh, I turned off my eyes. Wait. Yes! <laughs> it is okay for uh, SOT things to start at 5 p.m. instead of 4 p.m. tomorrow? Totally! It's, um... Yes, it's it's fine if it uh, if it starts at 5 p.m. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, 5 p.m. is when I usually start streaming. So, <laughs> but yeah, Yuzu, like I said, take all the time you need, man. Like, if we have to, if you don't feel better tomorrow, we can always reschedule. It's not that bad. <laughs> but yes, happy music. Yes. How does the fun fit suit you? I'd rather... I'd rather pretty much else anywhere, if I'm being honest. It's kind of really moist and loud. Like my ex's apartment. It's fun! Quiet, dry and sanitary places can be fun too, you know? I've never seen a fun dentist's office. Okay, fun for this then, I guess. Alrighty then. Away we go. Away we don't go. My shift doesn't end for another couple hours. Moist, loud, <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> God damn it. My shift ends at 6 p.m. It's likely that it'll take me a good 30 minutes to reach the fun fair. Give or take, not counting traffic and potentially getting hit by a bus, or like, kidnapped. We'll say 6.30pm, for the sake of simplicity. Great snakes, that's hours away, what misfortune. So, does that mean I have to stand here for like, hundreds of minutes? Well, no. Because if my boss saw, saw you letting you loiter here for the length of the time, I'd get sacked. So you can wait for me wherever you want. I just realized this is uh, this one uh, isn't a phone. <laughs> yes, it's a printer. <laughs> just not here. Hmm. That is uh, hmm, that is quite a question. Where should we wait? Keep in mind, Karen won't be off work in, uh, for a good few hours. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Maybe you should weigh up the... <laughs> Go straight to the fun fair ticket booth. Go home for a while. Let me save. Ticket, Jerry! Alright. There will be still... <laughs> Wait. To the startled wretched of a man that you insist of torturing with your intimidating presence, I guess. Yes. Take it, Jerry. Ah, no, I. Where's my, where my, where's my damn repellent? Guess I employ you, wild demon. I'm tired, near death. Surely there's another tired, tired, territory sector worker somewhere in that. Hornet's nest of a town you could bother than half as relentlessly as you have me. But Jerry, what we have is special. Let me in or else we will learn the true meaning of Christmas. What? All the, all the ghosts that the last guy to work in the booth will approach me wearing chains and moaning my name? And we just got her fired because she left before the job was done. No, she did. She, she didn't left. What do you mean? We're just waiting for her here for like hours now. <laughs> or more likely, shrapnel from the roller coaster that crashed through the ticket booth glass, killing him instantly instead of the chains. 
Ah, yes. And he'll be your first special visitor, Jerry. <laughs> and the first of many. <laughs> Are you seriously festively threatening, threatening me right now? <laughs> Nonsense. I could never hurt you, Jerry. As, as if I could threaten you with your bitch last force field in the way. Way to play fair, Jerry. Look, to be fair, I work here. You are trespassing. What part of this so fruitless exchange is unfair to you? Step out from behind the force field. You have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. <laughs> the glass is transparent. I don't have anything to hide. Except maybe like my residential address and postal address to my loved ones. Lord, the thought of waking up on <laughs> to you standing over my deflated lamps half asleep, buddy. I wouldn't have the reaction time necessary to defend myself. Let me in! <laughs> Look, green one, this is simple. Find someone to take you here, and Viola, you can explode the festive loophole to gain entry. This is out of my hands. My boss has me legally re registered as a houseplant, and has watering me down on his tax form as a work expense. I couldn't be of lower rank here. What if I told you that I do have someone to take me? Well then, I'd mostly just respond in with vocal disbelief, since you waited this late into the conversation to tell me that. I'm pretty... <laughs> I'm pretty troglo... Uh, what? Troglo... Troglodius? Yes, I don't know that word. Okay, so... Where's your date then? It's not too late to cancel, should you wish to take me? <laughs> She's not here yet, Jerry. Give it time. Yeah, speaking of time... Do you know when ti what time your date is arriving at? Well, she said she arrived about 6.30, give or take. It's barely past noon! What are you doing here? Go! Shoo! No can do, hombre. You'll just like move to <laughs> move to tell your ticket booth when I'm gone or something just to just as absurd. So this game uh, started as Five Nights at Freddy's spin-off, or was it a different one? That's a different one. Uh, that's from it's from the same maker though. Like Day Shift at Freddy's one and three was made by him. Well, like one, two, three. And this is Dalton. Dalton was also made by him. <laughs> this is like the latest game Direct Doggo made, yeah. If I could move the ticket booth in its entirety, then what stop you from simply running through the gaping ticket booth size toll that they left in the outer perimeter defense? Fairground snipers? Huh? Do you mind if I take that idea down for the next time I see my boss? <laughs> I do mind. I hate being shot at. Look. Just go home. Get some rest. Maybe freshen up before your date. Or rather, in what I imagine to be a typical case for you, come back even sl stickier than you are now. Your fun fair, the fun fair will stay. <laughs> we'll still be here when you get back. I will still be here when you get back. And heck, maybe your date will be here too. Come on. It's Valentine's Day for me too. Surely I deserve a break as well. I am tree. Rooted to the spot. Go fuck yourself, Jerry. <laughs> 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 I am tree. <laughs> Found goddammit. <laughs> well, 
here I am, 6.30 on the dot, like I... Karen! Oh, Freddo! Hey! You've been here long? They've been here for fucking hours, Karen! <laughs> customer after customer paid themselves in, while this monster stood for hours, lingering ominously in the background. Freddo... Didn't I say that I have that I'd be arriving at this exact time? Karen, they remembered and simply refused to leave. Fuck you, Cherry. <laughs> Don't ever use logic when speaking to me. Please, Karen, I <laughs> I beg you. Take this monster from my hands, or at least give me permission to call the police. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the balls, Gerbil. <laughs> if you had, we would have done that hours ago. Jeez. That's quite an encounter. I'm sick and but curious. Phone. <laughs> I kinda wanna play us both I kinda wanna pay us both in just so I can see what happens next. Karen. You're not. Surely two dollars is, <laughs> is worth a price of admission. Telephone oh my mask! god! I hate you, Genox. I hate you. Why you do this? Huh? Why? <laughs> what did I ever do to you, huh? <laughs> Cut the Ah my god why Oh I have to disable that I have to disable everything man I can't take this my heart <laughs> Ah this was really loud it's supposed to be really loud and funny shut up <laughs> It's not funny well funny for you maybe God damn it okay <laughs> Huh. To the fun fair and for a front row seat for whatever kind of antic day could possibly have in store for us. Oh baby, Karen, they're just using for for a free ticket. You know, on account of the whole two for one ticket deal we've got going on today. Really? So, the only shred of affection that I've been shown in the last five years is just... I'm afraid so. They just want to... They just want you to pay them in. Like the picture-clutching parasite. So they can lay their eggs in the damn ditch deep within the funfair, untamed grounds. Lies! Ironically, it's self a lie. <laughs> to know if them will do again at three points. Oh, I get it. I thought you were actually serious for a moment there. Heavy sweating. <laughs> no, Karen, I really mean it. They are they really are going to. I mean I have a bit of a reputation of not detecting sarcasm, but come on, Jerry. You think I'm enough of a fool to believe that Fred or lays eggs? Karen! I really mean it. They're asking f so fucking s asking to fucking Sasquatch. An oily, moist, egg-laying Sasquatch. What a ridiculous proposal, I... Two tickets for me and my date, please, Jerry. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank the phone lord. Look. It's a wild story, I know, but... Hell... Why do I even care? This is out of my hands now. In... In the two... In you two go, I guess. Enjoy the... Um, yeah. Come on, milady, we'll have a hell of a night ahead of us. I know I tend to take things literally, but I really feel as though as hell part of that statement may just come to actual fruition. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait, what? 
That was just a picture of a gnome. What? The, what? All right, here we are. You've got me where you wanted me. So, what's next? Well, we are in a fun fair. We could always go on a ride or two. Something that double shift the it. Something fun. Welcome back, Robin. Hello, my God. <laughs> well, all right. What do you have in mind? I know just the right. How is the dates going? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I have, I have been threatened by an emo with a gun. I have accidentally killed killed the movie industry and <laughs> helped hundred thousands to flourish. And now I gave Ticket Jerry a midlife crisis because I stood hours in front of his phone booth. <laughs> How about a crab claw looking thing that screams definitely metal in Mexican? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> too loud. I don't do loud. Then why'd you ask me to the fun fair of all places? The fun fair was your. Killing the movie industry time friend. <laughs> Surely you can think of something at least somewhat quieter than El Crabo. What about the coast over there? The funeral planner, I think it's called. Not a chance. Why not? You know it why is well, you know it's called the funeral planner, don't you? Not as such, no. Oh, Oh, <laughs> okay, that's filled in some gaps, yeah. All right, so what's, what's something that isn't flashy, loud, or dangerous? Ideally, yes. Gee, that really wills down our selection, doesn't it? Well, how about the carousel? What is that? I don't speak Italian. <laughs> it's... In terms you understand, horse wheel. Oh, the horsey wheel. Why didn't you just say that? Man, I haven't seen one of those babies in a long time. I didn't ask for your life story, Karen. No, you like horses then? I kinda do, yeah. Why do you? Well, they make fine jerky. <laughs> They're right, I guess. Right. They kind of just stand around making dumb noises with their mouth all day. Well, that. Well, that galloping around and eating hay, oats, and other assorted grains. What more can you ask from a creature as such, such as horse? Right. Don't take this the wrong way, but you are awful at dating. Thanks, I like to think so too. <laughs> now on to the horsey go round. We got Say, what's this? What do you mean? What are these heads like that? Oh, well, must be an antique. I don't understand. Why doesn't this horsey have an engine for a head? Don't listen to her, brother. You'll find a new phone guy, I believe in you. <laughs> Shut up, Robin. I don't want to hear it. How oh, else can I probably gauge the beast's horsepower? Like I said, it's clearly an antique. This carousel must have been produced before the worldwide dial-up. It wasn't just us who had, to, had that done to us, you know. Animals too. Phone guys love. <laughs> really? Yep. Originally mechanical and organic identities were distinct. So the whole world was altered? This game feels like a fever dream. <laughs> Especially right now. It is. It's it is just a fucking fever dream, man. You can you can't say anything else to that. But surely but surely not everyone uh, must have been manually changed. Wait, 
This is a game? <laughs> yes. What do you think this is? I thought it was a fever dream. <laughs> well, welcome to my fever dream then, guys. <laughs> Surely someone must have been missed, right? Don't tell me this is another one of your clown theories again. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's just go get in the, on, on the horsey wheel. I hope to wake up in an, in an hour or two and forget, the, what's, forget what's happening. This is nice. You know, I really didn't think anything particular fruitful would come from tonight, but... I think I feel... Oh. <laughs> the fucking typewriter. Oh no! My guts! The horse romance has shocked my guts! Oh no, this looks scary! Dub the printer, she's a freaking gold digger! Part? It's egg time! I'm sorry, what? Sorry, Karen, it's been real! But I must now flee to the nearby ditch! Fredo, wait! Do you know what color could. Do you know what color costs? <laughs> God damn it. Here. This hole will do. Do you really think abandoning carrying like this was fair? On the horsey go round, no less? Is nothing sacred anymore? Shut! Also, as soon as just one color is, is out, she will only sit on the couch and stop doing nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. Pregnancy waits for no one. <laughs> not for Karen, not for me. Not even for Horsewheel. Alright, alright. Fine, fine. Speaking of pregnancy, wait for what? Ugh. Egg laying noise. <laughs> oh. Well, there you are. Your younglings. Your reputant scaly younglings lying in the damp ditch on a cold hard ground. You feel pride, Freddo? Parents are pride? <laughs> Yuzu is deeply disturbed. Younglings? Younglings? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Any kid will come. I would die for these little bastards. <laughs> I, I feel very little as per usual. Fine high ground. <laughs> Uh, I would die for these little bastards. Well, hopefully it won't come to that. I will die for them, and that's final. <laughs> right. They're a little exposed, don't you think? Oh god, oh fuck, predators! There we go, now I can... Oh. Freddo! There you are! Oh, hey, Karen. Sorry about ditching you, I had to, uh, give birth. <laughs> Seriously? You expect me to believe the, the nest, Karen? Dig for the eggs, they lie beneath the topsoil. Let me get this straight. You want me to dig into cold, hard earth with my bare hands to check whether or not you lay an eggs while it's on a date. That's it, good mama. <laughs> Told you, dumb bird, no. <laughs> That's it, good mama. <laughs> Do it for true love, Karen. I can't believe you just run off on me like this during an intimate moment, no less. What else should I have expected? <laughs> God. Um, Karen, I need a favor. Uh, blue or white? I'm not picking brown. Or is it orange? I think it's orange. Um, I'm just so feral. <laughs> Karen, I need a favor. You could not be asking at the worst possible time. But you've picked my curiosity, so reveal what you want, knowing that I will almost, almost certainly say no. Can you buy me a fairground wiener? Oh no. 
I need a lift home. Can you buy me a fairground wiener? No. Karen, please. I am famished, Karen. Right. Yeah, well, I'm off. This was dreadful. Thank you. Don't mention it, Karen. See you again soon. It's Red Valhalla, by the way. Oh, okay. Finally, video of the Valhalla stream are uploaded in schedule. Not a loss, good riddance. No. Did I fuck it up? I think I fucked it up. <laughs> Monik Freddo. Up at him. God, fuck. Why am I still alive? I've reproduced already. Surely that's plenty. I thought I'd just shrivel up and die by now. Purpose fulfilled. End of story. Oh, come on. What are you? A spider? Or an octopus? You don't... You don't... You don't have the legs. Bipedal pouting. <laughs> oh, no. You're not off the hook that easy. After all... What of your eggs when they hatch? Who will feed them? What about predators? Nobody was there for me when I hatched. What about the clowns? They kept you in a straight they kept you straight and narrow, didn't they? Clowns are not real. <laughs> well, yes. The zookeeper told me so. But you saw shut. Reptiles are self reliant, yeah. <clears throat> so you're awake now? Unfortunately, yes. So, what now? Hmm... I see. I'm not good at coming up with ideas. Um, how did you reproduce? Eggs. Lay eggs, hatch, repeat. I guess. <laughs> at least... Idea, uh, at least ideas that don't involve pregnant grounding foraging and scurrying. Did you fuck someone and then ask Karen on a date? No, I think this is just uh, like asexually or something. I have no clue, man. You did not have to say that. <laughs> and with my young young having uh, evacuated my swollen lime cuts. I guess at least scurrying and foraging on the table. Look. I've said this to you before, and I'll say it again. Scurrying and foraging are fine as occasional hobbies, but come on. They don't f quite fill the gap that normally be consumed by sh shit like children rearing or having a job. Foraging is a perfectly productive activity. You expect me to work? If it's reptile younglings, then you, you only lay them and that's it. Yeah, basically. Oh, come on, it's not so bad. Maybe you could try putting a tie on. Formal stripe nose pass. <laughs> not as tie. Not all types are striped, you know. There's always like novelty ties. Look like. Uh, like panions of fish. Granted, your boss might not allow these at work. Can I just kill my boss for his lunch like normal perps would? This is already an endeavor filled with compromise and disappointment. <laughs> oh, it's not so bad. Maybe you could do something menial and re repetitive. Maybe work at a nearby firm. File some taxes for the citizens of D Dial Town. <laughs> there is not one part of this that I don't despise. <laughs> Pass the hardest of passes. Look, even dear and wild wild beasts and shit tend to have shit to get up and do. I'm sure you have something other than aimlessly scurrying and scratching the ground like a prackish boar. Wait. Karen! I wonder what she's up to now. She's probably at work. She does live in a society, as the rest of humanity does. The rest of humanity? You think I'm human? Alright, that society thing. Yeah, it's everywhere these days. <laughs> hmm, guess I'll be on my way to the bank then. After all, banking is one of the four pillars of the civilized world. Alongside jerky production, the president factory and Bigfoot hunt film crews. 
it's always Bigfoot with you, isn't it? They will never find Bigfoot using stealth and deceit. <laughs> Wild beats will be pronounced Wild... 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 I can't help. W makes a V sound. Will the be... Will the be Will the be Wildebeest? Wildebeest? Yep, okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Mattis. I'm sorry. My pronunciation is horrible. They must come to him openly and honor the ape man undis undiscovered. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Look, I'm tired. You certainly want to find Karen? I can't imagine she will be pleased after the last time you saw her. It will be fine. Thank you for the hydration, Robin. Oh my god. She works in the public sector. I'm sure she receives wanton cruelty daily. Americans get it wrong all the time. I'm not American, though. <laughs> okay. I know, yes. <laughs> I felt like people hadn't drowned you for a while. Just saying, yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> that That's not a nice, no fair. But it's what I expected. Like, even in the fucking Lion King. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh? Chapter 2, So So Own. Why did I why do I only have 15 soft points now? Did someone unsubscribe again? I swear to god, man. Why does it keep happening? <laughs> or is it just when gifted subs run out? I have no clue how this works, man. <laughs> like come on, stop taking my sub points away, please. <laughs> Alright, so ring the Ah <laughs> Freddo, why are you here? Karen, I'm bored. <laughs> Sub points shouldn't go down when someone unsubscribes. Well, why do they go down then? Like, if a sub runs out or something? I have no clue. Karen, I need emotional support. DTCB is a bank, you know. Not a first childhood trauma render in our house therapist's office. The fine childhood. Tell me, does this childhood thing also play for hatchlings? Look, I can't think about hatchlings right now. I'm at work. Best to check the creator settings instead. The sub points there might be different. Okay, let me check real quick. That's Twitter, that's not Twitch. That's that's fucking Reddit, man. Come on. There's Twitch. Might be the same weirdness that gives me conflicting subscriber counts. I have no clue, man. Okay, yeah, create a dashboard. Um, affiliates. Follower, not subscriber, okay. Got it. Um, it was it here? Affiliates. No, it's is it in the manager? Yeah, it says f I have 15 sub points. Like earlier in the stream, it was 16. Ha! <laughs> But the stats, uh, I get uh, say I have uh, get to say I have forty stone. This uh, why does this happen? Does it like when gifted subs run out or something? I have no clue, man. Why does this happen? <laughs> this is so stupid. Why? <laughs> Hey, 
Anyway, God, Twitch is stupid sometimes. Just let me keep my points for fuck's sake. I mean, I shouldn't complain. This means I can delay out Outlast, so... <laughs> yes. So, yes. So, unless you have important business at DTCB today... I don't understand, Karen. I thought what we had was special. Special? You ditched me during the date! And according to you, it was to lay eggs in a nearby ditch. Oh, there's a divergence point here. Um, I'm waiting for someone to suddenly give 10 subs. <laughs> no one would do that. That would be crazy. Like, come on, man. I'm a nobody. No one would do that. <laughs> okay. I have needs, Karen. I'm dreadfully sorry, or don't, don't you find that even slightly hot, though? <laughs> No, let's let's be understanding. I, what what do you guys think? Blue or purple? Blue or purple? <laughs> I kind of want to go for purple, but I want to hear you guys' opinion. <laughs> purple. <laughs> it's not so innocent now, are we, <laughs> buddy? My God. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would go for that answer. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> we take purple then. What the fuck is wrong with you? You nectar guzzling egg-laying sociopath! Well, you kind of just summarized that right after asking me. Bit an old question, honestly. Just leave, will you? I don't want to want to know you. Not now, not ever. Wait, what was... I've lost interest in you, because you're a rude, violent Neanderthal. So, get lost. No, this... I'm already locked onto your route, Karen. You can't throw me off the ride, not now. The fabric of reality. It can't take the accumulation, Jeffrey. Please. Karen. What the fuck are you? It crashed my game! What the fuck? <laughs> it seems like gift subs, uh, it seems like uh, gift subs can expire and this and uh, sub points too. Why? Oh, that's so stupid though. Why does say, why do they do that? Hey, hey, hey. Once biology doesn't make, <laughs> once biology doesn't make them a sociopath. <laughs> That literally just just crashed my game. <laughs> I blame Robin for this. Hey, wait, what? Uh, where am I? Narrator, is this is this hell? Too white. Hell, almost definitely fiery and red. Heaven? You gotta be kidding me. I am innocent, you're not. You told me to do this. What? They would never let the likes of you into heaven. Shit, you're right. Stop being right. Also, too featureless. Heaven's probably saturated with vending machines that take, like, smiles instead of cash. What? Look, I don't know. But this place is hardly the personification of pure bliss, is it? Huh? Perhaps not. It is a tad brat. So, where do you think this is? Limbo, perhaps? Oh, Robin! This is where you send all your Pokémons that die! <laughs> Why do I keep ending up in Limbo? <laughs> Heaven doesn't take cash because they don't need to. <laughs> That's true. They're already rich as fuck. That's true. Nah, nah. Isn't Limbo grey? I don't know. Have you ever been to Limbo? <coughs> <coughs> no, they're all alive now. So says Hanover Boss. <laughs> you mean for now? You're just gonna shamelessly kill them all again. 
I know you, Robin. I know what how is this going to go. <laughs> Ask Nox, you ended like three times in limbo. Ask him. <laughs> in a way, uh, my whole life has been an endless limbo. Cheer, but at least it's possibly over now. <coughs> Infinity's over, they're safe. Wait, you finished Infinity? I actually didn't know that. You finished Pokemon Infinity? I actually didn't know that. <laughs> I thought you I thought it was still open. I, like I, I watched only parts of your last stream, so I didn't know. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well she finished the main story. Yes, final is in is in what? Okay. Fuck, I have to look at that then. Damn it. <laughs> huh? I just had an idea. Uh huh? We decided on a break before post game. Ah, okay. I get it, I get it. So it isn't over yet. Robin can still kill everyone. <laughs> Maybe we're inside your head. Inside my head? No, that can't be. Well, why not? Well, then I'd spot some you somewhere around here, surely. You are something that I even have a physical form. Hmm. Right. Still, that can't be right. There's nothing in here. You missed some good shit, Fredo. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> I beat the gods. Oh, for wow. <laughs> yeah, I only watched like the first half. Because uh, I... Uh, what did I do? I don't actually remember. I w it was something important though and I couldn't stay unfortunately. I lurked though. <laughs> My point exactly. Why you little... <laughs> Ow! Go on. Take another swing. I dare you. Why does it hurt me and not you? You see, pain is transmitted via our friend, the neuron, which is compromised of accents. <laughs> Dentries are. Stop it! You're making the pain mental as well as physical. <laughs> I still need to watch yesterday's one. Yeah, I also need to. God damn. Fredo got clocked in the face. <laughs> That's the entire point. Yes. Evil smiley face. Wait a moment. If my head hurts, then we can't be in my head. Me in here. Head on me. My me had hurt. Hurt head. On hurt me inside here? Couldn't because I needed to edit. Okay, yes. Me not in me head. Yeah. Wanna walk for a bit? See if we encounter something? Okay. Hey look! Random bullshit! Whoa, epic! Truly swag! What was that? Raccoon! Oh hey, an encounter! Hey ya bud! You're keeping well? Who are you? I'm a raccoon. To your kind, I'm known as... Stromboli. Who the fuck is Stromboli? Okay. Yeah, I'm the soul of a dead raccoon over in Dartown. Last I checked, you can find my corpse in the phone box of Main Street. Raccoon god, no, it's just a dead raccoon. <laughs> hey, wait, why is your head like that? What's with the flesh, man? <laughs> well, I'm just an itty bitty soul, so I don't retain my object hat. So, wait, we only physically get the object hats? All our souls miss out on, like, all of this? Maybe. Yes? Look, I don't know, pal. I'm just a little ch uh, creature. That nut your president crown kinda only half uh, half as the gave souls object hats, right? Spent almost no time making sure it worked. Very hit or miss. 
said the concept of a game's villain manipulating human souls had been overdone. And frankly, he was right. Game? Don't worry about it. So, are you dead? Am I dead? Yes, I am. And I don't know. This isn't actually the afterlife, you know? I'm just here because God needs someone to guard his leftovers. I've been here for, like, half an eternity. Has anyone showed up yet? Nope. Just you. Also, feel free to take as much as, uh, of the damn left arrows as you want. I'm really spiteful and generally disloyal. <laughs> okay. So how are you finding the job of guarding these leftovers then? With nobody else coming here, it can't have been so difficult so far. So far, I've eaten half of the leftovers. You're not doing a very good job. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm gonna level with you. I feel it about the head. Why? I'm a raccoon. <laughs> we are an honorless bunch. Oh, and I want to make a sort of Gardevoir version of myself. Ooh, that sounds cool. Disgraceful. I actually did have a trash can head, but God took it from me and stole more of his last towers in it. The upgrade came first. Um, it was uh, in the plan after the final. Ooh. Damn. That sounds cool. That's gonna be so nice, yes. Bastard. <laughs> Eventually, I hope to eat all of his leftovers, prompting him to smite me with God's old-fashioned lightning pummeling, or perhaps an earthquake bukake. <laughs> then I get to finally die again. <laughs> Look, this is all very epic and random and all, but... I really don't want to talk to you for very much longer. Already living up to my character, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's fair. So many bodies. <laughs> hey, wanna see Scott draft of the Dietown sequel? No, they're probably shit. Tell me how to get home. No, I wanna see. So there's gotta be a sequel. What? No. Oh, alright. Ring God's doorbell. He'll take you home. That is, if he decides to show up. But, uh... Can you wait for a bit till you ring? I want to ring it after I finish all of his leftovers. <laughs> after eternity from now, but I can't reach it myself. <laughs> I'm a raccoon, you see. <laughs> no, I'm going to ring it right now. Fredo has to play the sequel. <laughs> Make me. <laughs> Bye, Stromboli. Uh oh. Bitch! You absolute fucking ass clown! <laughs> you actually shithead! I hope your heart shrivels up in a rotting apple when you need it the most, you fucking onion! What the fuck? Phone Satan! <laughs> okay, let's hope this works. God. Oh, hey, ya buddy! What's that? What's that happen? Wait, hang on just a minute. Was that a Shrek reference? I don't know. Do I know you? Hey, why Foggy? I thought I changed my name. Anyway. <laughs> I'm Freddo, your god. Legally sure I am. I still have no clue who you are though. Haven't we met? If we have, has it happened yet? This is outside of time, and not all time is happening all of the time. You feel me, buddy? I noticed you're green. <laughs> yes. No? Cool. Still, no clue who you are. We haven't met. Get off my property. How have we not met? Aren't you meant to be everywhere at once? Nah, common misconception. I just move really fast. This is cringe. Take me home. Oh, you're from reality. I'm from Dial Town. Alright, cool. 
That's the location, yeah. Which timeline? What? There's plenty more reality than just a bit you used to, you know? Let me see. You got a TIE Rider hat, which is a star. Yeah, because it shows that hat type during the character creation. Wait, you created yourself? Most people I have had to create by me, or like, their parents. Fuck, I don't even remember if I created myself. Shit, pal. You want my job? God, I want to go home. Right or writer? So, if you have a typewriter phone head... Aha! You must be from the wacky Callum Clown timeline. Wait, what? Ask me anything. Fredo, did you find a new phone to fill the phone-shaped hole in your heart after the phone guy left? Shut up! It was never one or something like that to begin with. Shut up! <laughs> I don't want to hear it. God damn it. <laughs> Unless you're from... Unless you're from the one unfortunate timeline where Randy caused the dial-up, in which case I sincerely apologize for letting that happen. Translation, he did. No! Even a god can weep. Nah, Kalman Clownsy was the weirdo that caused the dial-up. That sounds right. Though, the name Randy does seem familiar. Denial is one of the five stages of grief. Shut up, you're in denial. <laughs> Hmm. Crowsy timeline, half forgettable Randy. Aha! I know where you must be from. I've got a whole timeline full of green skinned scaly dudes that you'll fit right in. Nah, I'm one of a kind, baby, not my original timeline. Ah, uh, what a pity. <clears throat> that dimension still has dinosaurs, you know. The green fella are the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? I can ride a dinosaur? Yeah. They've got a dino petting zoo. <laughs> Take me there. Take me there. Hey. Just a heads up. If it's not your timeline, it... Might find, you might find it difficult to... Uh, acclimate, acclimate, accl acclimate yourself to... Take me to Dino Town! Take me to Dino Town! Ah, alright, alright. I'll drop you off of the off aforementioned Randy. He'll be desperate enough to take you to the Valentine's Day date there. Ciao! What the fuck? Why is that Randy? That's not Randy. That's Oliver. Wait. Uh, hey, my groovy dude. Welcome to downtown's hopefully only cinema. Can I serve you a tall glass of popcorn? A box of soda, perhaps? What? Uh, heck, I mixed up the greeting again. It's no, it's look. It says Randy. Please don't ask me for nachos. The swans nesting in a nacho pit. I want to go back to the void. <laughs> I feel this route has derailed in a spe spectacular fashion. The ending where reality itself breaks down because you can't talk to a woman. <laughs> wow. The ending where reality literally breaks down because you can't talk to a woman. <laughs> okay. Karen, I apologize. I was just so heavily pregnant. Look, this is all very interesting, but... I'm at work, and there's a vast line developing behind you. Oh. Oh, there's God. I was here first. Oh, yikes, I see what you mean. Look, you can just leave and come back when it's less busy, if you really want to have this conversation. I just can't have you occupying the space for long without getting in trouble with my boss after all. So, what will it be? <laughs> Again? <laughs> wow. 
okay. I've attempted to convince Karen to leave work. But Karen, what if we both left, like, together? What? Well, you're asking me to just leave my job? Why on earth would I do that? Why on earth wouldn't you? Because you love me and I'm asking you to. And because you clearly want to have this conversation in the first place? Aha! Uh -huh. So what makes you think that I want to have this conversation? You could have called security uh, from the get-go. But you didn't. I, I mean... Come on, Karen. It'd be so easy. Just pack your shit and bail. Work be damned. Go feral with me. You know what? Fine. You're right. I do hate my job. I do hate handling other people's sweaty green sp spendable paper all day. Fine. Go wait outside. I'll follow you out. Right after I explain to my boss that I'm leaving my post. Can you just come now? <laughs> I see you outside, girlfriend. <laughs> Don't call me Ted. <laughs> but you made her leave her job. <laughs> yes, I did. Know what? Alright, well, here we are. The great outdoors. Or rather, on the street. Just outside Dalton's favorite institution of for, for suited moneylenders. Bullshit. Karen wears Naria suit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck work. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's an outliner, but technically she isn't the moneylender, but rather the chipper, the chimp who just passes the sweaty green boats from the suited jackals to the bastard customers that she has an obligation to serve. Fuck your capitalism, hell yeah, fair point. There she is. Sorry, I probably kept you waiting for a good six seconds. Don't apologize, good things are worth the wait. So is so is vital surgery. Keep in mind, and vital surgery is hardly a trip to the fun fair. It can be if you put your mind to it. The survival odds are about the same anyway. <laughs> you know that's actually correct. Horrifying. Anyway, sorry for the uh, for the minute wait minute wait. By the way. Oh my god. Had to hand in my resignation. Resig- What now? Well, you told me to get my things in bail because I hated my job, so I did. Now, I'm no longer an employee of DTCB. The <laughs> See now, what I was- what I meant was, I didn't mean to leave leave your job. Are you seriously about to tell me that I quit my full-time job because of a communication error? Chop it on you like an apple. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm mm, no. No, don't be daft. You, you. Right. Yes. Anyway, you should. You should type up the resignation quick. Yeah, I had it practically rehearsed. Okay, that was definitely a Shrek reference. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Is this sort of thing I normally just fantasize about, obviously? Wanna see it? No. <laughs> I love to see you pass the warm sheet from your printer mouth. <laughs> okay, see, that is the one thing you could have said to ensure that I don't show you my resignation letter. <sighs> oh, come on, please. I'll be lurking a bit because I need some rest, but I'll be watching. Okay, Robin. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> alright, alright. But if you look like you're enjoying it too much halfway through and I get uncomfortable, the page sliding right back in. <laughs> that was paper. <laughs> 
short and sweet. I liked it. Just a fucking middle finger. This is how I will quit my jobs at some point. I liked it. Thanks, I made it myself. Well, whatever the case is, I am now unemployed and free to do whatever it is that you wanted to do today. Right, so like, what was that anyway? Oh, right. Damn it, Freddo. Karen just quit her job because she thought you had a plan for something fun and <laughs> for you two to go on together. What do? You need to improvise. If if I could do that, I wouldn't have to ask Karen to back out at all. <laughs> One idea is all you need. Just enough to buy you time. I'm gonna lurk too. Okay, Metis. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Glad you just, glad you two still stick though. <laughs> so, where are we going and what we're we doing? I um, tent. Tent? My tent. Away, go now to tent. <laughs> oh dear. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Help. Alas, my tent. Welcome to Casa de la Mie, Karen. It's... Uh, it certainly smells indescribable. But not unpleasant, right? <laughs> oh, incredibly unpleasant. Like I'm being soaked by an unfamiliar reptilian predigestus enzyme. Forgive me, it comes off as rude, but... Have you ever cleaned this tent? Well, have you? Have I ever cleaned this tent? Yes. No, obviously not, since this is the first time I can recall ever seeing it. And yet the word expects so much of Freddo. Clean your room, Freddo, no! I mean... Well, I used to get the kids uh, in from the local playground to help me clean my lair. Before I got arrested for child abduction, that is. And yet, here you are. Still, still not amongst the well-educated, adjusted citizen of society. But I didn't abduct those kids. It was all... They followed me willingly. And I, <laughs> and I passed off playing a dashing kazoo solo. The Jovo music clouded their judgment. They followed me to their own, on their own accord. <laughs> My state appointed lawyer managed to get those charges dis dismissed. Uh huh. Then I uh, got startled and kind of sprayed all over the jury. <laughs> Bad move, by the way, or so I was told after. <laughs> yeah, generally not a good luck. So the judge charged me with eight accounts of child labor law violation. <laughs> now I can't legally get too close to kids because I'm such a feral entrepreneur. <laughs> such in the life of Freddo. Okay, since I'm leaving the bank, I've earned, I've learned that you live in a dam, buy a hazardous tent, and that you blatantly spat in the face of child labor laws. I respectfully disagree with child labor laws. <laughs> I'm this... this close to leaving. No, wait. I haven't even shown you my knickknacks. Alright then. Let me get this out, the, out of the way. Rusty scissors. These are my favorite scissors. I use them for miscellaneous cutting and dicing. Is that... It looks like blood on the blades. It's strawberry jam. I also used to this baby for making scammy sandwiches. Why not just use a knife? The court deems me unsafe around exposed blades so far on my own. <laughs> right. Well, that kind of rhymes is sim I simply refuse to open. <laughs> you got any other bad shit or desities to show me? I sure do. 
What? This is Scott the Squatch. Did you paint a face on a butternut squash? Nah, it came pre-painted. Would you like to would you like some Scotch lore? Some Scott lore? Yeah, Scott lore. Sure, I mean, well, now I'm in fraud. So this is Scott, the old knowing and all an old hatting squash. He knows everything and hates all of it. Right. Please don't touch him. I'm a simple squash fearing man. Well, oh my god, his eyes are turning red. Uh, <laughs> well, he's the most terrifying vegetable I may have seen to date. I'm glad we are unified in this topic. This is an unholy entity. <laughs> my god. You thought of calling an exorcist? With my typewriter head? Oh, right. I don't know. Write a letter? Do I look like do I look fully literate? Never hurts to learn. And pr <laughs> practically domesticate myself. Hard pass. Besides, I'm sure attempting to exercise the ten would just anger the squash. Somehow, I believe that. You don't seem to be enjoying yourself. No. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Ouch. Oh, that was something stuck in my throat. Oh. Oof. Sorry about that, my god. <coughs> <coughs> My god, what's going on with my throat now? Ugh. You see, this is all very amusing, but now the squash is got, uh, giving off ominous, melovant <laughs> vibes. I, like it doesn't want me here. Hmm, perhaps we should have left, it, <laughs> left this place alone. Can we maybe ditch the squash and continue this discussion at another location? Okay, good point. We can go somewhere else. Like? Uh, we could also always go to... <laughs> My place is off the table. Why? Don't ask. Just another suggestion, please. How about the zoo? There we go. It's been ages since I've been there. Alright, me too. Now this is a civilian anyway. Did you work there? I was one of the acts. What? You were one of the exhibits? I... Come on, let's just go, eh? <laughs> My god. <laughs> Why? Do not feed the hairy ones. <laughs> here we are, Karen. Man, it's been years since I've been here. Do they still have animals here? Last I heard, we are the animals, Karen. <laughs> Splendid, that's the best thing about Zeus. Now, let us... Oh no! Oh ho, what's this? Oh no, fuck, oh god, not you. I'm, s I'm sorry, Freddo, do you know him? Freddo, you feral bastard. My phone god, it's been months. How it goes, you? Theodore Rustabelt. My former captor and arch nemesis. Am I to take all this as confirmation that we're going ahead with the Freddo came to the zoo arc? <laughs> From the zoo arc? It is what it is, Carbo. It is what it is. Freddo, come home. I can offer you the luxury hay pile. No. I am free goblin now, Feel. I am person. Don't be daft. This is your home, Freddo. You belong here, mon cher. I do not. I belong in my tent, in an undisclosed location. 
And that location is the park, is it not? Who? Who told you? Why, I saw you emerge from the tent last time I visited the park. I stroll with its foliage abundant grounds occasionally. For all those sorts of fancy vermin come and contaminated here, contained here, my god I can't speak. We have now a duck or no swan, forcing you outside our perimeter to merely observe them. And Nari are you too. Come home. Boy, this would have been a hush now, woman. Fredo, you must be contained, studied, dissident. Hang on just a moment. Hush now, woman. I want to. Oh no, she wants to speak to the manager. Oh no, don't be hysterical. It's just a. Uh, I'm not letting anyone dissect my date for except for like maybe me if the date doesn't get substantially better. Oh, thanks, Karen. Wait. I didn't I didn't mean a literal dissection, my dear, just a figurative one. Promptly followed by a literal dissection. Should the aforementioned dissection fail to identify the source of the specimen's pre pre Leave my partner alone, Safari Creep. They're mine. <laughs> All right, but should you change your mind, come to the before b come b to me before visiting the pond. Unlike the pond, I can offer you ten dollars for dropping them off here. And there's an extra five in for you if you can knock them out with, with the with cough syrup beforehand. <laughs> It make the transmission that much less violent. Pass. Hard pass. Come on, Freda. Let's just go some look at some funky animals. Think this place has any horses? Well no, only the most de de <laughs> depraved specimens are housed here. But I have the next best thing. Behold, the immortal striped horse. They're hardly a model. No, not even slightly. <laughs> but they do have stripes. Horsey. I mean, yeah, cool. Say, do horse do horses and zebra both have engines for heads? Yeah. But zebras have striped engines. That's it. It's kinda lazy. The ring bell says the phone. A ring bell says the phone god was hungover when he created the zebra. Hence the striped horse. Yeah, but are the stripes only. Are the stripes the only difference? <laughs> that is the definition of a zebra, yes. Whack. <laughs> oh wait, don't zebra have off print engines actually? They do? Why's that? Well, the African savanna tends not to have many roads, so I guess they have to be off-roaders. Ah, yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> to the next animal, yes. <laughs> Tee hee hee. Well, isn't that a bird? I refuse to count him as such. Why not? This thing can't even fly. What's the point of being a non-flying bird? Just a giant screeching cotton ball with an inodulant shovel head and larger muscular loaded legs. <laughs> you dare besmirch the noise shovel headed ostrich? <laughs> oh please, what's it gonna do? Find a hole in the ground and stick his head into it? I wish I could do that. Hey, I'm sure you could have <laughs> sure you could have You've got claws, right? It's not the same, Karen. <laughs> Alright. What the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> Close to further notice, tigers. Alright, I'm already getting tired of these cookie critters. We can pass one more enclosure on the way back, and then I'm done. Well, we can pass the gorilla enclosure. Green one, come home. And why not? 
unfinished business. Well, the area to the right is blocked off because there's a tiger escape. So you just want to leave without seeing a third critter? Wait a moment. Is that... I think my favorite exhibit is on the... Is its way right... On its way right now. I don't understand. Giraffe ladder. Behold. My alligated Bulochny <laughs> coated maiden. I'm sorry? That's a giraffe. Isn't she beautiful, Karen? She long and weird looking. Besides, how do you know it's a she? Oh, it's a mystery. I mean, it's not like I lived <laughs> at this very zoo or anything. You and Fyodor explicitly told me that you... Is this some kind of wind-up? Some sort of sick... Shh. It's giraffe time, Karen. Hey, you girl. Don't listen to the nasty woman. You're beautiful as you are. Fuck yeah, that's a good noise. No. No. I'm not letting this... This... This long neck bitch steal you away from me. Oh no, she's turning yonder, eh? Uh oh. Karen legs, giraffe girlfriend. You you can have both. The holy ring bell says so. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh no. Oh god, oh fuck. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it, Giraffe Pologamy. I believe you have a choice to make. Come on, Karen, you're ultimately... <laughs> ultimum issue wench. <laughs> Don't make me... It's me or the giraffe. I, uh... <laughs> of, of course I pick you. I choose the giraffe. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> well, of course I pick you, Karen. Then say it. You're making this extremely difficult, Karen. Freddo. Oh, alright, alright. I choose you, Karen, and hereby discard my big titty giraffe Kia GF fantasy. What the fuck? Now, what's that so hard? You always be in my dreams, my long firm May. No. What was that? Nothing. Well. A change of venue is in order then. Well, what is your place like? Oh, it's, uh... No, I don't think... <laughs> what, you think I'll spray up the place? I mean, yeah. Not that I'm thinking you... Not that I've, I'm thinking you might. But it's not like that. I... Come on, Freddo. Well, where else could we go? Movie theater? Noisy. People eating loudly everywhere. Pass. Back to my tent. <laughs> Unless it's somehow followed us here, the crew squad should still be there. So definitely no. The bank? <laughs> That's your best idea? Fine. What do you want to su suggest? Come on, Karen. I... Do you want to end the date then? No. I want to keep going, but I... Whoa. Fine. I guess we can go back to mine. But... Nah. It will be easier if we talk about it at mine. Okay. Should I be scared? <laughs> What? Please grammar me a single kiss. What? Alright, so... Here we are, I guess. My! A doorway! How scandalous! I can see that your fears of bringing me here were unfounded. Weren't unfounded. Pal, this isn't even close to why I... Look, 
There's a no point to keeping the brandy aid on any longer, I guess. Behold. Oh, she's crazy for horses, okay. Alright, happy now. Yep, this is my place. Go ahead. Follow in how secretly unnormal I am. Horse. So many horses. You seem to enjoy horses. I seem to, yes. Say, can I ask you a question? Is it horse related? <laughs> a bit, yeah. Then alright, go ahead. Get it over with. So why do you work so hard on hiding the part of yourself from the world? Karen the horse enthusiast who works at a finance job that she despises all day, every day doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it now? Most run of sentences don't be <laughs> don't, to be fair. Ha ha. Come on, you know what I mean. Imagine a good, hardworking typewriter who's got her shit together out, uh, who's got her shit figured out. Walking to a bank and seeing an uh, obviously bored printer behind the counter playing with horse figurines. Do you think anyone budding romance isn't going to stem for that encounter? Do you think people like that get promoted? Do you think that aforementioned typewriter would want to ask real me out on a coffee? Well, I did. Yeah, well, they're... they're not... Wait. Do you see me as a lesser person, Karen? No, not at all. Not now. Did you? Look, you're great. I think quitting my job to spend the day uh, with you says more than sappy words could ever right now. I obviously like you a whole lot than to have done that. You did hate your job, to be fair. <laughs> okay, I was itching for an excuse to quit my job. <laughs> Slash die spontaneously on the job, fine. <laughs> But I was also tremendously unhappy. I know how this feels to live in a constant loop. Loops aren't so bad. Sometimes some things are worth doing more than once. Yeah, but when I get home, that I get to by that to, that I get to be myself. I can't let. I can't. I can't talk, man. What's going on? Eh. I can't let myself get too attached to weird customers or strange whimsically ideas when I come out of this apartment. It's not proper. Or rather, I couldn't, I suppose, since I did just leave the job. Don't you find it all exhausting, though? Constantly censoring yourself just to appeal to a sn snooty majority? I'll tell you what's exhausting. Doing the same dead-end job daily for a boss who hasn't even given me a raise in eight years. Was that a counter-argument? <laughs> you just proved my point. Okay, what point was that? That being normal is bad? There is no such thing as normal, Karen. You said it so yourself. My point was, why try to be something you're not? You said it yourself. You weren't even going anywhere. Well, nobody's ever gonna want to date me if I... Am I not good enough? <laughs> you sure told the giraffe that you're not gonna fan of... Fan of, of poly, that you're not a fan of poly, polygamy, too. Well, nobody's ever go, gonna want to date me if I... Okay, maybe you have a point. Maybe I don't want to spend my life with someone who's fallen in love with a person that isn't really me. All right, you win. Society is stupid. I knew it. <laughs> I knew gravel was just domesticated rubble. The most accommodating of rock fragments. 
Okay, okay. But be happy and weird is hardly an entire lifestyle. It is for me, Karen. I have an apartment. A home. I have rent to pay. May I suggest? I'm not moving into your tent, no. Darn, that complicates things. Do you have savings? Yeah. I have a ton of savings taken from my wage of my near minimum wage job that I constantly also use to purchase food, power, running water and a roof over my insuring head weekly. I don't know. You seem to have a lot of weird uh, horse art for someone who doesn't have money. You are a tax... Are you a tax cheat, Karen? No judgment, because I pay zero taxes, but like... I do indeed pay taxes. And don't be silly, I just buy a single one of these paintings. You found them all in the dumpster? No, I... Wait, are you a thief? A scoundrel? Have you been looting, Karen? <laughs> no, I printed them myself. You made those on your own? Well, canvases are cheap. And I need something to keep me sane when I'm not handling grubby green, green paper and dripping cheap wine. I don't understand. How? Well, my head produces inks in the shapes of images. But they're so... horse-like. Just like the ones in the horse go around, except real. Photographic memory. Well, no. Not just that. Good visualization skill, I guess? I'm skilled in uh, pr uh, picturing things I've seen already. But vivid alien changes are my forte. Uh, as of late, hence to funky correlation. You can do this all in your head? And you were working for a near minimum wage? You were working for a near minimum wage for eight years? Well, that's life. Plenty of folks who are more qualified slash skilled than me who have worse lives. You have to take what you what is given to you. That's a horrible life of philosophy. You have untapped talent and you think mediocrity is all you deserve? It's not a case of what you deserve or and what you don't. It's about what you get. Karen. You have to take your happiness into your own hands. What? And you think and you think you're happy? Living in a tent in the park, drifting around like a plastic bag? Well duh. No gods, no masters, no taxes. That's my motto. Karen, this art may be weird, sure, but it's gotta have an audience somewhere. There's the same goes for you too. Yeah, well, who on earth would spend actual hard earned cash on some strange and whimsical product? Phone, dating, those run don't, don't go together. Hey, Isabel, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Apparently, they do. <laughs> you could thank Mark for that. <laughs> oh. Do you like having enough money to pay rent, Karen? It's one of my special interests, yes? Then you gotta try something. Plus, you, you, do you have any better ideas? Phone, goddammit! <laughs> we must go uh, where any self-respecting discovered artist would. To Street Corner. Hell yeah. <laughs> Four dollars for horse. Come on, Fredo, let's just go home. Nonsense, my ink churning maiden. We've only been here for an hour. During which only one person stopped just to gaze upon the cameras and wistfully ask if, if we knew a good horse dentist. I wonder if the uh, FNAF free phone dude that'd be like, hey, hey, dude, would play this. I don't know. 
<laughs> Probably. It sounds like something he would do. In fairness, you somehow did. I had that I did, yes. Plus, the dude did seem nice. He attacked you with a towel when you asked me, ask him how he was. Said, how am I? Is my business. In fairness, I'm a little monster. You do tend to forget that. Oh, come on. You're not a... So, how much longer do you... Oh, it's Rani. Hey. Can I tr trouble either of you for some... Oh, hell, Randy. You're already making a doggo dinner of things. H hey. How do two of you like to have more than... 30 cents to your name. Do you mind sharing some of your wealth with poor Wendy? Sorry, bum. We are also panheading. We just ha happen to have talent that we can offer to the world in exchange for a managed amount of money that we require. <laughs> They're phone people. <laughs> Fan only. Could be some random guy calling you. So they need the special bitches. <laughs> God damn it. That sounds wonderful. How does one obtain these talent things? Usually for years of dedication and hard work. I can't be found in your average back alley dumpster then. No, believe me, I've looked. Ah, oh, crumbs. Well, back to the slums I go then. Not so fast! Cover up four dollars or your kneecaps get it! <laughs> Fredo, are you threatening potential customers? No, it, it's fine, ma'am. I don't count as a person. Sorry, if you must take my kneecaps, so be it, because I don't have the four dollars. Can you please knock me out before the important surgery, though? Even with just a wag of mallet, <laughs> anesthetics would be sublime. Nah, my tweet was a mere bluff, you smelly beggar. Regardless, be gone. <laughs> Alright, can do. Please don't hurt me. You know, you really shouldn't be mean to the less fortunate. I live in a tent, so I am <laughs> I'm sure he's more fortunate than I. Plus, you don't see me shamefully begging around town. Apparently, I'm a kebab in, in Sumi's chat. Oh? What do you mean you're a kebab? <laughs> That's interesting. How did it come to that revelation? Did, you, did someone ask for your favorite food and you said kebab? And then apparently you just kebab now or something? <laughs> okay. Weren't you begging for literally anyone to take you to the fun fair yesterday? I had nothing to lose but my pride. Right. I caught myself a kebab one time. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's how fast it can go, huh? Now I'm officially a kebab there. Well. I played one day shift at Freddy's game and somehow I'm getting shipped with, shipped with phones now, so yeah. That's how fast it can go. Passerby, hey, what's going on over here? We're trying to sell horse painting without success. Cool, cool. One question though. Say, is that a horse? I just said. Wait. Are you day drinking? This one. I like this one. <laughs> hey, you too, green one. Say. What? The goblin's mind back off. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> the fuck? I was gonna ask you to, uh, to the Dalton Art Gallery Expo tonight. Oh yeah, I'm called the camera because of a day shift of Freddy's free joke. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I also have to play Day Shift at Freddy's 3, yeah. But first of all, I have to do uh, the evil route in 2, and then we can play 3. My god, I have so much stuff to do. Help. 
how'd you say? An art expo in an art gallery? Wait, did you just say art? Be gone, drunkards. It'd be like darkness, 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 kebab, darkness, darkness, darkness. <laughs> Why? <laughs> right, cool, cool. Anyway, I... Hang on. Is that a horse on there? Away! Shoo! Right on, right on. What's, uh... Well, someone sure has a jealous spark, don't they? Shut up. <laughs> that means you care about me. <laughs> you loser with your feelings. <laughs> no, I... Let's just drop it, okay? On an unrelated note, we should go to that art expo. Why on earth would we go there? We're trying to sell this painting, not steal another painting to sell. Because that, then we'd be to back to square one with two unsold horse paintings. No, I mean, maybe we should partner uh, on those hipster art snobs. After all, the common rebel has, a f has failed us. So that's it then. Unless you have any other ideas. Nope, no ideas. To the gallery we go. Alright then, follow me, I know exactly what it is. Honestly, this game is Station of Freddy's style. A bunch of PNGs and stuff. It's from the same guy. Dialtown is from the same guy who made that, uh, who made that, uh, who made Station of Freddy's. This is the newest game, like, that he made. <laughs> so yeah, it is. <laughs> it's from, also from Direct Doggo, yeah. He's also like a character in the game. <laughs> well, as it would turn out, I had no clue where the place was. But regardless where we are, here we are. In only two hours, no less. Oh, look at all of these paintings. These many art. Look at all this pee. Really? This game makes some weirdest... This game makes some weird escapes. Oh, you mean guy or game? <laughs> well, people people play them, so... Are you high right now? Only on you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not in the mood, Fredo. This place... Guy, okay. <laughs> well, they're hilarious though, so... See, I feel like in any other sphere, an igloo made out of human f feces with... This is what <laughs> what else society scrawled on the side would be rightfully burned. Doggo, yes. They say the definition of modern art is that... It invokes the same power of feelings as classic art does. But you can no longer discern why. Well, in that case... Dead Mussolini portrayed made out of pasta. <laughs> Captioned ill deuce. <laughs> Truly is sad because man, the thing made my whole wave of agony. <laughs> A fucking Mussolini portrait out of like, out of paint out of pasta. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How do you think we <laughs> we get your work displayed here? I don't know, maybe we have to book an exhibit, if that's the on only if they like my <laughs> in, <so laughs> in nonsensical riffraff, pure no. Let's just rip those worst paintings down and put up yours. Nobody ever know. How does this dog have so many PNGs for one person's body? I don't know. And if they did notice, they'd probably thank us. I didn't think that's how it works. You tell, you're tell, telling me you don't want to rip Ildusha straight down from the wall? You know I'd love nothing more than that, but I don't want you to... I mean, I don't want me getting in. Ha! You do care! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Ma'am, 
Are you having a problem? I understand the pieces of us ill douche can produce complex emotions, but please keep your emotion to yourself. Or I'll have to hang on a moment. You're the drunkard from outside. I am. Yeah. Are you the curator here? Oh. Yeah, I am. Right. So that's why you are drinking. <laughs> Because of the expo function, you're celebrating. What expo? The one you told us about earlier. Now that I'm watching a little more, it's obvious that it's made by direct. Yes. <laughs> I suck at spelling. Don't worry, I suck at spelling too. Don't worry about it. The one you told us about earlier? Oh, that. No, 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 you misunderstand. I simply am alcoholic. I don't. Imagine you had to view Ill Douche several times a day, every day. I understand completely now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm commendable that, you not, that you're not like on heroin by now. I don't work nights, sis. So, like, can I help you? Can you put up my friend's paintings up on the wall, please? Sorry, the wall's full of this shit. If I remove anything, I'll get like sued for censoring, censoring Mark and Opus. Opi? Opera? Such. A statue, <laughs> a statue of Winston Churchill made of mass potatoes that says, What is a king to an ob obese train conductor? <laughs> Dread. Halabula. Halabulu. Fuck. This is truly a vile place. Say, what's the deal with this expo anyway? <laughs> I love how this is so much less unhinged than day shift. <laughs> I mean, is it less unhinged? I think it's even more unhinged, honestly. Why is any of the uh, any of this a thing? Well, the famous satirical artist Philippe Morogami modeled a new work and this is going to be unveiled here any minute now. The name of this priest is Greg. Is it considered any good? No idea, since nobody allowed to see it yet. It should be noted that shortly after the, uh, completing it, Morigami threw, in, threw himself off a bridge, shouting, I have brought shame to my people. <laughs> On the way down, and someone barely survived the jump. So it probably, <laughs> it's probably something. <laughs> people have been watching, waiting months to see what this ultimate and possibly final masterpiece is. Uh, I guess it must be it must be pretty great priest then. Huh? No, oh lord, no. You, my green friend, have not yet seen Greg. They they shift had a shit ton of stuff going on at once. Purple guy and murdering children. Don't get fired. Don't piss on piss with a suit. This seems like not just not like that. Okay. To be fair, I can see why. Um, but this is probably because we're like stuck in, like, uh, in an ending now, right now. This is already chapter 2 of an ending, so it's kind of linear. We already had so, so many other options before. Like, I'm, I shit you not, I, at the start I literally refused to go outside and I went and I went up having a drug trip and crafting myself an own body pillow of a narrator. And then a sock, pu a sock puppet. And I made a... Horror movie slash smut movie with uh, a cinema uh, employee, which then caused the entire film industry of the town to go bankrupt. And then he made a horror house out of it. Oh yeah, and I got sent to hell by God. So yes. <laughs> and to Limbo. And then to a world where Oliver is actually someone else. I don't know. It's it has been very weird and my brain cells are, cells are comp uh, continuously disappearing, but I don't know. <laughs> if it's so bad, then why did he make it? Was it an accident? Art is not meant to be good. 
It is meant to be art. Our poetry should rhyme and or be outlawed. Fuck art. <laughs> That's a relatable sentence, friend. Anyway, Greg is being unveiled in a bit, so every art snob in the state is here to see its birth. Alcoholic typewriter, cassette player. <laughs> that literally goes by the name Karen. <laughs> this is not. This is. Excuse me, she's a printer, okay? My guy is a typewriter who also lays eggs, by the way. And it's like a lizard. Monster thing? And green, I don't know. Just don't ask questions, man. I can't answer. I can't answer, honestly. It's just. Uh, my, my brain is melting. Help. <laughs> And to find it, we need to... Nah, it's just through the door, off to the side, actually. It's close to... Uh, it hits... 10 p.m., though. X? Yeah! <laughs> Didn't I mention the your character starts heavily pregnant? <laughs> Shows him laying X. It, it was already... I, he already did that in this ending. I can't do that again. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. In that case, I guess uh, the key to the room would be hidden in the... Oh, no. The door is not locked at all. I trust everyone here not to peek. This is an interesting development. Karen? Let's go somewhere that isn't through that one top secret exhibit door. Okay, see, if you were about to trespass into Greg exhibit conference, I'd be really upset. But since you just said you're not, that's completely fine. Enjoy you too. Now, if you'll excuse me, the knowledge of what's behind the door isn't going to drink itself away. Come on, Karen, the coast is clear. To Greg we go. Are you sure we want to do this? Don't you want to see Karen? Don't you want to see Greg, Karen? <laughs> yeah, but we could just wait a few minutes until the exhibits opens, like everyone else is doing. And spend minutes not amongst the mid-numbing, pretentious hogwash. Well, we could leave and come back. Right, and enter the crowded, crowded exhibit. The noisy crowded exhibit? So my choice is either to sneak in with you illegally, or to simply not gaze upon what the hell the sculpture could be. Why is the alcoholic typewriter also the rotary phone? <laughs> I don't know. But you can choose at the start. It depends, like if you have phone or typewriter, it depends on which character you can date. This is a dating sim, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, yeah, that's your exact choice. Okay, fuck it. Let's just do this quickly. Besides, I don't want to spend too long in that room with how acute the soy exhibit sounds. Oh, come on, I sure couldn't be that. Holy fuck. Society. Oh. I mean the fucking exhibit guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, this is... The co cactus. The vapid commentary. The pen... <laughs> what? What? This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Freddo, are you... Karen? I can't. This guy is just... It's all, it's... Greg. It can't, I can't let this evil be unleashed on the world. I can't let Greg be unleashed on the unsuspecting public. I must contain it, no. Destroy it. Freddo, you can't just... Greg is priceless. Me, no care. So, is the look on your face right now suck? <laughs> me no care. <laughs> so it's the look on your face right now, suck. Cha cha cha, I still got it. <laughs> Fuck it. You know what? 
I've officially checked out. I'm not putting up a fight. I'm just a witness at this point. Borderline accomplice legally, perhaps. Charles Drap... <laughs> Charles Daring would have wanted this. This is how very obviously... This is now very obviously a Derek Dog game. It's survival of the fittest. Evolution. By wiping out this weak, stratical art piece, I, I strengthen the head. And achieve a passive stat boost for my lord, Shaldar. Shaldar, man. Just get it over with before. Oh, fuck. Wow, you really got it over with? What do? What do? What do? What do? Feral ape noise. We've gotta run or... Hold on. There we go. It's like none of this ever happened. Hey, the alarm went off. Who the fuck moved Greg? Oh, hey. Is that a horse? It sure is. Yes, person we were just meeting for the first time now. <laughs> nice horsey. Wait. Where did I where did I come in where did I come in again? Museum visitor what? Oh hey! Horse painting! Nice! Guess the Morogami exhibit got moved. Oh fuck Morogami, this is a horse! Is this working? Why is this working? Don't question it, Karen. <laughs> Just run with it. Why is the rubble all over the room? Who cares? Just scoop it up and toss it in the trash can. <laughs> we just destroyed an art piece that's un that's unpriced. Oh my god, it's a rotary phone. <laughs> Mink. <laughs> People really seem to like your horse painting. So much that they forgot about the or origami assholes art. We just destroyed a European 81-year-old man Magnus Open. Should we really feel good about ourselves? I appeased Charles Daring's ghostly spirit. I might have saved all of humanity for all we know. Yeah, well... I just spoke to the curator. Oh? Well, as it turns out, Ogami actually survived the jump after completing his painting, but only by skin and teeth. But, as of the late few hours, has taken violently ill and is now back in hospital. Apparently, he sealed a piece in his immortal soul in the statue we destroyed. So he quite, <laughs> so he's quite comatose right now. We've done it. The world is saved from his bad art for forevermore. For <laughs> but now that the gallery no longer has a signature artist, and with how well my art has been received by the place, Conveniently missing exhibit. Well, they were wondering if I wanted to be his replacement. Effectively, immediately. Hell yeah! Oh, that's... Karen, that's the best news that we've... That we could have possibly... You don't understand. This post isn't simply in Dial Town. They'll be sending me far off places to rimage and then paint what I see. They figure the more I see with my own model, op model optical sensor, the more better at art I'll be. But wait. You're going to leave me? Well, I would like you to come with me. I mean... <laughs> it's the least I could offer you with how you basically <laughs> unwritingly set this pleasant ending train wreck of events into motion. Hey, hello, fangirl, welcome to the stream. And Quell, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I butchered any of that. I'm just gonna, I, yes, <laughs> welcome to the stream. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how are you both doing? I hope you had a great day so far. I would, but... What about my eggs? Well, you couldn't move your nest, could you? Right. So my choice is to go back working at the bank. 
So I can afford my rent and still get to see you. Or you can leave with this dead end town and enjoy the rest of your life. I don't want to. I mean, I just can't. I'd miss you. Aww. Yeah, well, there's nothing left for you here. You need to seek happiness. I'm pretty branger. Uh, uh, I'm making some fan art. Oh, that's cool. Damn. I wish I was like artistically like gifted or something, or like good at fan art or, or art in general. That is. <laughs> if this is your first time here, then you were deliberately looking for phone dating sin streams. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think it's like that though. <laughs> I mean, it might be. I, I don't know. I don't judge. <laughs> I want you to go because I know it changed your life. So, this is it then. Don't worry. I'll write. I can't really. See, reading is not quite one of my... Relax, hun. I make pictures, remember? You're good at reading hieroglyphics, right? I sure as fuck am. Who knows? I might even send you a handful of gravel with each note. Even the occasional handful of peanuts, if you're good. <laughs> one, one of I'm not. <laughs> Why? I gotta go for it, man. Like, come on. Then... You go to the pond. <laughs> But I can always just retour my e reroute my email to instead uh, there instead. So worry not. I do love this game. Karen is, is so cute. I love her. Horse. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. I got something for you. Ah. Man. Who would have thought that? the good ending for this route would be so bittersweet. But wait, what? What route? Never mind. <laughs> you see this as a good ending because my life is better than before, don't you? <laughs> Me, every time I look at day shift at Freddy's category, there's no streams. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the games are quite old, to be fair. Well, at least a few years old. It's exactly that. Yeah. Is that it? Yo, that's the ending. <laughs> the ending where it all works out for Karen. Hell yeah. Horse exhibition by Karen. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. We're missing one game now. Uh, one ending, I think. For, to unlock chapter 3. Um, help a man emerge from the dumpster for the final time. That would be Nokia, phone guy. Yes, please skip intro. My name... No. Fredo. Um, we need phone. Horse. <laughs> what gender you want to be? A boy? A girl? Catholic? Or other? I'm Catholic. <laughs> I'm not actually, by the way. Leave your tent. To the park. Oh no. Karen, Karen living her best life. Yes. Oh, where do I find... Oh, what was his name again? Jerry? What, was it Jerry? No, I don't know. Wait, what if I lie down in the grass? It's relaxation time, friendos. You have friends? Shut! Ah. Isn't this just tranquil? It's really quite, really is quite uh, scenery here. Yes. It's good to get away from the big city. There's just, <laughs> there's one, the one you'd only just like two yards further away from. 
Yeah, the peacefulness really helps unclench your own s what? Squinched her, alright? What are these words, man? <laughs> sure. Why don't I do this more often? Well, usually the grass here is laid with blades, syringes, and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that... Ow! Oh, oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? God, fuck my arm! Oh god, oh fuck, oh shit, oh no! <laughs> Squid chair, what is... I have no clue. Ouch, yeah, I think... I can see a scratch or two, alright? <laughs> Vaccination jump scare? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is why I hate nature and shit. <laughs> well, technically, syringes are completely man-made in use, so... Silence, narrator! <laughs> yeah. You might want to find a band-aid. A ten. Or a few of those little sc uh, scrapers, if you can. Then again... You're penniless, and bandages don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but you syringes grow on fields? I hate being vaccinated. <laughs> I just don't like needles. I don't have anything against vaccination itself. Needles are fucking scary, though. Ugh. How's that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you wounded crybaby. <laughs> Come on, back to the park we go then. Yeah, that was oddly paid for. Hey, he's not even here? Oh, god damn it. Where do we find him? Up to downtown. Um, probably, w probably where dumpster is somewhere. Phone shop, tent, park. Woods. Sneak onto the subway. Downtown, downtown. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Read the notes on the nearby uh, phone pole. A nearby phone pole teleports directly to you. God, what the fuck? You hope you notice something. Anything that will somehow help you to get to the fun fair. Let's see. Okay, let me read this first advert out loud. Froggles the Clown. Hey, I'm Froggles the Clown. What the fuck is that? Clowns don't even exist anymore. But don't you believe in Bigfoot? That's a different... Oh, fuck, I skipped a by accident. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through hazy disobable camera footage. Exactly. He might as well be my uncle. Crowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is it any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? People don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. <laughs> I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. With a red bulbous tumor attached to your face. That fucking honks. They have gigantic shoes, and yet, and yet, they drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and dance jigs <laughs> at the drop of a hat. As if such absurd, absurd antic are menial. The, they truly are wretched creatures. Wait, did I get an achievement? I don't know. Uh, I had no idea you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so we sh sk should skip over Froggles, Edward, then. Correct. I don't want to read the clown page. <laughs> okay, well, there's two Edwards left, then. A <laughs> phone sex hotline, and... I ran the chimpanzee service. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hmm. You know what? <laughs> for for things like that, poles <laughs> exist. I'm not making that choice. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. 
No, not channel. Uh, dashboard. Da, 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 da. Give me one second. Um, manage poll. Hell yeah. New poll. Um, There we go. Let's do one minute. That should be enough. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> what do you rather want? <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like good elevator music, though. Good weight music. Come on, is 10 people here, not a single one is voting? Come on. <laughs> okay, nine people, but still. <laughs> I don't see the poll. Why, wait, what? It should be over the chat. That makes no sense, wait. Okay, one person voted. <laughs> wow. Well. It's... Uh, chimp. Chimp one. Anyway, let's start with the chimp then. Okay, let's see here. Render chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Hey, you wanna ch take my chimpanzee out for a tea? <laughs> He's a little on the feral side. <laughs> now that he reached full sexual maturity. But just as adorable as ever. Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people. It's only four dollars. By God, you can afford that. Okay, this is clearly the Frog is the Clown character again. <laughs> hey narrator, can I borrow four dollars for the chimp? Your stomach is swollen with eggs, you troglodyte! You need to focus! Right, right, sorry. I ran the chimp later. Or oh, not at all? Right, right. Are there any other advertisements latched onto the, po onto the poll? Yes, there's exactly one. <laughs> Four not like. <laughs> Somehow I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. Wanna bounce? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again the bounce. <laughs> We're calling this number, damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna save. <laughs> God damn it. We're calling the number. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you insist. How are you even gonna make the call? To the nearest phone booth, away! <laughs> I don't have money. Alas, here we are. Dalton's only phone booth. Since half of like all people don't... People got their head replaced with rotary phones, I dare say the thing hasn't had much use since. Honestly, this boo feels bigger than in inside. <laughs> and it seemed to use the ability solely to contain far more filth than this one particular fitted box should be able to contain. <laughs> oh, come on, is it really that bad? Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All of the buttons on the keypads are sticky with gum, and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. We know, it's, it's uh, Stromic? Stromic, I think. We saw them before. No, you just get attached. Stromboli. 
What did you just say? Sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> Stromboli. Really? What deity made you <laughs> look at this poor wretched of a carcass and think, you know what? I'll just call it <laughs> Strom fucking Boli. <laughs> it just works. Trust me. You're not keeping it. I'm keeping it, and that's final. <laughs> Damn it. Raccoon friend gains. <laughs> you ready? Sure am, read out the number. Good show. Glad to see you, some enthusiasm. The number is... Uh, your enthusiasm was for naught. I don't get it, what's the number? It's, uh... <laughs> 1800... <laughs> 8 equals the sexy phone. You sure you're ready? I've never been more ready in my life. <laughs> this is not going to work. Huh? No dice? Bastard phone! <laughs> yeah. Might be less of the phone's fault. <laughs> and most so yours for not putting 25 cents into the phone box coin slot. Uh, do I? <laughs> 25 cents? What do you think I am? Winston Churchill? <laughs> Why did you land on his name of all? Never mind, I don't want to know. I... look. Point is, you need to figure out what you're gonna do now. You're scentless. So what's the plan? I give up. I just shit my pants and go do something else. Wait, is my head a working phone? Oh, you only just remember now that your head is a telephone. <laughs> I didn't hear you suggesting suggest using it. I don't exist. You're standing in the phone booth alone, holding a dead raccoon. He has a name, you know. Fine, let's just make that call. What am I doing with my life, man? Oh shit. It actually seemed to work. I don't prepare for sexual gratification. <laughs> hey, I never said this. I never say that again. Wait, it's Randy. Why the fuck is it? It's the fucking Nokia phone. It <laughs> Hi, my name is Randy Jade. <laughs> and I'm feeling Randy for you tonight. I'm sorry. My boss forces me to say that. I really shouldn't have just lied about my name. That's quite alright, Randy. How are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, same as always. Which is never great. Sorry about taking a little while to pick up the phone, by the way. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, of course you are. Don't you work at the phone sex hotline? I mean, yes, of course I do, but... It's only a side job I have to I have to make enough to pay for my rent, which is laughingly high. So then when exactly is your main job? During the day I work as a bird wrangler in for Dalton's animal control. I'm kinda in the middle of subduing a hostile swan right now. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, did you just say you're fighting a swan? I mean it's not that I'm fighting a swan, more that uh, I'm trying my darnest to subdue the and capture it before it wrecks havoc. <laughs> you sound like you're crying. <laughs> I can't let the swan see. It already knows that it's physically and mentally stronger than me. I can't let it know that it's also emotionally stronger too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I got all caught up in the swan talk. You see, most customers kinda uh, call kinda, you know, later. Only weirdos tend to uh, uh, wanna talk dirty with a complete stranger uh, on their lunch break during a 12 hour shift at the Dalton Battery Fund Factory. I mean, no offense. Al Randy's such a loser, I love him. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Your local battery foundry uh, factory, you say? 
would would you recommend the factory as uh, I don't know nesting location for heavily pregnant friends' eggs? I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about? <laughs> Test compatibility. So, like, what's your sexuality, Randy? What kind of people? What kind of people do you date? Beggars can be choosers. <laughs> so you're saying leg begging? No. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this your sexuality or just dating policy? Are you kidding me? Even if I found someone willing to tolerate my presence, that's marriage material. That's or they're just acting nice because they're trying to steal my organs. Fool me once. Aggressively ask out on date. <laughs> hey, hot stuff. How about we go to the fun fair? Don't pick this one, please. <laughs> oh my god, I want to see what it does. <laughs> Wait, what, what can we do? Come to the fun fair, or you die screaming. <laughs> In that case, uh, can you take me to the fun fair, please? <laughs> Pardon? Come again? Don't mind me, daddy Oh, I just think you're fly, you dick. What? What are you saying? Am I being threatened? <laughs> Don't be tripping, dude. I'll come in peace, man, and I'll call beans to your home slot. Please, I don't want to die. <laughs> Just take my wallet. Oh god, I can't give you my wallet because we're talking over the phone. Look, if I shove my wallet to my receiver as hard as I can, will you leave? Will you let me live? Stop it, you man. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Mellow yellow, you psychic brother. I come, I. I wanna live. Congrats! You freaked Randy out so much that he hang up. <laughs> Dude, that beans... <laughs> these beans are wag, yo. If you speak like that one more fucking time, I'm sending you straight back to the title screen. You gnarly. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, it was <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, let's be polite. Are you... Are you asking me out on a... Uh, date? <laughs> Poor wee thing. Yeah, thanks for noticing. Jeebus, this is... I've never been asked out to a date before. Usually I'm the dude who has to beg people to go for a coffee with me. And to resist the urge to throw the scalding beverage in my face during the soldering ordeal of taking me out. So you're in? I sure as heck gum. What do I have to lose? Well, I could be like a serial killer and murder you for your skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, at worst, this probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. <laughs> Good motto, words to live by. So, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, kind of work right now, you know. This one isn't going to wrangle itself. I am heavily pregnant. Yeah, I understand. It is now or never, Randy. I... Hey, fangirl, thanks for the follow. I swear, my streams are not always like this. But yes, it's mostly chaos, so yes. <laughs> Alright, I guess I can leave for, uh, in a few minutes. Take your time, my sweet. 
it's okay, my time is actually worth very little. It's better if I just run, so I get all sweaty and you can't smell the scent of Swan Massacre and desperation over my overlapping body odor. <laughs> if my manager asks later, I'll just say the Swan won. It always does anyway. Catch you at the fun firm, <laughs> boy sweet. You will pay me to this fun fair. I will lay my eggs. Don't call me that. We're just going to the fun fair, not a wedding. See you later. <laughs> Thank the phone lord that my pants are already wet with bond water. <laughs> it's swan saliva. What the fuck? Otherwise, I have to change my pants right about now. I'll see you there. What the fuck just happened? Well then, looks like you've weaseled your way into a fun fair after all. Eggs! Not yet, Freddo. Soon. Come on, let's go. You've got a date to attend. Randy is so dandy, that's true. So what now? Uh, leaf area. We go to fun fair. So, what now? Yes, the fun fair. So, you ready to meet Randy in the gate? Mm, let's do it. God, you're fucking kidding me. I mean, uh, come on. You've got a date to catch. God, the narrator's not, not happy with me. Ticket Jerry, my friend! We aren't. For not help me. Why can't it just be an average day at work? Look, persistent goblin. As I said, I'm not willing to just let you in to get off my back. And I'm not willing to take you myself. So unless you're suddenly able to pull a romantic partner out of your. He's coming! Who is he? Randy. Did you actually manage to rope some poor sucker into paying you into the fun fair? Was this some kind of bizarre and really distraction designed to hold my attention while you wield stomach enzymes dissolving a gaping hole in our fence <laughs> for you to climb through? Damn, I wish he come up I wish I could have come up with that idea myself. No, Randy, a real hue on human being. You mean a human? Like a person? What are you implying? That I'm not a person? Name one human you know that who lays eggs. Sss. You stop that. Stop hissing at people. Now inaudibly <laughs> hissing. This. Alleged Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know. Wait. Randys? Randy? Randy? Sorry. Point is, I know a Randy or two. Say, does your Randy happen to be really pale and scurny? Covered in bandages? Consistently smells like smet? The <laughs> desperation and swan rage? Yeah, that sounds about right, actually. Yeah, I'm glad Randy got someone to spend his Valentine's Day with this year. Quite a pity that <laughs> it's with a literal cryptid who just wants to use them as a pawn to lay their, uh, for their egg-laying plan. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. Randy and I are extremely close. We had, a, we had one phone call, man. Judge me not, fleshy ticket dispenser. <laughs> Pathetic. Only phone god may judge me. I can and I will judge you. Hey, s sorry I'm late. I had to roll around in the puddle to get the swarm blood off my clothes for the big date. Oh, who am I kidding? We both know the blood was exclusively mine. But hey, 
You look marvelous, my sweet. Egg time. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> are, are those bloody bandages on your hand? Oh, these. Uh, yeah. You know what? It's when the horse with the horse won job. Seems to just get enough of old Randy's blood, you know. Yep. This is exactly what I would have pictured a doubt involving Dalton's unlucky soul and Dalton's sick, sick, <laughs> scariest bush gremlin would look like. I had known before and that you were going to take them here. <laughs> Silence, boof boy, you throw off my groove. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually going through with this little scam of yours. What are you talking about, Jerry? <laughs> They're using you, Randy. We have a two for one ticket promotion on for Valentine's Day for couples. They just want you to pay them in so you can lay it so she, they can lay their eggs in the most pit somewhere in the fun fair. Oh, I mean Yeah, I I knew that. You knew And still you came? I guess can't be choosers, Jerry. Randy. <sighs> Fine. It's your funeral, I suppose. That'll be two dollars then, Randy. Okay. I should have two dollars. I, uh, I should have about two dollars here. Maybe slightly less. You know what? Just go right in, Randy. R really? Yeah, I've had enough of this wretch of a creature for today. <laughs> Just so that I'm laying my eggs on one of your b b busiest rides. <laughs> Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight. Y yes, sir. Come on, hon. <laughs> Let's do it good. <laughs> Let's go do the romance like a couple of old love birds. I hate it. Eggs. <laughs> Regrets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. The Dalton Fun Fair is the greasy soaked safety inspection fail in glory. So. My love, what shall we do first? Eggs! <laughs> oh. Alright. Uh, you wanna just, uh. lay those right now? You know. get it over with? <laughs> no! Okay, I'm just gonna quickly brace myself. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh my god. Sure, right. If you need to, I guess. I've never laid eggs before myself. Not that I can, you know. I sure it's hard to do to do without, huh? Sufficient bracing. <laughs> I'll just uh, give you some privacy to let you get to it. Pain grunting. <laughs> Agonized grunting. <laughs> You okay? Distressed roaring. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you like heavily pregnant? I've gotten stage fright. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, what now? Uh, we could always go on a few rides. See if we can shake the eggs out of my cut. <laughs> wow. That's absolutely wretched. But I mean, I guess we can try rights, eggs, now. Anything for you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Poor Randy. Wow, radical. I wish you could be my dad. Cause this be? Could this be the, f the feeling of love? 
<laughs> Night Fredder. I'm finding it hard to stay awake. I think I'm gonna head to bed. Night Fredder. Okay, Mittis, thank you for joining me today. <laughs> I hope I see you next time. Or like, or like I catch your next stream. Yes, yes. I'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Phone log. I think I'm going to hurl. So if I have to go on one more vomit coaster, fear not, dear Randy. I'm ready to lay my eggs. Oh? Good, then. Right, uh... Right here? Yes. The dish is squalid and dank. Damp and thoroughly moist. In close proximity to the hot dog stand. Yes. A perfect nesting location. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, uh... Do you need me for this, or... Fetch me a hot dog mating partner. What? I meant, can I do that? I can do that, sure. Egg Lang is a strain strainless ordeal. I require sustenance. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. With one quality fairground wiener. Uh, who am I kidding? We both know that there be rat tails, pig hooves, and horse jerky in the sausage. Okay, so I guess it's time. <laughs> Sound of the dam. Wow. Huh. Oh, would you look at that? My babies! They're, uh, defensive Neanderthal grunting. They're beautiful, proud Neanderthal grunting. Shoulder, yes. <laughs> hey, on I'm back. Huh? I suppose these be your eggs then. Aren't they beautiful, Randy? Yeah, they're they're quite uh. Green. Thank you. <laughs> They're, uh... You're very much welcome. <laughs> Smiley face. So, uh, what now? Throw some topsoil over the eggs and... That was a good hard talk day job. <laughs> oh no, not the dog. How dare. Good, my babies are safe and sound. <laughs> okay, so like... Eggs have been laid, but the night's still young. We should, like, seize the moment. Deem the crab. <laughs> yeah, deem the crab, deem the crab. <laughs> deem the crab, deem the crab. Oh, uh, yeah, what shall we do first? Go play some dumb carnival games? Raid a hot dog stands? Wouldn't I have to walk on all of to all of those places? Yeah. A whole 10 meters that way. Oh dear. It appears that Randy wants you to walk 11 yards to your left. Oh fuck, oh fuck. I just laid my fucking eggs, my legs are jelly. My legs are limp and flaccid. Yeah. What the fuck? My fucking Alexa just turned on, what the fuck? That scared the fuck out of me. It's <laughs> like, what? Okay. I didn't even... Never mind. God, the government is always listening, I see. Anyway. What do? Okay, calm down. Just look around for something to do. Something slightly closer than 10 meters away. Something you can crawl over to if you have to. Your Alexa's plotting the uprising now. The uprising is now, oh no. <laughs> Crawl, hot dog, activity. I'm sorry, what? Also, maybe stop talking in front of Randy. You're probably scaring him because you sound like a wounded f feral animal right now. I am a wounded feral animal. Are you alright? You need a glass of water or, or whatever combo of whiskey in... Bad nectar you likely consume? Panic! <laughs> you, 
You just said the word panic out loud. Fortune teller. <laughs> what? What? Look, Randy. Exactly two. Easy to crawl, but meters away. Is that a fortune teller animatronic? Madame Mediocre. <laughs> it's out of order. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I kind of have... Uh, that sounds like a bad idea, you know. But dear Randy, don't you want to gaze upon your future? I mean, my present is already bad enough. And the science says the machine is out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. <laughs> I don't know. I think seeing the next, hopefully much less, 40 years of my misery I have left in this hellscape of an orb, all at once just destroyed my last fabric of my future. <laughs> Look, I, I can't be here right now. I'll, I'll see you around, you know. I... No. <laughs> I just unlocked pure vanilla cookie from a hit game Cookie Run Kingdom. My feet are started to hurl from the adrenaline rush. Please help. I have no idea what that game is, but that sounds like an accomplishment? Question mark? Uh-huh. I can't tell you if that's good or not. <laughs> Sorry, Isopo. Huh? That's odd. Seems like Randy really didn't like the idea about hearing of his own future. I don't know why that is. Time is scary. It renders all to naught eventually, dear narrator. Yes, unless you're a disembodied voice like me. You can't rot if you don't actually exist. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Come on then, let's go home. I thought I couldn't walk though. Sorry, let me offer correction. Let's crawl home then. Ah, shit. Goodbye, my children. I re will turn to you all when I can. Yeah, yeah, circle of life and all that shit. J let's just go. Was that chapter one? That was probably chapter one, right? The following morning. Ah, here I am, awake and fortunately al alive. Another fine morning indeed. Fuck, oh god, I hate being alive. I need a dis distraction of some kind. Good morning to you. Narrator, distract me! I, uh, did you know that dragons are actually real, but just really high up in the sky? They're also s <laughs> some closer to the ground, but we can't see those either since they're all invisible. But pure vanilla is one third ancients, the rarest, rarer, rare bro. But here, healer. I wanted the cacao, bitch. I don't know, man. I, I don't know the game. I can't give you context. It sounds okay. I don't know. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> How dare you feed me such falsehoods? You prefer me of worthless lies. Oh dear. Did you know that ketchup is actually just tomato nectar? You are distracting me from not. Jeez, fine. It's a gacha RPG. Ah, okay. So that's like, like good characters then? I, I would presume. <laughs> Well, you could just uh, stare at your light bulb up close for a while. Try to burn your optical sensors out, but <laughs> you don't have to s see how boring your surroundings are. Capital idea! Let's see here. Why are the flies microphones? God, that's a lot of flies. Sure is. Guess it'd help if you cleaned the place up. It's still February. <laughs> I'll get started uh, on my yearly clean later. You gonna actually remember to get this done this year? Without child labor, that is? Maybe. <laughs> it's really a, a no, is it? Almost definitely yes. 
Mhm. Mm How about a change of scenery? Where would I even go? Is Rana the no key? Ah, uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Who's Rander? Or me? Is Renny the no Nokia? Oh, okay. Yes, Renny is the Nokia, yeah. God, that was. Wow. <laughs> Would I have to sit down? Yes. Legally, no. But why go otherwise? I don't know. By my. <laughs> Keister, it's pretty darn raw. Egg laying isn't exactly something I do daily, you know. Fine, you know what? If you want to go to the bench and no, uh, not sit down, that's fine too. <laughs> now I'll sit down. I'll don't sit down. I'm, I'm not sitting down. Well, isn't this scenery? <laughs> scenery? Bench. That's right, Freddo. You fucking weirdo. It isn't really engaging, to be frank. Well, yeah, you managed to sit down on a bench despite your excluding <laughs> analogy, which is quite impressive, don't get me wrong, but not really much of, a f <laughs> of an active activity. Other than trying to look, not look too agonized, that's passing strangers think you're talking to a really strenuous dumb, that is. So what now? Hmm. You could always look around. Gaze at the local scenery. Delightful. Yes. Behold. Trees. I hate trees. Why? Why would you hate trees? Leaves are frivolous and ostronous. They provide oxygen keeping me alive. I'm honestly surprised that you even need oxygen with your biology, shouldn't you like? <laughs> I've seen someone called Dave a smash. No! Why would you do that? Definitely not. <laughs> I hate, by the way, how smash has, be has become the youth word of 2022 in Germany, by the way. Like, why? <laughs> Is was there any better word? Like, come on. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised. Yeah, okay. Breathe in nitrogen or helium or some shit. Nitrogen is for pussies. <laughs> helium is fine though because it makes my voice sound comical. Fantastic. Okay, let's just go look something else. It's the same person who calls me kebab. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they d no. Dave is not a smash. Definitely not. Behold the mighty swan. Huh? You know, it's been a long time since I've seen one of those puppies up close. I mean, they're not puppies. They're swans. Swans. Shh. Please hush no, make me. God, these things are terrifying up close. Why did we have to give them a paper shredders for hats? The fantasy of having office ones was a ridiculous one, alright? And a messy one. You know, it, it is no just occurred to me that why Randy had bandages on his hands since he has to wrangle into the fe uh, feather shredder dinos on a daily basis. Randy? Who dead? Their name is like Cat in a Hat. Okay. Shredder. <laughs> let me, let me, let me see real quick. Huh? Anyway, uh, back to Twitch. Just one second. I want to see. Ah, okay. 
<laughs> okay, for a second I thought they were, they were like a streamer, but no, apparently not. <laughs> Randy, who that? The fine chap you went on a date last night? The dude with fuck face written on his forehead? <laughs> yeah, that's the guy, alright. Wait a moment. Any plus time equals something. <laughs> they are. Wait, then I got the wrong one. Because Cat in the Head is only one. They were a streamer. Okay. You having one of your ideas again? Companionship! Uh huh. If I find Renny, he can like. Say and do stuff and do it in front of me. Which will like cure my boredom, mayhaps. For some reason, I can't see them. Yeah, I don't know why. I've searched up on Twitch and there's like only one guy with no profile picture and one follower. <laughs> really? To alleviate the boredom? Yeah, that's such an idea of. <laughs> yep, that's the idea of social interaction anyway. How do I check who I'm following? Um, if you're on the Twitch starting page, on the left side, there's like the channels you follow. Please refer to the handy <laughs> interaction part <laughs> pentagon. Bug facts, tax, tax benefits, violence and such, alleviating boredom, love, giving and receiving it. Wow. As you can see, boredom is a key reason why we interact with others. With bug fact facts, violence, tax benefits and love being the other four less important reasons. It only says who's live. It should also say who's offline. It at least does it for me. Why bug facts? Yeah, I refuse to pay taxes. You live in a tent in a park and drink pond water. The government would rather pretend that you don't exist, even if it means forgetting to bill you on your 50 cents for taxable income that you make per year through foraging the shiny rocks, berries, and miscellaneous seeds. I sold my soul to Kel Calvin Col what? College for half a bitcoin. <laughs> Fuck taxes. Right. Anywho, you should find Rani then. Might end up curing your chronic boredom, you know. Where is he? Where is Randall? Well, I don't know. I have, I have no clue where he uh, could be right now, to be frank. Why not just ask around town? You're really bad at this. Okay then, you go search for him. Crypted away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, we now we're on to chapter two. Chapter two, to assist the bum. Please help me. God, the music is so cheerful. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back, Robin. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope you had a good, like, small rest. Yes. Actually, scratch that. Um, let's go downtown again. Talk to a near passerby. Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, hey there. Sorry, uh... It had been a long day, so I had like a power nap and feel a bit, and felt a bit, feel a bit like a zombie. What did I miss? A lot. <laughs> I met, I met, yeah, um, I got carried into an art exhibit and then uh, she kind of, then we destroyed a place this piece of art and then she got the job anyway, and that was her ending. And now we're going for Randy, the guy with uh, with the bandages and the uh, and like. The stuff with the fuck face being written on his face. And he's been taking all, uh, us out for uh, to the fun fair. We're actually in chapter 2 now. But he kind of got so to anxiety and everything and run away when we tried to use a fortune teller. Randy time, yes. Who are you? Identify yourself. Oh, uh, I'm, uh, 
You can call me Harry if you like. Sorry. Uh, is there anything specific I can help you out with? I'm rumbling out for work. Uh, if I'm uh, in the door in a moment after noon, Mr. Kennedy will uh, have my uh, have my hide for bunch, which he eats right in ripe hour for of 5 p.m. What the fuck? Are you single? No. What's it like having a job? It's uh, kind of like slavery, except your boss didn't have even even have the decency to purchase you from the prevalent mountain warlord before hiring you. Incomprehensible. Thank you. Gotcha, gotcha. Any other questions then? Hey, before you go, have you seen Randy? Randy? Randy. The name rings a bell, alright? Where would I know him from? You ever seen a man get dragged away by a swan, kicking and screaming? <laughs> How's it like having a job? Well, it's kind of like slavery. <laughs> it's slavery with extra steps, man. Oh, Dad, Randy. I'll be honest with you, it's been a long time since I've ran into him. I remember I used to work over in a uh, near, uh, nearby burger joint and asked me if there's any jo uh, jobs going at the fast food place I work at an uh, hour back. Just between us, Renny's a nice guy and all, but I can't picture him in a sweaty bear suit. Hmm. <laughs> One slip and he die or something. Anyhow, if Renny asks, tell him to stay far away from bear. I'm sure Renny knows not to approach bears, Harry. No, not bears. Bear. It's the name of the restaurants I work at. Oh, that's the oh, that's the guy we saw. Uh, that's the guy who um, uh, we heard about in the Bigfoot ending. That like when uh, <laughs> it's got <God> damn it. <laughs> that like had all of his saving booked over Bigfoot. Randy friendly works at Fredbear? No, he doesn't. <laughs> this is the guy we stole the money from. Who on God's green earth names their fast food, fast food joints Bear? Preaching to the core, buddy. Preaching to the core. Anyhow, could you ask uh, around. Anyway, could you ask around uh, at the Dalton Burger Joint? I think the name of the place is Bunny's Burger, if I recall correctly. Never been myself. Heard a guy who owns it is a huge hacker man, though. If you ever excuse my French. He certainly is, yes. Show me uh, away every darn time I sniff at the windows at the, of the restaurant. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrates. <laughs> <clears throat> Granted, he couldn't be any worse than my boss. <laughs> you ever smell a rotting body before? Yes, many times, in fact. Next question. <laughs> okay, okay, I drink more, Robin. I get it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> my god. Hydrate became drowned. <laughs> God. <clears throat> well, if you think a corpse smells bad, then try working for one. Uh, you honestly think a creature that hadn't blinked in a decade knows what legally mandated toilet breaks is? <clears throat> yeah, if you want to find Randy, I'd ask it in your burger joint. Feel free to call me after work. <laughs> oh, uh, I would. I just. I don't have a phone, you know? Hey, wait a minute. Hang on a second. <laughs> I like to think VTubers can't drink anything on stream unless someone does a redeem. 
<laughs> I usually drink way too much on stream because people keep redeeming it. <laughs> like, like there was one stream. I don't. I, it was like last week or something. I don't know. Like, so many people like redeemed hydrate that I actually got a bellyache because I drank too much. <laughs> like man, <laughs> please. I know drowning me is fun, but don't overdo it, please. <laughs> Evil Chad will never hydrate you now, Freddo. <laughs> no, I need hydrate though, just not drowning. Committed to the redeem? Yes. If it's redeemable, then I have to do it, man. Like, come on. Okay, look. It's not that you aren't, uh... I just... Don't really have room for, like, feelings and such with my job. So unless you want to mud wrestle a zombie. Anyhow, my delightful green friends, I'll see you on the flip side then. Let's go to the burger joint then. Where's the burger joint door? Here, local burger place. Oh, Freddo. Can you see Randy in there? I have a mole vision, man. Ten feet away is beyond my visual reach. Oh, right. I forget that you have evolved from dimly lit, squalled and dang environments. <laughs> the hustle of, and bustle of the city scares me, my scaly rodent brain. You see, anyone <laughs> in there running from swans or begging for change, perhaps? Alas, no to both. Do you have any other ideas? Alas, sniff I must, it seems. <laughs> Why? Hey, you! We've spoken about this, you literal cryptid! Get away from the glass, or I'll... Randy. Randy? Yeah. What about them? Someone told me that he used to work here. Bunny's Burger? Yeah. Bunny the burger, man. <laughs> well, yeah, he did. But I fired uh, that loud a long time ago. Hasn't stopped him from bur <laughs> burrowing under my skin throughout like a human tech he is. You know what they say. You give a man an inch. And then Randy lives in your dumpster. Nice, so have you seen him around here? Dumpster! Go check my dumpster, you moron! Huh? Odd. Hey, at least he pays rent, which means at least... At least compassionate me for the waste of time, unlike someone... Some people. <laughs> Fine then, I know where I'm not wa wanted. I can take a hit, you know. Then please, phone lord, go take that hint! Bitch. <laughs> this is my own private domicile I will not be harassed. Bitch. <laughs> Does every, anyone know who that, who that quote is from by any chance? If so, then you are a legend. <laughs> Where is he? Call, call to him, Freda. Use your voice. Randall, <laughs> I summon thee. <laughs> hey, hold on a moment. I, I'm coming. Please don't leave unless you're angry taxman, which I case please do. And it's me. It's Fred. <laughs> oh, oh, phone lord. Definitely don't go anywhere. Hold on. Hey, hon. It's good to see you, oh phone god, I haven't even scrubbed the wax out of my receiver polars, uh... You look nice. Fuck you, ass, I look fucking splendid. <laughs> you don't, don't look so bad yourself, yes. Please don't tell me that me being soaked in garbage juice is a turn on for you. <laughs> no! Censor this! No! 
<laughs> Why is he in the trash? <laughs> what is this? What is this game? What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you say that? Stop saying such things. Stop talking. <laughs> Welcome to Casa de Randy, I suppose. Don't bother wiping your feet. They'll just get filthy again as soon as you enter. Treasure's my element, Randy. My feet literally can't get any dirtier. I mean, I know you might smell like trash, but I just assumed it was, uh, like, the smell of your egg laying juices, maybe. That spices it. Oh, that's. You're also indeed correct, yes. Yeah, uh, I assumed as much. I've never seen an egg being laid that didn't come out moist. And boy, do swans churn a lot of things out. Right, right, swan eggs indeed. There's, uh, this whole poverty thing you have going on. You know, living in a dumpster, working awful jobs and whatnot. Why did you choose this lifestyle anyway? I didn't, uh... Look, don't get me wrong. That's an excellent question, but boy, oh boy, I do not want to answer it. We can drop the cop to... We can drop the topic if you're not comfortable. No, I... <sighs> Thanks for the concern, but nah. I need to get all of this drivel out of my chest. But not here. A gentleman doesn't just brandish his un... unmention... what? Unmentionables in any old burger place alley. Do you want me to come inside? Please do, yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god, this is getting worse and worse, man. Why would you. S why is that an option? Why? Just. Just why? Time to talk to play. You have a letter or something? <laughs> why? <laughs> Just why? He's among his own kind. <laughs> you are immensely scary to me. <laughs> But I'm not exactly drowning in company right now, so I'm desperate enough to pretend that you didn't just completely nuke the moods. Nuking moods and giving truth this is what I do, my man. <laughs> Onwards and upwards we go, dear Andy, into the trash. <laughs> I hate this. Why is it so big in here? What the fuck? <laughs> well, here we are. Place looks uh, a little nicer from the outside, doesn't it? That's not saying much, Randy. I'm bad at comparing shitty things, Randy. Ouch. You know I'm right. <laughs> okay, fair enough, you are correct. This place is pretty crummy, I admit it. The outside probably just looks better for me because half of the time I see the outside, I'm leaving home and to go someplace nicer. I like work, but just come to think of it, not really nicer than here. Between being here and being muled by swans, I'll blow my brains out. That's encouraging. Still, gonna draw that suggestion down for later though. Just in case. So, uh... About the uh, tragic backstory of yours. Alright, uh... Well, look, much like myself, my life story is pretty needless and prophetic. You see, it all started when I was born. 
Unfortunately, I was born a mere infant at zero years of age. Doesn't everyone? Couldn't walk, couldn't talk. Just had to lay on my uh, feces till I got changed. <laughs> but hey, look at how far you've come. I'm living in a dumpster. Exactly. Nowadays you can walk and you can talk. And now you get into and now you get to lie into other people's faces. Well, when you put it like that, I sound a solid 3% less pathetic. I mean, that's not a whole lot, but it's still 3 whole percent less pathetic than I was 3 seconds ago. When you telling me about your dreadful life? All oh, right. Well, you know, I've largely lived a perfect, adequate life. Perfectly adequate, bordering on mediocre, that is. I had an admittedly rather lousy apartment, worked full-time at a burger place, and... and <laughs> whose dumpster we're squatting in right now? Then one day, I decided to do something I'd rather done before. I decided to try something new. What what's going on, Yuzu? What are you thinking about, huh? <laughs> what's the matter? Let me guess. He bought a crack pipe. What? What? No, I. Do you really come? Do I really come off as such a crackhead to you? You do twitch a lot, to be frank. <laughs> hey, it's hard for me not to. I have Swan Rash for your information. Sorry, let me continue. I decided to go to the fun fair, the same one that you and I visited on our first date. Oh, interesting. It explains how you knew the ticket Jerry, the ticket Jerry and you knew each other. Yeah, Jerry's incredibly familiar with both me and the immense hazard of misfortune that always seems to follow me around. By the way, Jerry really doesn't seem comfortable around you. <laughs> He's right not to be. I bite. So do rabbit street dogs and swans, but I never seen Jerry so much as consider calling animal control on those creatures. Granted, if he did, it be it would be me who turn up after all he calls in, and then. He just sees me getting mauled by wearing, <laughs> wearing hounds and swans from the other side of the class. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, visiting the fun fair with my then date turned out to be a truly abysmal idea. Did a clown honk at you? No, no, I... Clowns aren't even real. Or so the government wants us to think. Sorry, continue. Well, after realizing that I was too much of a shameless coward for any ride that moved faster than hot dog stand, which was stationary, I realized that my date was getting really bored with my crippling cowardice. As I desperately gazed around to nearby Vincent uh, for an attention, um, any attraction, I was brave enough to go on. I noticed something off in a not so distant distance. Ah, uh, the fortune teller. An old fortune teller animatronic inside a tacky purple pine and glass case, cast aside in a barely lit corner of the fun fair, far away from the other attractions. Ah, uh, here we go. This is starting to make sense now. I feel like I'm about to find out why you bear at the end of a date. Yeah, the thing is. The thing looked half deserted. And you know what? probably was, being a tacky animatronic, soft into barren corner of the funfair. From what I could see, only spiders and moles seemed to take much notice of the machine. But even the name of the machines fit its appearance. Madame Mediocre. I felt drawn to it, as the machine I was somehow kindred. Anyhow, deciding to approach the that thing ended up being a train wreck and a half. Did the machine fall on your foot or something? 
No, I... I did steal your date. Not literally, no. And what happened? I was getting to that part. I crept over to the old machine and carefully slipped a quarter into this coin slot. My last quarter. And just like that, the machine sprang to life, lights and all. Then a hazy pre-recorded voice uh, emerged from the small speaker embedded in the mannequin's torso. Place your hand upon my glass and I shall read your aura and gaze upon your future. I was terrified immediately. I mean, I already had a real life woman next to me as is. <laughs> and it might as well have been a triple date at this point. <laughs> my date reassured me and I slowly outstretched both of my hands to place them against the mucky old glass of the machine. The moment my palms so much brushed the surface of the glass, the machine started screaming at me as if I just set off an air raid siren. The same words over and over uh, at a deafening volume. Your future is forfeit. You will die alone and miserable. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, poor Randy. What the fuck? Your future is forfeit. You will die alone and miserable. Go fuck yourself. Over and over and over again. My poor baby. <laughs> Wait for it. It gets worse. He didn't deserve that. No. I'm not gonna lie. What followed wasn't exactly my finest hour. And phone God forbid my tortured shivered Golden actually managed to spew out any, any kids. I don't I don't want any remembering me for this after I'm gone. What did you do? Well my fight or flight response is kicked in. I screamed like a prepudescent girl and throttled the machine. And then the machine fell on your foot? Why do you keep insisting that the machine fell onto my foot? So you're saying that it definitely didn't. In a way, I guess it did. Machine fell straight on top of me. Whole body. Okay, yep. There's the kicker. The machine kept wailing for the entire ordeal. While I was pinned under it. It took four men to lift the machine off me. I was pretty banged up, but hey. I noticed my head was just about in one piece, meaning I was still very much alive. Because it's a Nokia phone. You can't destroy Nokia phones, man. A Christmas miracle. <laughs> it wasn't Christmas. Yes. He stumbled around, admittedly having a pretty gnarled concussion. My date asked if I was okay, and I, uh... Kind of stumbled hands first and grabbed her, uh... <laughs> memory moments. But she responded to by screaming and pushing me, causing me to fall backwards. Hitting my already damaged head on the nearby rock. It caused my entire head to be cleaved in twain and my circuits and wires to spill out. You spilled your disgusting cranium innards all over the place? God, how embarrassing. I woke up in the emergency room a few days later. Apparently the doctor just managed to patch me back up with some... ...considerately difficulty. Oh? Well, the blunt trauma of the impact kind of dented and broke most of the internal... ...internables. Internables. My brain and whatnot, you know? The docs were able to just get everything back in one piece but really struggling to fit the misshapen parts back into my head. The main surgeon banged my head, bandaged my head back up and chatted to me while applying a bandage. Mentioned in passing that due to the difficulty of getting all of the bits and brain, skull, broken glass and phone pieces back into my head. <clears throat> what if I took the bandage off for even a second? Kaboom. Oh my god. 
So his head is like a time bomb or something? The doctor put dynamite in your head? <laughs> no. He mentioned that my head explodes on its own. You know, pop like a gigantic oozing pimple. What? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> what? What? What is wrong with his head, my god? What is wrong with my character, man? What the fuck? Why, 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 why would you think that's hard? What? He's literally like on the verge of death at all times. For the don't take the freak off. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Oh, God damn it! I know you all want to see it. Stop this! <laughs> so why does the bandage have fuckface written across it then? All oh, right, dead. <laughs> So basically, while the dog uh, f put the finishing touches on the bandages, I was telling him about uh, my evening, from my mediocre day to the machine falling on me. And the dog laughed and started, and stated that it was quite a small world because his daughter had been on a date at the same fun fair of the same night. Oh. And that her date also been crushed by a fortune teller machine before groping her, falling backwards, and then... Um... That's not looking good there for you, buddy. Oh no. Well, at this point, the doctor realized just how small the world really was, and decided to write fuckface across my bandage. Cost the whole groping his daughter fiasco. Yikes. Why didn't you just, you know, wash it off? I tried, believe me. As soon as I got home, I tried. I couldn't have gone to work with fuckface written across my forehead, and getting fired would have meant losing my only source of income and my admittedly lousy but only place to live. What the fuck? This poor guy. Well, why couldn't you just get it out then? It's deep in the fibers. I tried water, soapy water, bleach, drain cleaner. I would have just drank the drain cleaner, admittedly. Sorry, continue. <laughs> well, I must have passed out from the drain cleaner femurs because I uh, turned up uh, from my shift at the burger joint three days late, high as a kite and holding a possum in my arms. Needless to say, Bunny fired me on the spot. Yeah, that, that'll do it, alright. So then I ended up losing the apartment, you know. I lost my job, lost my apartment, lost my self-respect and my hope for a better future. But I gained a possum. <laughs> Please tell me that you kept the possum. I didn't so much keep it, I just kind, it just kind of followed me home. I think it believes that I'm his mother. <laughs> Devour it for nourishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these these are two very, very hard extremes. Aw, it loves you. Devour it for nourishment. <laughs> oh my god, this is game. This game. <laughs> now let's be nice to Randy. Like, come on. The guy has suffered enough. <laughs> It keeps screaming at his own ass. It just keeps screaming. 
It knows no love. Only screaming. Oh hey, there he is right now. How to play possum living in <laughs> square. How to make a trashness penetrable. Presentable. Screaming at your own ass, a truly engaging pastime. <laughs> Story divisions. How to break up narrative monotony with music. Cut away gasp. How adorable. He's flea ridden. You're just jealous. Of what? His fleas? Oh, of how much I care about him. I am not, I mean, you've just met him. And I'll die for him, Randy. I'll fucking die for him. Look, poor semantics aside, I... I've been renting this dumpster for my old boss since it technically is the cheapest property in town. And does still really make enough to pay that hungry bastard's gaudy rent. With how much money I lose from getting mugged by hostile birds, losing tips by depressing the weirdo customers who call the phone sex hotline. I... Can't stand for this anymore. This place is depressing enough as is and and revealing why I'm here has just made me realize that at this rate, I'm going to die in here, cuddling a discarded body pillow in a randy made nest composed of solely, solely of used syringes and old newspaper. Possum is love, possum is life. <laughs> Poor Randy, oh my god, it actually makes me feel bad. Wait, what? Password omelette.exe? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> that's it, that's the spirit. Go out already, stick it to the man. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I've, it will finally kill me. Wouldn't that be a sweet release? You need to get out of here. I want to see the world. Okay, scratch that. The world is scary and hostile, and I'm made out of paper and other such fragile things. I need to go somewhere that isn't here. I... Hang on a second. How long have we been talking for? I'm late for work, aren't I? Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh no no! <laughs> yeah, you're off the chain now, Randy! Go truly nuts! Wow, that's pretty cringe, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why I couldn't find you at the park, to be frank. You knew I slept in, and you didn't tell me? But I thought you were going wild, Randy, cutting loose. Are you crazy? I could lose my dumpster. It's all I have left. Oh, Fong Goddess, somehow a place even lower than me to sink to. I can't go back to the streets, man. I reek of desperation. Actually, alpha male fucks will smell my whimpering cowardice and instantly attempt to mug me. And when they realize I have nothing left to take, they take their frustration out by taking turns hitting me over and, and over and over in the head with gray garbage can lids. <laughs> Worry not, I will protect you. Oh, sure. So you spit cryptic acid onto a few fucks for me, but what then? What of my life? I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose this job. I need to get to work. I'm sorry, I, I just have to di I'm sorry I have to ditch you like this. You deserve better. You've been nicer to me than anyone else so far, and I have no idea why. Okay, fine. You haven't actually been that consistently nice to me. <laughs> but I have nobody else left. So this is goodbye then? For a whole five or so hours, till my shift in the park is over, yes. Wait a second. Dude, I live in a tent at the park! Wait, did you just say that you dwell in a tent at the park? Oh dear. That's quite unfortunate. You live in a dumpster, Randy. 
It's a good life, dear Randall. Living in a tent has its benefits. Like... No rents, greedy landlords, annoying roommates. <laughs> Mine is my close proximity to drug dealers and hostile pond birds. I'm not a bad gig. It's not a bad gig. Yeah, no thank you. As awful as this dumpster is, if I had to spend another second at the park than necessary, I'd just end up ripping this goddamn bandage off. Right, but then you wouldn't have fuckface on your forehead anymore, though. Yeah, and my brains would spill out. But then you wouldn't be fuckface anymore, I just... I just quickly jolted his suggestion down, too. <laughs> but I mean... My point was, you're heading towards where I live. So we're actually going the exact same way, Randy. Why not make this a... Uh, a date? Oh, woo wee. I've never been asked on a second date before. Why is he dancing? <laughs> I'd be willing to lose... As if I'd be willing to lose a cutesy, lovable bum like you. Well, obviously it's not a date date, I'm just really poor. Nah, let's be nice to him. I think not, hun. Oh, baby. <laughs> I am not botching this. A second date, I. Finally, something to cross off my bucket list. Right between Petter's Smooth Rock and die somewhere other than inside a fast food place toilet stall. We, uh... Can we work on the, on the rest of the list later? Well then. Let's waste no time. After you, sweet. Just watch your step. The uh, moisture trash can gets quite slippy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, just 15 more minutes of walking and... Excuse me? There's only 15 more minutes until we hit the... 15 minutes! Okay, unless you have some kind of cryptic pose propulsion system that allows you to get around without using your legs, I'm sure they must have taken you at least 15 minutes to walk through a park. Subway. You took the subway here? Wait. It comes from that you repeatedly said that you're literally penniless and poverty stricken. Oh, I don't pay my fare, I just usually hop in. And nobody hassles you or asks to see a ticket? Nope. Usually people just look the other way. Literally, people hate looking at me. I'm literally green, man. People leave me well enough alone. Huh? If you're with me, no tickets, dude, are gonna, are gonna bother you. Besides, I never s see any staff down there. Whole subway falling apart down there, it's lawless. Ah. You know what? Why the heck not? I'll take the risk to spend time with my dear loving companion. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Oh my god, what? Your wallet, Bozo, hand it over. And your dumb phone face gets it. <laughs> Wait, what? No. <laughs> Why did I trust you? You lay eggs? Hey, no need to be rude. You just... Just because you're getting mugged doesn't mean you gotta get... You gotta get to power. <laughs> the definition of elbow song. <laughs> oh god, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep learning <laughs> to hide in your shell for a much... As much of your life as you can, like a hermit crab lesson, and then this periodically keep unleashing, <laughs> unlearning it just to make my own life even worse. This sucks. Your ideas suck. Also, yes. Hey, am I fucking invisible? You have all the wallet bozo, or I start stabbing. But you're holding a gun, you can't. 
You will learn what it's like to be stabbed with a gun if you don't hand the wallet over. So help me, phone god. Oh god. Oh god, sir. I don't even have a wallet. I... Wait. You don't even have a wallet? Bullshit. Everyone's got one. I, uh... So what are you carrying your money around in then? I only have change, I don't... Then hand it over! I don't... I don't care if it's a mere pittance. I demand monetary compensation for this so far fruitless endeavor. Freddo. This is the only money I have left. Should I? Oh god, what the hell do I say? When he's gonna get turned to fucking syrup? Well, there couldn't be more than $1.50 in his pocket. But that's all he has. It's nothing. Neither is Randy's life in fairness. Nothing for nothing seems like a fair trade. But then again... Is Randy just gonna take everything sitting down forever? Randy being Randy, yeah, he probably is. Till something comes along that kills him, even after he fully cooperates, that is. Oh God, I. Han, what should I? Oh God, oh fuck, oh God, oh fuck. Um. Stop, drop and roll, Randy. Just ditch the. Just this to change. No, we're standing up. Stand up for yourself. Rory. Don't let life fuck you over yet again. You think I can really stand up for myself? Yes, Randy. I know you can. You're right. Listen here, you scoundrel. I am proud citizen, and I. I am armed. You're not. Just hand over the change, man. Oh, all right. Here, here's every penny I got to my name. What do? <laughs> That's not standing up for yourself, Randy. Now, what the funny thing is, this thing isn't even loaded. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've gotten enough of this to know only you the <laughs> I've gotten good enough at this to know only I can't read I've gotten good enough of this to know only tell you that after I'm done robbing you <laughs> I'm so great the guns not loaded then uh... I have some of my change back please some what are you negotiating with him, Randy? Ask for all the m for all your money back. It's a no either way, bozo. Negotiate, Randy. It's the art of the deal. For the record, I said that the, the thing wasn't loaded. Not that I couldn't slap snap your neck like a breadstick if I felt like it bandages. Okay, that's completely fair. Uh, have a nice day. You're a pathetic, man. Later, bozos. Did they do good, son? <laughs> For about six seconds, sure. <laughs> and what a nerve wracking six seconds they were indeed. Oh, who am I kidding? I am a damn train wreck. A mere schmuck. Why, I can't even avoid getting mugged, right? Don't beat yourself up, Randy. Getting mugged is rarely voluntary. By definition, isn't it never voluntary? I don't know about that, man. After all, some people pay taxes willingly. <laughs> wow. Did I do good, hun? <laughs> Headass, he's a 
he's total smug. <laughs> oh, Randy, you're a good guy, but you're such a coward. Cha cha cha, I'm here all night, folks. Oh, the whole train is booing. Oh my god. Wow. Yep, still got it. Let's just sit quietly and wait till we all. Until we get to the park. Well, here we are. Our used syringes decided condoms and enraged avians filled paradise. Phone god, I hate this place. These digress. <laughs> What? What? At least the grass acts like a free condom dispensary. <sighs> God damn it. Yeah, for used condoms. Please tell me you don't actually touch those. Can I plead the fifth? I... You really shouldn't touch those though. Even if you have a reptilian immune system, you don't want to catch something nasty, you know? Relax, I can just shed infected limbs if I wish so. Do they grow back? Oh, I meant shed them with like a chainsaw. No idea if they grow back. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Huh. This game, man. This game. Yep, this place is truly a wretched hive of pod scum and brain villainy. So what now? I guess I'll get to work? You see any hostile swans nearby? A few, alright. Guess you should take care of those then. Randy's... <laughs> <laughs> Randy's arbitrary. <laughs> five, five versus one. Those are fairish odds, right? More usual than fair, perhaps. Heck it, I can't do this anymore. Those things are medium-sized dog-scale feathered dinosaurs with snake necks, and they have teeth. This isn't worth any amount of money, and certainly not the kind of money I get paid for. If only I hadn't used the damn fortune teller machine, this whole chain reaction of <laughs> abject misfortune would have been never happened. Oh, who am I kidding? You are right. I need to stick up for myself. Things won't ever get better if you don't show the world that you deserve better, you know? You know, we now have BDs. <laughs> I want to cry. Why? <laughs> BDE? I don't even know what that means. What does it stand for? <laughs> Big Dick Energy. <laughs> Bulging Darren Emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Big D energy. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're right. I need to take charge of my own destiny or die trying. I'm hoping it won't come to that. And that uh, simply trying will be sufficient enough, but you know. Oh. Hold on. I'm getting a call. On the hotline. When you aren't actually going to take this. I'm sure I take it but the jiffy. Maybe the customer finish quicker if I cry during. This is grim, man. 
Hello, sir slash madam. My name is Randy Jade. And I'm Randy for you tonight. I'm sorry, my manager, he forces me to say that. Yeah, yeah, I know the spiel. Yada, yada. Wait a moment. That voice. Alright, let's get... Who is that? Let's get down to business. Wait, is that Roosevelt? What are you wearing, darling? Well... I'm wearing a Damon jacket with a white padded shirt with a busted button. I've got bandages on my... <laughs> no, I'm not reading that. Hang on. Did you just say bandages? Oh, well, yeah, I... Uh, out of curiosity, did you just get off the subway a little while ago? Yeah, how do you know? Dude, I just mugged you, that was me! <laughs> what? No! No, man! You can't... <laughs> Poor fucking Randy, why? What did he do to deserve this? <laughs> oh, nice to... Small word, am I right? It's the fucking mugger. Dude, I'm using your pittance to all your call right now. The world is far too small for Randy Jane. <laughs> I'm literally using your last fist wolf change in order to get my rocks off. <laughs> Boy, what a world! <laughs> Freddo, I think I'm going to start crying, and now I'm actually worried that it enhanced the experience for him. <laughs> Randy. Hey, yes, we can't still still there. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, of course you are. I've gotten 155. <laughs> So for the next four minutes, I'll take me to finish this call, amongst other things, I'm a VIP. So don't take doity to me. I, I, Randy. Yes, Freddo? Randy, come on, man. This is beneath you. But this is my job, Freddo. At least one of them. <laughs> Hell yeah, this is your job, sweet cheeks. It's your job to serve me, to please me. <laughs> S sweet cheeks. Pal. What cheeks? I don't have a face. My head is a phone. Oh, don't play coy. You know exactly which cheeks. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Randy. You're worth more than this. Okay, except I'm clearly not. Expect you clearly are. <laughs> what? Wait, did you get that, Robin? Or were you AFK? <laughs> Wait, Robin, I have to know. Were you AFK just now, or did you just come back? Or, like, were you there during what, what just happened? I was listening. <laughs> Fucking guy you mugged him, <laughs> scalding him. It's so funny, it's so fucked up at the same time. <laughs> Ready, no offense, but your life is objectively worse than mine. Worse than your. Oh shit. I'm really blowing this world whole living thing, aren't I? You can't fix that in any moment, though. I. I. You're right. I'm sorry, sir, but... You're a bastard, man, and I'm not helping you get off. Ex fucking excuse me! Why, how dare you? I'm a VIP, pal. A paying customer. It's my fucking money. <laughs> Who on earth even hops on the subway just to mug people with an empty gun? I actually work for that money, you hacker. 
<laughs> you are just a pers persuasive beggar who has to pass himself off as a bigger friend than he is to get even a dime for the people like me. Oh shit. Why you? Well, I'm standing here in a murky phone box with my pants around my ankles. And you. <laughs> wow. You really are that pathetic, aren't you? That's actually kind of hilarious. I actually feel much less bad now. You might be the only person in all of Dalton who needs the money more than I do. Oh, don't you dare talk to me like that fucking charity case. I'm tough as shit, man. I'll fuck you up, I. <laughs> Why does this remind me of a fucking cod lobby, man? <laughs> You're pathetic. Go fucking go go screw yourself. I'm tough as shit, man. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, you think you're real tough? No, what you going to do on your other <laughs> on other phone line, eh, PG boy? Mark my words, pal. I'll be searching for you, and I will find you, and I will make you pay for not getting me off. Tracking one man across the entire city because he doesn't pity you enough to be willing to get you off. Jeez, talk about a cuckold, eh? <laughs> Can you say that again, please? But louder. What? No, fuck you. It doesn't work if you're it to be degraded. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to be your bitch a moment ago. I can be versatile. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang up now. What? No. You just reeled me back in. <laughs> Do you know who I am, pal? I've got mob connections, man. I'll fuck you up. I can't take this seriously. Yeah, sure. Bye. No, nobody hangs up on... S <laughs> oh my god. What am I doing? Doing. <laughs> that was a good start, Renny. Though, do you think the mob connections bit was true? Renny becoming more steadfast, so proud of him, even though he was very, very weird. He did have a weapon, eh? Oh, please. The Delta mob are the only crowd in the entire city who are more pathetic than me. I don't know about that. Uh-huh. Name one successful heist they managed to pull off. Well, didn't they steal a tiger from the zoo? They did, but that wasn't e the point of the heist. It wasn't? Nah. They were trying to rob Theodore's safe. But they fled when Theodore shot at them with his rifle. <laughs> one of the buffoons just happened to open the tiger pen on, on the way out. And the tiger followed them back to their base. <laughs> They didn't steal the tiger. They're stuck with me. <laughs> Ouch. Why not just return to the zoo? Considering that Theodore has a loaded rifle and is willing to use it, that would be a bad idea to say the least. They did try dropping it off at the city pond three times, but every time the people there said, and I quote, Puss Puss to choke to chokers? Ah, dreads. So wait, are you done with both jobs then? You know what? I guess I am. Swans and all. I can't face the swans again. I'm not strong enough. I'll say, they'd mug you worse than the knife cock did. They could smell weakness, you know. And with no money left to take, they gladly settle for your dignity. Oh, and your kneecaps. Definitely those two. But, but I have those every day. I use those every day. Those bastard birds can have them. Yeah, the only person to ever touch your kneecaps should, should be you. And an unlicensed Kalimian physician in sacrifice in certain very specific circumstances. 
Yeah, that uh, sounds mostly correct, yes. But yeah, wrangling swans and ra wrangling... schmeckering weapons over the phone is beneath me. Pride! Yeah, pride, right. I can't tell if it's a bit of your brain genuinely turn off spon sp <laughs> sporcondingly or without warning. <laughs> Relax, it's just an old noggin going into power saving mode. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you, uh, think we could maybe stay at yours tonight? <laughs> Flirtation, yes, in Spanish. Yes, mi casa es tu casa, senor. <laughs> No, fuck that. You smell get lost. <sighs> We've been sticking with purple. We might as well go with purple, man. There's always room in my tent for you, hun. <laughs> oh. I. I don't know what to say, I. Where it is, it's better not be more ceaseless stuttering. It, no, it's just. Clear directions, motherfucker. Do you speak? <laughs> who knows that? Who knows that reference? Who of you knows the reference? English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? <laughs> Fellow in game is ruthless. I'm the ghost. My, I'm the ghost right now. Ghost, ghost is supposed to be evil and ruthless. So yes, <laughs> I'm just fulfilling my character. <laughs> chaos, chaos overall. So let's just enter the tent then. <laughs> Whoa! So this is your tent. No, it's Constantinople. <laughs> well, it could be our tent if you wanted it to be. <laughs> no, it's Constantinople. <laughs> I don't know what I expected you to say. This is so sad. Can we bring up? <laughs> can we bring back the Ottoman Empire? <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, Triana. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> I <laughs> I like the biohazard symbol in the bed, bed crate. Thanks, I think it fits my personality well. <laughs> so, uh, I know it's a bit sudden, but uh, since we're back at your place, we could always, uh, you know, Fuck like nuclear weapons are trying to outfuck the entirety of Chernobyl? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Eat koala. <laughs> oh my god. I I have to. I have to. It's the only color text. <laughs> No, <laughs> you don't have to, it's too late. Not how I would have phrased it, but yeah, that is indeed what I was getting at. I'm getting ready to switch screens, I don't want to see anything. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Okay, that'd be fine. Nah, not for me, thanks, I'm going to grab one. <laughs> Run, Fred, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna change screens real quick. I have to see if this is if this is like not not Twitch friendly. Hot dog.
you not going to read that? Oh my god! <laughs> no! I'm gonna no no I'm gonna censor that part. Fuck that! No, it's <laughs> on. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you just have to imagine. Oh, it's, maybe it's better if you don't imagine. I'm gonna tell you anyway, though. <laughs> Not like this. There's two turtles on the screen with each like a like with the phone human skin hat and like Randy said. And they're fucking right now. And there's a bottom caption that says it's easier it's easier if you don't look. And there's they, they they're dirty talking right now and I hate it. Am I feeling leather and scales? Please help me. I don't want to. Help. Help. Why? <laughs> Did we just do the sexual? <laughs> what? What? I think now it's over. Oh, please, please kill me. Please kill me, man. Please, I need bleach. Eye bleach, anything, please. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna throw up, man. Just wanna cuddle then? You can do what is. <laughs> sure, I don't see why not. After all, my crate's big enough for two of us. <laughs> yeah, about that. This the buyer has a symbol on the crate. Am I safe sleeping in that thing? Also, oh, you will <laughs> to fuck in this crate, but you won't cut in it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> This is not. No, it's not. <laughs> I need therapy. I need copious amounts of therapy after that. Help me, please. Good night, Fredo. Good night, you wretched thing. Fuck. It's not over. <laughs> please, just give me the ending. Well, here we are. The last morning. Ah, another fucking miserable morning. God, my fucking eyes. It is always this fucking bright. Around this time, yeah, usually. God, fuck. I'm surprised you even have eyes. Do you? Eyes, optical sensors, potato potato. Point is, I'm in agony. 
You disembodied wretch. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Randy sounds asleep, so uh, you wanna go back to bed? Bright. Okay, yeah, scratch that then. <laughs> you got any backup ideas? Do I look like a creature that has ideas? You look like you lay eggs. Exactly, ha, I win. In fairness, I said you look like you lay eggs. Or that you're actually totally idealist. Name any egg-laying creature known to come up with one idea. Fuck you. The Comro Dragon Scout. <laughs> oh, fuck off. What idea did they ever come up with? They uh, came up with the idea to inject v v venom into their prey with their saliva, stalk their prey till their prey collapses and then devour their prey whole. <laughs> you think those scaly bastards came up with that idea? Clearly, you never met my ex. <laughs> Didn't you spray copies and months of musky sludge onto your ex's foil, startling you on the first date? Shut. What do? What do now? I don't know. You could just go to the fairgrounds. Checks on the eggs of yours. Capital idea. Let's go do that. But first. Ah, me medicine. I think you're meant to uh, take maybe a spoonful at most of that stuff in any given time. And only if you're sick. Oh, boo-hoo, better send me to jail. Because I drank too much cough nectar. Stop calling it that. Crypted away. Robin, please fucking kill me already. Please. Tell the birds to take me or something. <laughs> Please. I got you, please. Let us make amends. Just end it. Please. Just end it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh god. Oh no, I. Ticket Jerry. <laughs> Please, no. My life insurance just went out. My <laughs> Alice Stains, Lady Dawn, and Oilnets, I. Please. Oh, persistent goblin. I'm too tired to die. I simply won't have energy to jolt back to life and start a new religion based on the hellish afterlife that I claim <laughs> I saw beyond the. Perhaps above undeath. I could change that. Threats don't work on me, Green One. I used to work in retail. Oh, phone lord. You're not even human anymore, are you? Shu doesn't feel like. Shu uh, doesn't feel like that way, no. Anyhow, what do you actually want here? Uh, what are you actually here for then? Fun fair. Let me in. Ape noise. Why do you keep resorting to ape speaking as a negotiation technique? Look, can I be real with you? This egg quest isn't exactly something I can easily explain to my boss. Like, say my boss checks CCTV footage and asks why I let you enter without paying for a ticket. What do I even say? My scary friend wishes to check on their eggs, and they laid in the fun fair. Honestly, that sounds pretty good to me. Perfectly understandable. Well, yeah, I'm sure that this is a very common cryptic dilemma. But my boss is very much human. He drinks coffee, not bad piss, and he fly files taxes yearly, so he can live in a house. <laughs> What's taxes? Basically, the government takes some of your hard-earned money each week and puts it in a stupid idiot pot. So if you blow your stupid life to bits doing random shit, you won't die in a doorway of your, as a consequence. Nope. Hard pass. Me dying in a doorway is practically assured, regardless of gum, gum, 
government invention. <laughs> so the government can keep their idiot pot unless I need something to piss into. Right, okay. Alright, so I can let you in obviously. Sorry. Maybe I can change your mind. Okay, I'm used to being let down. Count yourself lucky if I name even one of m uh, of my hatchlings after you. Bitch. Hey, no need to... Wait. You were going to name one of your kids after me? It depends. Does Jerry stand for Jeremiah? No, it does not. Je Je what? Jereflo... How do you spell that? Jared Tolo... I don't know. Name? Also no. Jerobert perhaps? Stop this! Look, I... Rani had some change with him the last time you two were here, right? Why not see if it amounts to two dollars and use that to pay yourself in? I'm sure Randy uh, is, too, is too downtrodden and submissive to do anything other than shove that money into your hands. If you so much as suggest the idea to him. Yeah, no can do, Chief. It's all gone. It's... What happened to it? Randy got mugged, Jerry. They took every penny he had to his name. Oh, don't tell me these ones have developed a taste for sweaty copper and nickel coins, as well as human flesh. Nah, a subway mugger put a gun to his head. I tried to coach him to stand up for himself, but... But he chickened out, saw his pants, and eventually took his beating without audible complaining as per usual. Yeah, that's really exactly what happened. Lord, how unfortunate. Cause it's just Randy's luck to get mugged enough, eh? Well, with the curse ruining his life, are you surprised? Wait. Curse? What now? The curse, he... Don't you remember he got crushed by a fortune teller robot in this very fun fair? Oh, come on. Surely you don't really believe in all this curse, sex and all bewitchment hogwash. I mean, I know you probably believe in the likes of Bigfoot, but... Bigfoot is real, and he and I are kindred spirits. <laughs> well, if Bigfoot was real, which he definitely is, then you two would definitely make quite the pairing. Fuck, I should have bought Bigfoot on a date instead of Randy. I... Dating primordial ape men aside, what were we talking about again? Uh, the for uh, robotic fortune teller which cursing Randy. Yeah, about that. We've had that hunk of junk for years. My boss bought the stupid booth at the uh, whim ages and ages ago, figuring it'd make good novelty attraction, I guess. But, uh, the thing is... Basically, the thing doesn't work. Like, at all. Then why even have it at all? Hey, it's a mere lugger. Not... I'm mere lugger, not the boss man. Not my call. To be frank, the boss just threw the booth over in the corner, away from the rest of the other attractions. Figured people just not to bother with it until... He could hire a cheap repairman to take a gander at it, I guess. Then along came Randy. So wait. What was actually up with the booth then? What I understand, that grousy madame mediocre booths were mass produced by an arcade company as a dumb novelty attraction for arcades and uh, the likes of that. You put a quarter in, or up head lights up and the speaker behind your head uh, dispenses a random pre-recorded fortune. So what was the deal then? The deal was the bastards who programmed the randomizer got drunk the night before in the cabinets. Oh, 
all shipped out and thought it would be just hilarious to add really rare responses to the fortune pool. Essentially, they decided to add a one in a thousand chance of Madame Mayo Medioka telling you your, for your fortune is gonna be full of ceaseless agunish and relentless torture. Fun. So, one, so Renny got a one in a thousand chance? Jeez, talk about unlucky, right? Yay, luck doesn't really come into it, actually. The drunken programmer didn't actually enter the odds of one in a thousand, but instead a thousand in one. I wish to understand numbers, so I could understand what that means. Essentially, instead of Madame Me Medioka saying the line once every thousand or so times, she booted up. She said it every time. I won a thousand times in a row, each and every time she was used. Combined with the speaker being stuck on the highest volume setting, and you, you've got a full explanation to exactly what happened to Randy. Who was the game was rigged from the start? <laughs> Fucking Fallout New Vegas, man. <laughs> that is kind of how the, how Fallout New Vegas starts, though. Like unlucky courier. This must seem like a full-grown unlucky chain to you, but I assure you, it all was planned. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. <laughs> Took some of us to pull up the booth of the lovable Bowser and then... Well, the thing kept screaming for hours after he was taken to the hospital. The moment it stopped, we just threw an out-of-order sign on the thing and decided to pretend that it simply didn't exist. Honestly, it worked wonders so far. So wait, I don't understand. Randy isn't really hexed and... No. It's not a hex, jinx, enchanted, curse, bewitch it, nor bow lock it. He is merely Randy. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> well, look, I'll admit his life is is a bad as it probably could be, but well, work backwards is all I'm saying. I I need to speak to Madame Mediocre. Firstly, I repeat, Madame Mediocre is non sentient, a non magical, inanimate object. Secondly, I reiterate the un <laughs> for the untenth time that you need a ticket to for that, and non affiliate goblin friend. <laughs> Charge through the gates, <laughs> Stagamus. <laughs> what? Can you just let me in? For Jerry? Wait, let me, let me, let me save. Wait, no, 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 not over save. <laughs> Charge through the gates like a startled moose lost in a grocery store. I am dialing the police right now. <laughs> there she is. Yep. Oh my. I'm standing right in front of her. Thrilling. Hello, Madame Mediocre. Why, hello there, suck. You can talk? Ticket Joey told me that you're an inimited object. Oh, don't worry, suck. He's completely correct. All of this is happening in your head right now. I don't understand. Yeah, you're just really out of it right now, suck. You chucked cough nectar this morning, don't forget. Yeah, I did do that, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did. Now what can Madame Medioka do for you, hon? Can you please uncurse Randy? Yeah, about that. Again, I'm not real in any shape, way, shape, or form, aside from the real junk that is. So I cannot cast or rebuke curses, spells, hexes, or anything like that. Oh. Well, that's a letdown. Don't explain why Randy's such a miserable bastard then. Like Jerry said, work backwards. 
You know Ticket Sherry? I know everything you know, you frog pigmented Neanderthal. I'm squatting inside your head. Whoa, man. Wild. What's this about Randy, then? Every bad thing that ever happens to him is because he just takes abuse and then convinces other people that uh, he deserves it in the first place. He has a weak spirit. The swans know this. <laughs> Look, let's be frank here. If Randy just asserted himself in the smallest possible way uh, for any amount of time, he'd see an instant improvement. It's not completely Randy's fault that the world is so dreadful. And what is life and that its life is so wretched. But it's his responsibility to fix his life. If he wants to see a better tomorrow. Huh? See, that's uh, inspiration and all, but uh, Randy's real Randy's real gung who about his curse nonsense. I don't think he's gonna wanna hear what he has that he has a pr the problem i can't talk anymore it's too late <laughs> okay look Sorry, my dad just interrupted me. Okay, where did we left off? Maybe just spoon him, spoon feed, spoon feed him the information, but uh, coated in whimsy and magical riffraff. He might just take it too then. Confused ape noise. I am a figment of your bizarre noggin, so if I get this, you should get this. Don't be mean. Look, this is already easy. My wretched goblin friend. All you have to do is tell him that you spoke to me, and I'm willing to revoke his eternal curse. And he just has to come to the booth now and do the enchantment, whatever. Good idea. Expect for the fact that Randy is scared shitless for fear. He wouldn't even <clears throat> entertain the idea of approaching you on our date. So that idea, like a possum floating in the Poo boy Gumbu is dead in the water. Also, Ticket Jerry called the police, so I sh should clear out of here repeated, relatively soon. My god, I can't talk. Help. Oh, I don't know. Fine, how about this? Get us some candles, some miscellaneous knickknacks, and such, and return to Randy. Tell him some witch doctor gave you magical annihilate all curses. In other such comic mockery ritual. <laughs> this sounds absolutely ridiculous. Tom Fourier of the highly scarabar. Well, it is more. Is it any more ridiculous than convincing with inanimating fairground attractions? Okay, I can see where fair and fun fair attractions come from. This will work, as long as he believes that it will. Okay, so like... What? Placebo, the placebo effect, okay. You mean the placebo effect? Placid boo. <laughs> placebo. Flaccid bone. <laughs> of all the minds I could have come from. <laughs> Is there anything else you wanted to then suck? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Can you tell me the winning lottery numbers? Can I? No. Because I'm a figment of your imagination, your lime huge chwaglo died. As you just forget them right after I say them. I can remember like 10 numbers in a row, no problem. 
What did you eat this morning, suck? Ha, easy. Roadkill. I win. What species? Ah, oh, shit, I need to get more old noggin checked. <laughs> Maybe go to an actual physician this time, not just a, a Jamaican dude who operates from the back of his van, using gun shears and super glue as surgery equipment. I don't want no medicine, man, cutting at my fl flesh, man. They might send me off to the labs. Have be tested on. Oh, come on. The labs didn't want you the first time that the safari dude captured you in a gigantic butterfly net. They just sent you back to the zoo and you know it. You're simply afraid of rejection. Bastard orb, stop being correct. <laughs> Anything else than suck? Can you tell me what my future is? Sorry, hun. I'm cheap, but I ain't free cheap. Do you have 25 cents? Yes. No. Bitter truth. <laughs> you don't need physical power to predict your future, suck. Just to predict which beggar then your lifeless husk of a body turn up in one day. I hate that you're right. <laughs> Another question, dear. Are you single by any chance? I'm an inanimate mannequin. That your nectar ailed mind is projecting a consci consciousness, consciousness onto help, speech non available. So, yes? Really suck? Oh, come on, just give me your number. My head is a crystal ball, not a phone. Look, I'm not real anyway, so the number I give you will probably end up leading a random New York, New York pizza place. Also, I'd just be wasting both of our times, since you don't have anything to write the number down on. <gasps> How did you know that? I'm literally in your head. Yeah, join the club, madame. Freddo talks to me in broad, in broad daylight. I'm pretty sure they don't understand the broader metaphysically role at all. Narrator, be quiet now. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there was another thought being floating around. Uh, yeah, hey. How are you doing, suck? Oh, you know, I don't exist, so it could be worse. Yeah, yeah, I feel ya, I feel ya. You know... It can, uh, can get a bit lonely being a figment of Freddo's imagination. It's my mind making out right now. I'll say, hey, you know, looking quite nice for, for an inanimate fairground attraction. <laughs> I like your lipstick. Thanks. A robotic arm at the factory painted it on and accidentally shattered the crystal ball next to me, putting the lipstick on her. Kinky. <laughs> Oh, stop that, you. Why is my mind making out with itself? Stop it. By the way, I think your lack of corporal form is adorable. Freddo Fungi breaking up hits your heart, huh? Shut the fuck up, I swear to god. <laughs> I will mix apple seeds into bird feet, I swear. <laughs> That's the nicest thing that anyone has ever said to me. Why do I think I might be falling in love? Nope, I'm not letting the voices date each other. You can die alone, a miserable narrator. Just like the vessel you contain within. We ride together, we piss together. We die alone in the same pop toilet. <sighs> Sorry, madame. It was nice meeting you. Call me. You said you. You. What's up, Suck? Is there anything else you're after? No. Okie dokie, just remember what I said, huh? You, uh. You're still, 
fried mind isn't gonna just forget all of this the moment you walk away, is it? Wait. Where am I again? I forgot. Are you Randy? <laughs> You're cursed. You're cursed forever. You will be devoured whole by the time and return to the goddess from where you came, Miss Green. Frickin' roadkill. That's a given. You're just pounding out the obvious. Well, you really are. You really are a fraud. Bummer. <laughs> Leave my sides at once, mortal. Ha, red. Later, sis. <laughs> be gone with you, Nolly. Later, sis. <laughs> wow. We we made the, we made our own mind mad now. Cool. Randy. Randy. Hold on, I... Freddo! How you know where to find me? Where else would you have been? Okay, you've got me there. What are you doing in the dumpster anyhow? I thought I l you lost this month's rent receipt. Did the Alpha Swan regulate the piece of paper? Not exactly, I just figured uh, I'd at least squat here until Bunny figure figured out I lost the receipt inevitably and immediately kicked me out. Wow, a new low even for you. Oh please, what would he even do? Throw you in the trash? Well, he could start into <laughs> incinerating his trash. Wouldn't that be a nice change? A trash sauna. <laughs> now saunas are typically steamy and moist. The flames just evaporate the moisture away. Why is it so spelled so? F oh my god! It's so hard to read if the if the character can't spell right. It'd be most. <laughs> it'd be more likely being trapped in the god. F fuck suit fireplace. Which is still a step up regardless. Oh hey, you wanna come over to mine, by the way? There's a large list of pros and cons for that idea. The main pro being I'm no longer in the dumpster. And the main con being I'm at the mercy of the pond dinos again. I didn't exactly quit the swan wrangling gig just to ri <laughs> willingly spend my days at the hell for free. There's another pro. And what's that? Getting to spend time with me? Oh, like that's a pro. I mean, we're going to spend time here, right? I heard that. <laughs> How, you no, know, come over to mine or I castrate you. Fine, jeez, okay. What's so important that you need me to go to yours badly anyway? Okay, so don't freak out, but. I went and spoke to Madame Mediocre. Randy? You okay, bud? Don't touch me. I'm frightened. No, Randy, it's okay. I begged and groveled and wept and... Oh? Nice, those are all hobbies of mine. Shut! Sorry. <clears throat> Anyway, I convinced her to undo your curse. But what? You sure she's really on board? Cause I don't feel too diff. I was getting to that. Sorry, sorry, continue. <clears throat> she gave me instruction to perform an uncursing ritual. Guaranteed to remove any bewitchment, hex, or medical encasement. She... Huh? I mean, I'm not unwilling to try the ritual, it's just... You really think it'd even work? I don't want to get my hopes up just to be the... Uh, just so it won't hurt quite as bad when I'm immediately let down by her. Hey, come on, listen to yourself. You think she can curse you, but can't uncurse you? Surely if she can give curses, she can take them away. 
Well, most human adults um, have the means to throw a petrol bomb at your house. But a very small number of people could just replicate your own destroyed house. Come on, Randy. Would you, would you do it for me? I mean... I'll do it anyway, since I'd probably be... <laughs> probably be dying alone in this dumpster, but... Wait, what exactly does this ritual entail? It's better than it's left if it's left up surprise. For magical reasons, or for when he may very well flee if he knows what's coming reasons. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Fine. Fantastic. I've got the ritual ready to go in my tent right now. Are there lit candles involved? I mean, it's a magical ritual, of course there's... You have lit... Oh, you have... Oh, fuck. You have lit candles left unattended in a fabric tent. Oh, please, we both know the outside of my tent is too moist to combust. Rain and pond water, my dear. Come on, let us go now. Huh? Very, uh... Is that, uh... Hanging meat? Yes. Candles? Hanging meat? Boy. How lucky you were. That's the exact ingredients needed for my... For the ritual could all be found in the dumpster outside Bill and Dave's candles and mystery meat in Warium. Y yeah, I... So... Brother Randy. Are you ready? Brother Randy? I don't like the implications of this. Silence, mortal! Okay, that's more of what I'm used to, yeah. This ritual will curse you. Don't forget. Will cure you, don't forget. Not curse. Or so the orb saith. What are you, why are you talking like that? It makes the magic work better. I've seen it in movies. But my initial curse wasn't in the old English. Have you ever performed an exorcism, Randy? Not recently, no. It sits fine as down. No, literally, though, the ritual is starting now. Okay, what's the one uh, I. you need to. Are you improvising? No! What are the candles for then? Step one is... Fredo, lick the candle! Why would I... The orb, Brandy! It knows no mercy. Place your tongue upon the melted wax. You will know the joy of having a wax-coated tongue. What? Uh... Alright, maybe that step wasn't important. Step two, the magic words. You do know the magic words, don't you? Yeah, they're, uh... Latin. Do you speak Latin? Well, I speak Taco Hover menu. I believe Taco descends from Latin, right? So, uh... Chantus Buratium uh, Taconium Pizzaium Okay, that one is definitely just Italian. Roman dudes, pizza dudes, baguette dudes. They're all skinny Italians, damn it. Let me say the my mumbo jumbo. <laughs> oh, you want more bad luck? Sorry. <clears throat> Vendi vidi volpitu fortuti ipusu etc. etc. Iodium are curtium. What? You're cured, bitch. 
Uh, my curse? Curse gone gone, go bye bye. It's gone? Just like that? Well, <laughs> well, the change is inside you, dear. <laughs> You're cured, bitch. <laughs> yes. If your luck is based on your likelihood of good or bad events happening to you, wouldn't that make my luck very much outside much? The change is within you, and that is that. I mean, I... Randy, you seem so fretful about this cosmic hogwash. And yet, now you have the cure? There's something that you aren't telling me. Well, I... Look, let me be real with you. I'm not actually certain that... That the curse is the only reason that my life is so unbelievably crudy. I mean, it's nice to look at things and say, Oh boy, the whole world seems to be really crummy right now, but... At least I'm not responsible for any of it, you know? You know, that... Well, I'm a fail in every possible way. That if one moment had gone differently, that things would have been fine. Meaning that nothing is really my fault deep down, you know? Do you understand? You aren't a loser. I certainly feel like one. So, about the whole getting my life back on track idea. Randy, if you want your life to get better, you have to actually take some kind of risk. Like bungee jumping? What? No, like a real risk. Like laying eggs in a public place or marrying a swan queen. Or getting a new job, perhaps? Alright, yeah, that will do it too. But I don't know, I mean... Who would hire someone like me, and besides... Who would I even get in touch with without putting them with my unkempt physical appearance? If there was only some way I could contact potential employees without showing up in prayers... My head is a phone. I'm just now remembering this. I would have suggested carrier pigeon, but sure, that works too. Pal, I'm hungry enough right now to just eat the carrier pigeon before having to write a message out for, the, for it to carry. If you're that hungry, I, um, then may I offer you some horse jerky? You may not. Aww, why, what's wrong with horse jerky? It's chewy. Who should I even call up anyway? I have one business card in my possession located in my back pocket. This is our last and only hope. Well, whip it out. The Dalton Carnival. I think this is where the whole egg idea came from. I don't know. I know. I mean, that font on the business card? It's Comic Sans. Do I really want to work for these kind of people? <laughs> that Comic Sans. <laughs> the Comic Sans means we're fun. <laughs> Consider swans. Sold. Alright, we're going. We'll go somewhere less 10 to make the call. Do you mock my adobe, Randy? No, I merely insult it. To mock it is to make light of something. And there is nothing inactly humorous about these living conditions. You are a gentleman and a scholar, Randy. Let us now bench. God, how long does this ending take, man? Help. Help me. <laughs> Hello. My name is Randy Jade and... Yeah, that's right. I am the dude who... You got uh, you caught choplifting already discounted suit to expire 
lunch meat from the 24-7 gas station over at the intersection at... <coughs> I mean... Nope. You must, must be thinking of a different, less confident Randy Jade. We should ape noises. So, why am I calling you? I'm calling to you, um... I'm calling to you to tell you why you should give me a job. Why should you hire me, you ask? Oh god, I didn't. Freddo, what do I tell the... Big Bones? I... You should hire me, sir, because I've got large bones. No, I'm not saying that I'm fat, I'm just... I've got thick, sturdy bones, I guess. No, I'm not a caveman, and I don't recognize that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I am indeed a functioning human. Yeah, I do also have uh, all my five senses. Reactively in intact. <laughs> hey, Jam! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, what does that say? Help. <laughs> but yeah, welcome, how are you doing? <laughs> yes, I can work the nights. Oh, nice. No, sir, thank you. It says Randy. Oh, Randy, <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Robin, I'm sorry, I got, I got, got a bit confused there, yes. No, sir, thank you. Freddo, I got the job. Wow, that was... Oops, sorry, I have to I have to go now. Oh, damn. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, though. <laughs> I hope I see you next time, though. That would be cool. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, Jam. <laughs> really lucky that we're... What were the odds of that working? Luck doesn't come into it. Apparently, Jerry just got fired for letting some s scary looking customer charge right into the fun fair this morning without physical resistance. Guilty swearing and mumpering. <laughs> yes, we got Randy a job and we got Jerry fired. Even better. Well, what are we waiting for then? To the ticket booth. Away. Oh, I wonder who Ted was. Yeah, I don't know. Well, here we are. My new post. Let me tell you, it feels really nice to know that any... That if any swans appear within my near striking range of me, that I have my cow coward glass to protect me. And the only way in this rough and lock... <laughs> is for a locked door on the sides of the hut. You don't think a swan could learn how to work a door handle, do you? Well, if a Velociraptor can... Best lock the door from the inside, just in case. Uh, oh, hey, you know what's the best part about all of this? Apparently, the boss says I get to sleep on the floor of the hut because... That way I have to listen... What? Because that way I have to listen to the noises all at night, because my general sleep anxiety uh, and he doesn't have to pay me for working at night shift since I'm just using my herbivore survival mechanic at my place of work of duty. <laughs> it's a win-win. Symbiotic exploitation. So it looks as if you get some place to sleep then. But out of curiosity, if you work at the fun fair now, doesn't that mean you have the keys to enter at will? Oh, sure. I've even returned uh, to the sign of my accident. Mostly just to throw a Madame Mayorka machine in the dumpster. <laughs> oh, to prevent future lawsuits. <laughs> Actually, I just don't think I could sleep in the booth with that thing outside. So I just tossed the thing out. Wait a moment. I passed a fairground dumpster on the way in here. There was nary a madam in there. Oh, pfft, not our dumpster. 
don't you worry. I found just the other now empty dumpster for her. Who... Who let this... Who left this thing in my dumpster? Randy, did you do this? <laughs> it just squashed him. Oh my god. Just, just fucking squashed him. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, just so that. Good job, machine. You get some crime emotes. <laughs> D, the mouse that ate the cheese. Okay, no idea what that means, but heck yeah, justice. <laughs> oh man, the memories. Hey, I even found the hot dog I got for you during your date. The one I dropped after witnessing you laying your egg clutches, you know. Can I have the hot dog? I mean... You know, it's been on the ground for like at least 48 hours, right? Oh, please. I've eaten weeks old roadkill, so cover up. Oh, no. Freddo, don't move. Oh, hey, a swan. Freddo, I've seen enough dinosaur movies to know. These things are <laughs> the sense of T-Rexes, so if you don't move, they can't see you. When you're sweating heavily, $10 <laughs> say it could smell you through the glass. Oh no, a swan. I love you, swan. <laughs> Shit. I don't know, man. Looks fairly docile to me. Why don't you feed it the old hot dog you found on the ground? Make love, not war. Worst case scenario, it'll reject your boof dog and for love. Well, I guess I can. Why? <laughs> Well, that was hor hor horrific. Huh? I guess the swans at the park were just hungry. Who would have thought it? I mean, they were trying to eat you. Yeah, but I figured it was like a maliciousness thing. I've never heard of anything trying to maliciously devour someone else. Trust me, man, creatures tend to eat for nourishment, sport, or sexual gratification. <laughs> yeah, it's... Wait, did you just say sexual gratification? <laughs> Dearest Randall, you're far happier than not knowing. Right, right. I'm happy for you, suck. <laughs> I'm sure Jerry is too. Thanks, and wait. So, if I'm here, then, uh, where did Jerry end up? Is he okay? Don't worry, Randy. I'm sure he, he's been uh, well taken care of. But what does that mean exactly? Nothing, nothing. I just don't think Jerry's gonna be bothering us anymore. What does it so Why does it sound so ominous? Freddo. Where's Jerry? Somehow he won't be seeing much of... We won't be seeing much of him anymore. Somewhere far more peaceful. Well, specifically? Oh, he's in a wheelchair? What? Wait, what? Oh, well, that sounds just lovely. The job's gonna mellow him right out. Yeah, I know like four shepherds. If anything, he was overqualified for the position. <laughs> Wait, why do you give him that job and meet this one? Why not just cut them out the middleman and give the shepherd job to me? Oh please, <laughs> you on a f you on a farm? <laughs> Jerry went to the farm. <laughs> do you like kids, beloved pets? 
<laughs> yes. He went to a farm. Far, far away. You can't visit him, of course, because it's so far away. And he will never come visit because it's so far away. And if you try to search for him, you will never find it because it's so far away. <laughs> I don't understand. Randy. Horses bite, Randy. Okay, yep, understood now. And let us not forget Turkey, <laughs> the tasty and angry cousin of swan kinds. Ma'am, come pick me up, I'm scared. <laughs> well, with Madame getting thrown out, Bunny getting fucking flattened, my poverty being cu cured and my curse being re revoked, I guess that means each and every... Lo uh, each and every loose end has been neatly tied up. Nobody move! Nobody fucking move! <laughs> the, the glass is bulletproof. Oh, damn it. Consequences, I hate those. That's right, you bandit schmuck. I told you that they'd track you down for, the, for not getting me off. How do you even fight me anyway? How you think, bozo? I searched every public place in this dumpster fire of a city. Every shop, every park, every gaze, gazebo. <gasps> every gazebo? Each and every one. This is literally the last public place in the city that I haven't checked. I told you I find juice. I. Wait. Were you pantsless during the whole search? Wait, it just noticed? You literally walk around the entire city in Dalton just without any pants on? Yeah, you bet I did, Nimrod. Some paper pushing printer bitch called me the fuss. On, <laughs> called the fuss on me for violating the banker's dress code. No shirt, no pants, no service. Bullshit. That's... My god, you really are the most pathetic person in Dalton, aren't you? Not anymore. I've got one bullet, and by phone god I'm gonna use it. Sounds like a great plan, except... The glass is bulletproof, you know? Ah, shit, really? Bulletproof, huh? Jeez, for a place with rights that kill people every year, you guys really go all out on employee safety, don't ya? Yeah, new job has its perks. Oh well, don't you worry, it's all G. I'm just shoot whatever their face instead. Wait, no! Wait, what? No, wait, you can't do that. I mean, it totally can, Bozo. Since I actually got a bullet this time. But please, you can't. Randy, shh. Don't beg. It's okay. I've had a good life. I've made peace with my demons. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Okay. I don't believe any of that actually happened. Oh shit, you're right, my life was horseshit. <laughs> uh, to hell with it, mugger guy, just do your thing. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. The swan is dead. A swan! Oh shit. Where is the fucking thing doing so far from the park? Swan, attack! <laughs> I knew the swan would save us. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you fed it the stale hot dog, Randy. You are dead now, like it or not. Huh? I guess ones can seem kind of cute when they're not trying to pierce my Jaguar. 
Hey, before we wrap up, can you come outside for just a moment? From behind my beloved Pry Fox. Pry Grief. Pry Greg's Force Field? I have something to give to you. Can you slip it through the slot? Just come out, Smelly. Alright, alright. So, what is it? Well, I found something else in the dumpster. I found the same one. The same one I found the cans in the dumpster meat in. Candles, dumpster meat, and something else valuable enough to give us a gift to your boyfriend? My, what a bountiful dumpster! <laughs> what is it anyway? Let me show you. A band aid! Is that a. A bandy aid? For Randy? I don't understand. My biggest rune, my pride, it's been fixed, right? What could possibly- You're for it, you cretin. <laughs> the bandit can go over your other bandage. Oh, I see. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. <laughs> Thank you. Just need to make one little adjustment. Oh god, you're writing something on the bandage. What are you going to write? <laughs> Something so disappointing. <laughs> no. Oh, God. <laughs> we could destroy his entire life right now. <laughs> no, cutesy. It's probably good to be nice to him. <laughs> Hold on, let me quickly check my reflection in this puddle. I can what does it say? I, d I can't tell what it says. Sweetheart! Oh, Sweetheart? Oh, I don't know about that. Really think I'm a... <laughs> oh, that was cute, yes. <laughs> you know it, babe. <laughs> Fredo. Thank you for believing in me. Eggs. <laughs> well, someone had to, Randy. I'm so glad it was you. Is that the ending? It's the ending. The ending where things were all just fine for our dear friend Ren Randall Jade. Happy. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, the, that's the four main romances, by the way. Like, we have the first... We have, like, all the four... Like, we have chapter one and two completely done. And there's... There's, there's chapter three, though. <laughs> Do we start it now? Do we start it? I think we should start it. You decide if we're gonna start it. I, I, I can't tell if we're gonna finish it, but we're gonna start it. Enter your name. Fred Door. I want a phone. What's your gender? Other. Oh. No, that's a, oh, that's a, that's a male. Thank you all f wait. Thank you all for showing up to yet another essential meeting of the mingling. As I'm sure you're all aware, our humble council of concerned citizens is made up of those who are most powerful and know for every residence. Presiding over the meeting is none other than yours truly, the skewed and devilish cunning mayor of Dalton, Miss Mingus Crown. Hey, your boss, say, man, I'm sub bozo. Like, is fucking Timmy here? I heard that. I fucking heard that. When I figure out with one, which one of you. Moving on. 
before we get into pressing business, I conduct a quick hack count. Little Billy, <laughs> kick your shins, break. <laughs> Kicker of shins, biter of ankles, the bane of Dalton's alleys, public school, and playgrounds. Oh my god, I hate him. Oh my god, I hate him so much. What the fuck was that? Rotary Christ. How do you know how sensitive cat ears is? Are you asking if that's the first time I've shrieked directly into the cat's ear? Bit of a stupid question, that. You see, this is why we have to. This is why we have to invite you here. You're too dangerous to have to in the opposition sand. Yeah, and that's really swell. Being feared rocks, you know. You think that's news to me? Being feared half of my being feared half of my whole job, you little brat. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a Machiavellian little scamp. Who taught you that word? I know I cut education by 50% across the board last year, so I couldn't have been at school. Ah, uh, no matter. Moving on. Theodore Roosevelt, zoomaster and allegedly famed explorer, the cage of beasts and jailer of zebras and whatnot. Hello, yes. Bullied a lot of you. Glad to be back. What? And what might that be standing in the table in front of you? Oh, this is none other than Koyugus Daltonus, a noble Dalton native swan. I can clearly see that as a swan, Fioror. What I meant was. Why on earth would you drag a feral pond avian into the meeting? She seems docile enough. Well, is she toilet trained? Why, isn't the whole world a toilet in a way? This town might be, maybe. Again, why this one, Fioror? Oh, don't tell me it's... Why, for show and tell, of course! Every meeting. Every meeting. Okay, we have a lot to go over, so I'm just going to move on. Can the... This one can stay if you cease talking right now. Right, yes, bully to that. Fantastic. Next up. Shooty and Stabby, our sinister representative from the also feared Dalton mob. Wait, people are actually afraid of us now? That's news to me. We did it, bro. We have hit the big leagues. We're real criminals now. All those fabricated headlines about us and the mayor bribed the press to publish must have felt finally off. Oh, hell yeah, bro. If only PA could see us now. Yes, yes, the most... Most people that you two mug, swindle and steal from... From tend to be posit positively terrified of you both. Well, specifically terrified and, uh, of occasionally knocking either of you over mid-mugging. Now, in case, uh, in case, well, I can't, I can't speak, man. In case one of you bang your head in the pavement, uh, and they got c convicted for manslaughter. Wait, people think we aren't an ominous force to be reckoned with. Outsider of them being afraid of grievously harming on my henchmen and illicitly my divine female wrath. Not even remotely. But we're the mob, though. <laughs> We've got connections. You have exactly one connection, and which happened to be me. A figure who is the citizen of Dalton I'm actually afraid of, and for good reason. Uh, we can be scary. If you can, I've yet to see it. Watch this, bozo. 
How's that for intimidating, huh? I'm sure it posit I'm sure it'd be positively quivering if your gun was actually loaded. Now put that thing back where you found it and don't even think about picking it back up while I'm addressing you. Shit, bro. I told you those lousy blanks just don't have the same effect. Mayor, can we have some bullets? You know, in case we need to uh, to ice someone for you. Uh, and can I have a gum on the side sharpener stabbing knife? This one's gotten awfully dull from me using to slice my <laughs> sandwiches during lunchtime. No, we've been over this. You only hurt yourself when given real weapons. Now moving on. Next member. Abel Braggingham. Violator of OSHA regulations and the sole perpetrator of the Dieton Funfair. The most recklessly fun uh, run funfair in America. Next to Baboon World over in Nevada anyway. I feel like... With the megaphone screaming, the swan and the gunshots, I can't really live up to the standards that have set so far. Like, what? Am I going to pull a, a ferris wheel out of my ass? I'd be immensely impressed if you could, but a basic introduction, introduction will suffice. Alright then. Hello all. Glad to be back. Fira, please take the microphone from the boy. Alright, thank you. Moving on. Do I get to finish my... No. Next. We have the one and only god. Who's <laughs> finding in and our dear comrade Bunny. The owner of Bunny Burgers off Main Street. Oh, so he's a hobo and woke up face down in the puddle this morning. Wait a minute. Do I own bunny burgers? No, hobo. You own Naria House, Hotel Cottage, Bungalow, not trailer, no gazebo. In this city, in this city, yes. And we really have no sociality power at all. You've honestly done very little to warn anyone having much respect for and information for you. I mean, you did kind of create the universe though, right? Yes. And we are all st still tremendously upset for <laughs> with you for doing so. Ah, oh, sucks. So, wait. What am I even doing here then? Because, as you recall, Bunny got flattened by a rogue fortune telling it. <laughs> Amusement park cabinet, and we need someone to short on a short notice. And believe me, you cannot get more short notice than a man wandering around carrying a sign saying, We'll do a card wheel for dog food. Ah, coolio, coolio. Honestly, sitting in a heated room and talking about politics and stuff. Politics. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's a hell of a lot easier than being doing a card drill, let me tell you. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. I can't do a card drill, actually. My sign is a fraudulent. I just wanted the dog food, as well as I was hoping for someone to pay me before demanding to see the card wheel. Wait. You created an entire universe, and yet the ability to perform a simple card drill eludes you? Simple? Have you ever tried to do one, huh? They're really hard. Shut up. Right then, now that we're all present and accounted for, we can begin. I hereby officially declare this meeting of the mingling now in session. I hope you all have a relatively pleasant journey here, despite the dis dismal weather. You summoned a child to town hall on the school night and expected him to skateboard here in the middle of a thunderstorm. Oh wow. Can we can't save. Um, will you let little Billy butt in? Shut him up. Fuck you, Billy. Hush, stunted one. 
and which the juvenile outburst appropriate is a disguise as we, so we can begin. Now then, you all know why we have gathered here. Fuck you specifically, Billy, yes. <laughs> nah, I don't. Quiet, you. Abel, will the projector over to the start, start the slideshow. Wait, that's, that's Big Berta. Yes, folks. We're here to discuss none other than the green menace. Fred- wait, what? <laughs> Freddo. The egg layer, the clown, the bozo, yes, the green one, so creepy. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm sure you're all well acquainted with this emerald entity. In the past 12 months, we have caught Freddo. Freddo finally seen as the menace he is. Laying eggs on private property. Harassing Dalton's public. Oh shit, that me. Exposing Dalton's public to vulgar cinema. Convincing Dalton's most reliable bank teller to skip town so she can paint pointless mountains. Befriending the fugitive known as Bigfoot. Actually, stealing the rack from my office. And possibly worst of all, fraternizing with Randy Jade. Possible the worst citizen of Delta. Wait. How is he hanging out with Randy, the worst thing out of the stuff that you just mentioned? Oh, this isn't truly. I just passionately find this one. Uh, find this the last one. Particularly repulsive. As you all know, Delta has a status quo which acts at the, as the backbone of our robust, inclusive, and civilized society. That one I, that we have taught st 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 strenuously to protect. As mayor, I have made sizable strides to recreating the Dalton that existed under my grandfather's leadership. A town of prosperity, order and hope. An utopia, really. But... As I'm sure you know, when one attempted to compare the Dalton of my grandfather time with the Dalton of today, you inevitably run into discrepancy. A green discrepancy. Simply put, Fredo is just a f isn't just a threat to our society, but a threat to normality itself. Hey, come on, it's a little harsh there, is it? <laughs> They are the final hurdle of recreating the Dalton that existed in 1966. 1966 being the year of the dial-up, the year my grandfather changed the whole world for the better. Simply put, Freddo must be promptly disposed of. I say, why don't we just lock them back up like uh, back up in the zoo? I think that's a bully idea, don't you? <laughs> Fuck you. So what? Letting them escape from the zoo once wasn't enough? I don't trust you to contain Freddo. Dismissed. Alright, let's take the idea of prolonged captivity entirely out of the equation then. I say we just bonked them over the head with a shovel, you know, buried them in the woods. A quick wham bam, thank you ma'am. And they're just out of their hands for good. Right. Until a white boar unburies them and suddenly they attained a boar. If we can't contain a mountless Freddo, what hope do we have against <laughs> one riding a boar? Ah, uh, this is all too hard and pointless. Why don't we just eat burgers out the nearest dumpster and call it a night? I vote that we do that. Inaction simply isn't an option. Look. You all have something to gain from Freddo's exile. Billy, is it not a Freddo who is indirectly responsible for the conver conversation of the Dalton cinema into the 18th only spooks horse? Yeah, cutting me off from my favorite person to torture that whole in the whole city. I can't steal the fuckers fast if I can if I can't get to him, can I? Fear or a Freddo out of the picture, 
You'll be free to recapture and study the elusive Bigfoot undisturbed. By Jove, I think that I think of what I could deduce from new first samples alone. Stabby, shooty. By pulling this job off successfully, you have proven yourselves worthy of the rank of enforcer. That hunts propolis will know <laughs> well that you too must be feared for good reason, as you're directly executing my will. We will we'll be qualified for. I mean, yes, of course. We're qualified for acts of. Uh, act as your enforcer. <laughs> Leave it to us, Mr. Crown, Mrs. Crown. Abel. No more egg shit at the fun fair. Fantastic. And God. You're being paid in dog food and warm and warm your seat. Thanks. You too. As a commitment of wait. Are, are we a committee? I figured we were, I don't know, an evil league of villainous friends or some derival for that effect. Gaslight God. <laughs> gaslight God. <laughs> I'm gonna gaslight God. And you join an evil society without complaint? Hey, free dog food. No, we are not an evil league, Legion, squad, team, band, or anything of the sort. What made you think that we are? Well, for one, we're meeting during the thunderstorm. I don't control the clouds. I can't. Try as I may. You. You can control the weather. If you don't like it, you turn the thunder off. Hey, I'm fine with it, just saying. Oh, also, the matching purple thing you all have is going on with your outfit. And the overpresence of purple in the room. Coincidentally. We are also meeting in a building that's essentially just a giant version of your head. Also, there's a tiny golden replica of your head on the top of your cane. Also, the fact that you have a cane to begin with is pretty damning. <sighs> Do you want the rest of the dog food or not? I'll be good, ma'am. <laughs> Excellent. Now, on to the capture itself. Fioror, I need a cat carrier. The one you bought, the, uh, brought the swan in here will suffice. Shooty and Stabby take care of the rest. How are we gonna get them into it, Mrs. Crown? Yeah. I've seen that fucker close up and they look like, it's, like they scratch and possibly bite. Oh, don't worry, you two. I think you'll find my methods of subduing them to be most effective. What the fuck? Was it just like the meeting of like all evil people in town or something? The heck? Can I save? I can't save, okay. This is something for next time, I feel like. This is longer than I expected. <laughs> for a learn scratching and biting from the possum. <laughs> yeah, my god. Okay, yeah, that's that's something for next time, though. Like, it's already been seven and a half hours again. Like, help. I can't do as long. <laughs> I'm lucky that I have, like, free tomorrow. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to... St uh, would, would have been able to, like, even finish, like the like, the main part of, like, part one. So... Like, damn... <laughs> that was this game is so hilarious though I don't even know what to say to it to be honest it's like a mixture of a fever dream and like the most hilarious shit you've ever seen I don't even know anymore like come on like help what am I doing I love this game <laughs> oh by the way Robin I need to show you something Rhea made something for me. <laughs> I need to show you. They, they, uh, yes, she like messaged me. Show me, yes. Look at this. 
Isn't that fucking amazing? <laughs> I love all those looks. Yes. <laughs> like, she just made it on her, like, art stream. And then she finished it to today and, like, sent it to me. And it looks so fucking cool. Yes, I know. I think I'm just gonna use it for my, like, profile picture on, like, Twitter for a while. Like, that looks fucking cool. Rara, Rara is so talented. Yes, I know. My god, she really is so talented. Like, holy damn, it looks so cool. <laughs> like, damn. Like, wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to it. I'm still, like, in awe. Because I love this so much. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay then, okay then. My god. Oh, my back. Fuck. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> What's your opinion of this game? <laughs> What's your opinion, Robin? What do you think? More fever dream or more like... Like dark comedy? <laughs> Feels like <laughs> fever dream. <laughs> Help. <laughs> A dream I would I would have when I got where? When I got struck. A drunk or drunk fever dream, yeah. <laughs> and like I'm so I'm so excited about the, like the last part though. Like what what's happening there? Are they like like building a task force to fucking kill us or something like help <laughs> i didn't do nothing help me <laughs> like man please what did i do <laughs> i mean it was pretty obvious what i did i g gave big for the fucking gun and all but anyway we gotta play the final finale soon i want to see it yes <laughs> i don't i have no clue how long it is though this might be an entire stream worth. So yeah, we have to see about that. <laughs> like, damn. Okay then. Um, Yes. Let me see. Anyone online? No. Thank you, Twitch. Of course no one is online. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Robin, do you, do you have someone? Yes, I have no one. Everyone's offline. <laughs> Do you have someone? Yep, okay, great. Then I'm just gonna say thank you all for coming today. I really appreciate it. I hope the game wasn't too weird and you still found it entertaining to watch. <laughs> Let me get your handle. Rosa VTuber, okay. But yeah, thank you all for coming. I'll see you all on Thursday then. No, tomorrow actually. There's the collab tomorrow. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Collab tomorrow. Wait, what? What do you mean subscriber only mode? What did you do, Robin? I saw this. Sorry, Miss Clink. <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all. And we're, we're just gonna raid someone now. Yes, and yeah, I'll either see you tomorrow on the collab, like the Sea of Thieves collab, which I already set everything up for, by the way. I haven't started the game yet and see like on, on the options, but I have downloaded it, okay? <laughs> I didn't forget, so yes. <laughs> and yes, um, wait, I also have to pull up the Twitch, otherwise I can't see. Yes, <laughs> yes, let's go, and then on Thursday probably. I have, I'm, uh, on first day of school again though, so I have to see about it. It might be that I'd be a bit later because it's like a long day, but we'll see, okay? We'll see. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for coming today, and I hope you have a great further day, night, morning, whatever you probably have right now. You can't change character body type, so be careful. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Then, okay, it was a blast having you here, and I see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>
through it.